Yes, go. No means I came for the black man. Oh, 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 that Jesus died for, for the black man to the suffer. The truth be said, Africa will rise at the right time. The time we're waiting for is right now. No one can hold the truth for a long time. Oh no. So stay away. The sun is rising from the east. And the Messiah you wear is right here. No one is gonna try to stop them. I can hear a great call for justice. Freedom. Let the sun rise. Yeah. Freedom for Jafra Freedom the Kano Stop the foundation Freedom Let Africa rise yeah. Freedom for Jafra Freedom Freedom the Kano This is everything and the terrorists yeah. When they tell the black freedom fighter They tell in African freedom the fight to my self-determination Is that a crime? Oh no Don't I have right to live? Don't I have right to express myself? Don't I have rights to speak? Can't I complain if I'm marginalized? The genocide in the land that nobody can care about. Even when I try to speak, my voice is muted every time. Like a slave in my land, I can't take it anymore. I hope the world is listening to my plight. I can hear a great call for justice. Freedom. Let the sun rise. Yeah. Freedom for Afra, freedom, freedom the Kano. Oh, song of salvation, freedom. Let Africa rise. Freedom for Afra, freedom, freedom the Kano. Freedom the Kano. Freedom for Biafra. Oh, 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 Freedom Africa. Come on, let them say, I will kill you. Marcia, if their friends are sensible, they should pray that the zoo should kill me so that Biafra can come quicker. I said to them, because the level of death and bloodshed the world will see,
they will say they never knew IPOB is this mad. You know, now we are gentlemen. Yeah. You know, we're playing it very gently. Yeah. 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 Until they cause us to become mad. Remember what I told them before? That we are worse than Boko Haram if you provoke us. Yeah. And we are worse. You said that on the radio. For every one Boko Haram shot bomber, I'll give you 10. That's what you said. Present a candidate that will balance our four years before we go into rotation. But we are not asking for, uh, like you call it, um, uh, third time. No, we are not asking for third time. Nobody asks for third time. We will never ask for third time. We are democratic. We believe in democracy and we are practicing democracy. That was why we said politics is a game of number. And we know we have the numbers. We are 120 million population from the north then the Fulanis have 40 million in population and if you put that together that will give you 160 million and you come out of the approximately 210 million as in being envisaged the population of nigeria when you take 160 million out of 100 210 million what is the balance about 70 million i cannot see how 100 uh, 160 million uh, I can't see how 70 million will beat 160 million. So we are ready for it. We believe in democracy. We are democratic in nature. We know politics is a game of number. We know politics. Speak leadership is by ballot box. Leadership is by PVC. Leadership is by election. And that was why we are calling our people to come out a mass and get their PVCs. The 120 million northerners should get their PVC. The 40 million Fulani should get their PVC. Put together 160 million. We will elect another president by 29th of May, by February next uh, 2023. We should be going into election to elect a fresh northern president that will balance the remaining four years that not has. The northern consensus movement has called on all 120 million northerners 40 million Fulanis that are eligible voters to ensure they mobilize towards 2023 general elections and justicing on democratic leadership rotations in Nigeria. The group Northern Consensus Movement therefore stated that there, there is no amount of grandstanding propelled by the threat and intimidations either from the Southern governors and some socio cultural organizations that can change. The remaining outstanding balance of four years presidency tenor for the north. Southern Nigeria took the mantle of leadership for 14 years. By the time President Muhammad Buhari will be finishing his eight years, uh, two term of eight years, north would have served for 10 years, south, southern Nigeria would have served for 14 years. If we are talking of equity, fairness, balance, and togetherness, the northern Nigeria still have four more years to go before it will now be equal of 14, 14 years. But nobody can um, um, twist us from the north or intimidate us or harass us or coerce us to think that by grandstanding or intimidation we will abandon our four years just because some people are threatening the peaceful coexistence of Nigeria. Northern Nigeria has a population of over 120 million people. And by this press conference, we are asking all the 120 million eligible voters from the north to come out a mass and get their PVC and also begin an aggressive but peaceful mobilization of our people to get ready for 2023 general election. We are also using the medium to call on to our 40 million Fulani brothers that are Nigerians. To also reach out to every Fulani man that is eligible to get his PVC so that he will be the part of deciding who becomes the next Nigerian president in 2023 as Nigerians that have equal right with any other Nigerian. And like we all know, in the United States of America, the Britain, and other parts of the world, most especially in, in America, election of who becomes the president is determined by number. In most cases, most of the president of America are from North America because that is where the vote comes from. 
But in Nigeria today, we have forgotten credibility, we have forgotten about patriotism, we have forgotten about nas nationalism, we have forgotten about love for each other. All we are talking about is tribe, religion, or region in terms of leadership. We are not looking at qualification. And by that, we are being intimidated that because the present leadership of Nigeria is being led by a northerner, we are being threatened that the power must shift to the other part of Nigeria. And we are saying that we still have a balance of four years, even after President Muhammad Buhari left in 2023. By May 2023, we still have a balance of four years. And we cannot be intimidated. We cannot be harassed. We cannot be coerced by either the governors of South South or any social cultural organization into leaving our mandate or jettisoning our mandate because of harassment or intimidation. We are saying that we must complete the balance of four years to make it 14, 14 years from 1999 till date. Southern part of Nigeria would have ruled, have ruled for 14 years. The North will complete it four years to make it 14 years before the issue of rotation, uh, rotational presidency will come. But for now, 2023, and who becomes the president of 2023 is still another responsibility because we still have a balance of four years. And even if the other part of Nigeria filled no, then every part or every political party should fill in candidates. There are a lot of political parties in Nigeria. It's not only PDP or APC that are political parties in Nigeria. There are other political parties. Let all political parties fill in qualified candidates. Then let Nigerians decide who becomes the next president. Let the ballot box decide who becomes the next president. Let the votes count and let the vote decide who becomes the next Nigeria's president. This is our position. This is the standing of North. And we cannot even be coerced or intimidated, even by the, our own Northern governors, cannot decide for us who become or which region will take over the mantle of leadership. Nigerians will decide who becomes the next president. And as far as Northern Nigeria is concerned, Northerners will bring in, will fill in a candidate from whatever political party we will fill in candidate and we will vote in a candidate that we feel has the patriotism, a candidate that will feel have nationalistic thinking, a candidate that we think is qualified, a candidate that we think will love northerners, will love southerners, will love every Nigerian either at home or abroad. But we will, like we said, we will, we will not be intimidated. We refuse to, be, to be intimidated. We will not allow anybody to untwist us. We have our own people. We have our own vote. And politics is a game of number. So let the numbers play out. Let the numbers decide who becomes the next Nigerian president. At this juncture, I would also invite the president of Ariwa Traders Association to make one or two comments. He understands how to speak. Uh, I don't... Uh, know how to speak Fulani language, but he understands how to speak Fulani language. So he, he will speak and call on the Fulanis to please come out and do their PVC. Get their PVC and get ready for 2023 general election. I am speaking for the North. This is Northern Nigeria, as you can see. Northern Consensus Movement is an amalgamation of 75 economically inclined Northern organizations. And when we say 75 economically inclined, it suggests to you that this, as we are seated here, is the economic heart of Northern Nigeria. This is the commercial heart of Northern Nigeria. The organizations here are the ones running the buying and the sellings, the transportation, the movement. And everything that you know that is full of goods and services that is of northern to any other part of Nigeria. This is the structure that is responsible for that. Here, you just heard from the president of Ariwa Traders Association. When you hear Ariwa Traders Association, you know what trading it means. Trading means anything buying and the selling. And then you have the amalgamated cattle dealers of Nigeria. When you hear that, it means anything that has to do with cattle from cow goat, sheep, to chicken, as far as it is something that is worth eating in the name of meat, it is amalgamated. You just heard 
from the Gan Alla Fulani Development Association. And who are the rearers? The cattle dealers are the ones that buy the cattle and transport them and sell. While the Gan, the Fulanis, you know very well, are the ones that rear those cow, sheep, goat, chicken, and anything meat. And you just heard from them. And you also have the Arewa Journalist Forum here. They speak. Uh, they carry all the information that we are. So everything that is buying and selling, as far as Northern Nigeria is concerned, is here. You have the groups of comrades, apart from the economic million. Uh, I can't see how 17, we are supporting him as a president now. We are with him. We will back him just like any other. A hidden agenda. And this hidden agenda is being sponsored from the presidency. It is coming from the presidency. If all Nigerians are saying ranting, and presidency continues to say grazing reserve, then presidency has a hidden agenda. We want to hear our president's voice. Our president should talk to us. We did not vote for Gadba Shehu. We should not, we did not vote for Shegu Adeshino. We want to hear our president speak to us. Presidency promised some amount of money to resettle our uh, IDPs. It's how many years today? No cobble has been sent down here. But a lot has been sent elsewhere that they have IDPs. We also want to urge our sons and daughters who are still sitting on the fence to wake up and speak against the evil being perpetrated in our land. This matter is not only about Governor Samuel Otum. Anyway, sons, home and abroad, who think that they are not affected by the crisis, must know that we are all casualties, whether we are at home or not. They should raise their voices to condemn the injustice be visited on us. This is no time for politicking. What is happening here now is beyond politics. When the Fulanis come to kill, they don't ask you which political party you belong to. They should send their relief materials to those ITP camps and also solicit support from international donor organizations to come to the aid of our people. Everything is left into the hands of the United State government. And we're having a problem. The governor is not a loner. We are asking our sons abroad and elsewhere, who are in Abuja, who are everywhere, that they should take interest in what is happening in Benue State. They have their families back home. They have villages. If you think it's not happening in your village, it's the whole thing is drawing nearer to every village now. So they should sit up, whether you're a businessman or you're whatever, and some of them are protecting their offices. They are protecting their personal interests. But if you protect your interests and all your people back home are killed, where will you call your home? You are having children there tomorrow. Your children will want to know where they come from. And that place will not be in existence anymore. Finally, we wish to call on Nigerians who love justice, peace, and equity to rise and condemn what is happening to the innocent people of Benue State. The killer herdsmen are still here with us. They have resorted to guerrilla warfare. They now attack our people in their sleep and leave their familiar trademark of death. With very heavy hearts, address you on issues bordering us as a people, Benue state and Nigeria as a nation. As mothers of this state and the nation, we owe our children the duty to voice our feelings when we see the things going wrong. And those who should speak have chosen the path of silence. We owe this country the duty to call its leaders to order and counsel them when it has become apparent that the leaders we elected are not doing what is right. We have no other country than Nigeria. You are very much aware of the worsening security situation in the country perpetrated by Fulani men who have killed thousands of Benue people and in other states. 
who are equally aware of the attitude of the federal government led by President Muhammad Buhari, who is not bothered to see women and children being killed daily by Fulani Health men. We are left with no other option than to conclude, as many others have already said, that the President is happy to watch his kinsmen turn Benue and other parts of the country into killing fields. A few days ago, we woke up to the news that President Buhari has vowed to create grazing routes and establish grazing reserves in the 36 states of the country next month, whether anyone likes it or not. The senior special assistant on media and publicity, Al Bashehu, who is not voted, is an appointee, was the one who announced the president's decision. We are wondering if this is the same democracy that we all fought and got in 1999, leading to emergence of Muhammad Buhari as elected president in 2015. Has Mr. President forgotten that this country is now being run by the constitution and not decrees? What about the Land Use Act? which vets all land in the state governors. Has the act been repealed? From where is President Buhari deriving his authority that he feels he can impose draconian and dictatorial policies on Nigerians and expect us to applaud him? The other time, the Buhari presidency introduced cattle colonies. He took the courage of patriotic Nigerians like Benue State Governor Samuel Otom, to rise and reject the conquest agenda. The president later dusted the program and renamed it as Ruga. But again, our eagle eyed governor and other patriots saw through the veil and kicked against it. The president reluctantly cancelled the Ruga program. Today, the entire country is speaking with one voice in opposition to open grazing of cattle while embracing ranching, which Benway has been leading the campaign since 2016. All governors of the northern states and southern Nigeria have taken a unified stand to ban open grazing. Shockingly, President Buhari has come out. mock the governors and is threatening to impose grazing reserves on the people of this country. The words of the media advisor, Femi Adeshino, last year, that people should choose between holding onto their lands and death are still fresh in our minds, that we should give out our land or we die. Adeshino, mind you, is not a voted person, he's an appointee. This is unacceptable. Nigeria is not practicing nepotism. As is a country structured on the principles of federalism and democracy, we did not vote a tyrant as president. We believed that we voted a man with the right experience and discipline who would be for all of us and defend us, not just this ethnic group, what crime did we commit by going out in large numbers under the sun to vote for President Buhari? And he has now chosen to reward our love with hatred and our ballots with bullets. Mm -hmm. From all indications, President Buhari is for somebody and not for everybody. Contrary to his words on May 29, 2015, when he took oath of office, We want Mr. President to remember that our children and grandchildren also deserve a decent future. A future they will no longer be afraid to go to bed with the thought of being slaughtered by rampaging herders. The humanity and conscience in President Buhari should make him to think about 
the thousands of children whose parents were killed by herdsmen are now in internally displaced persons camps for four years as orphans. Don't such children deserve to live in a country they call their own? What about the hundreds of widows whose husbands were slaughtered by herders and thrown to the birds to feed? Don't they deserve to return to their lonely homes to start life in a dehumanizing way. At the last count, Enwe had over one million displaced people. We concerned Benue mothers say no to grazing reserves and similar policies that seek to enslave our people and hand over lands to killer Fulani men. We have also observed the disturbing trend where Fulani militia attack our people, but the federal government comes out swiftly to absorb them of any blame. A recent example was when Governor Otom was attacked on his farm by those who saw that he is standing in their way to conquering Benue and other parts of Nigeria. A terror group known as Fulani Nationality Movement, UNAM, came out to claim responsibility of the attempt on the governor's life. Yet, the Nigerian police force exonerated the group. The police high command deployed an investigation team to Benue, which confirmed the identities of the culprits as full and ill men. The police made arrests, took the suspects to Abuja, only for the inspector general to go to Aso Villa a few days after and declared that those who wanted to take, kill Governor Otom were not Fulani people. What a shame. This is condemnable. Is the Nigerian police now a Fulani police force and no longer for the protection of all Nigerians? We call on President Muhammad Buhari to urgently address the nation and caution Fulani Hesman to stop the killings. We know that if he makes the address directly to the Fulanis and means every word of what he says, they will listen to him. We would very much love to hear the voice of our president. We should not continue to be hearing from his uh, aides. They are not our president. In other countries, the president would have been talking to us on a regular basis, assuring us of our safety. The president should, as a matter of urgency, announce the cancellation of his plan to impose grazing reserves on Nigerians and instead evolve a national ranching policy. A policy even the northerners, even the leader of Meati Allah, accepted. Ganduje of Kanu State has already started ranching. Let the presidency is the one pushing for grazing and not Nigerians, and not even the northern leaders. The federal government should also throw its weight behind southern governors as of a declaration against open grazing. President Buhari should motivate security agencies and direct them to be professional and neutral in the discharge of their duties. We also expect Mr. President call his appointees to order to stop assaulting the sensibilities of Nigerians. What the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, said, comparing the ban on open grazing, spare path business, was insensitive. Comparing human lives to spare paths. Other side of the president called Garba Shehu denigrates anyone who holds an opinion contrary to that of presidency. This is gross negation of the tenets of democracy. In democracies, where government is of the people and for the people, leaders of such countries listen to constructive criticisms in order to improve. We call on the international community and lovers of peace across the world show interest in what is happening in Nigeria, particularly in the Middle Belt region, where killings of innocent people 
her headers have become a common sight. Genway, for instance, is the food basket of Nigeria. And for many years, farmers have been displaced from their ancestral lands. The ugly scenario has resulted to food crisis and is said to take a more dangerous dimension if not stopped now. Arrested for simply protesting. Well, and you are saying, let us give them power to regulate social media. I would never be part of that. Anyway, there was something you said earlier when you referred to the uh, Eastern Security Network. I, I hope you are not justifying violence by any group inside Nigeria. Uh, because uh, one of the uh, bases for the objection of the federal government to Twitter is that Twitter has become a platform inside Nigeria for a particular separatist movement within the country. And then you were, you know, waxing lyrical about the Eastern Security uh, Network, the ESN, the militant wing of, uh, of the uh, IPOP. Uh, if you could just clarify your position on that, before we move on. I totally oppose. I totally deprecate and condemn unreservedly the killing of policemen, the burning of police stations, the carnage that is going on in the East. I am not sympathetic to IPOP. I don't believe in IPOP. I don't subscribe to IPOP. I am not a follower of Nam De Kanu. I have never been. I have always been critical of what he's fighting for. I do not believe in Biafra. I also do not believe in splitting Nigeria, even though I totally oppose the fraudulent one Nigeria they are talking about. Because the United Nigeria that I want must be based on justice, must be based on rule of law. But I do not believe that we should divide the country. At the same time, we cannot criminalize what ordinarily should be an exercise of the right to self-determination. Eastern Security Network, whatever they are doing, I do not endorse it. I totally condemn it. But the point I am making, Dr. Bati, is that we should not be addressing these matters on the surface. Let us go to the roots. What led to the Eastern Security Network? The Nam the Kanu just start with this group. They started by marching. Carrying flag, going on the street, protesting. What was the response of the Nigerian state? What was the response of the Buhari regime? They deployed the Python, Python dance. The Python was dancing on the lives of the people of the Saudis. People were being killed. People were being slaughtered. They were being attacked. They were not even allowed to protest. Even when they charged him for treasonable felony, even when they had filed charges before Justice Nyaku at the Federal High Court in Abuja, the military in a so called democracy invaded the house of Nam de Kanu. He secreted the palace of his father, who was a traditional ruler. You cannot have that in a decent country. So, as we condemn the killing of policemen, the burning of police, the burn of stations and INEC offices, we must admit that. This regime, this government, takes responsibility for the resort to our violence by the group known as Eastern Security Network. If we are not truthful about these things, Dr. Bassi, we will continue to see history repeat itself. Boko Haram started when Muhammad Yusuf was extrajudicially killed. Have we let any lesson as a country? The answer is no. We are still resorting to primitive, primitive, Dragonian ways of responding to civic agitation. When people are protesting, you engage them. You talk to them. That is why you say you are running a democracy. You don't kill them. You don't deny them of the right to protest. But we keep saying IPOP. IPOP. And the, what the president said, he would speak to them in the language that they understand. These people have not recovered. The people of Eastern Nigeria, the Igbos in particular, they are still going through the agony. The civil war, if I and you are saying you speak in the language they understand. If what is the language here, of the civil war? But there's an argument, and I like your comments on that argument, that the president's um, remarks were taken out of context. Those he was referring to were the armed groups who have forgotten the pains of the southeast during the civil war. The armed groups who are going around torching Nigerian infrastructure belongs to us, INEC infrastructure, for our democracy. That comment was made to a specific cadre of criminals. So those who leapt to their defense were wrong-footed, including Twitter, who did not take time to appreciate the broader context of that remark before deleting the tweet. Now, should Twitter have 
approached the Nigerian government, because this is a sovereign state, before deleting that tweet. I want, you to, um, I want your take on that. And also the general global move towards social media regulation. The U.S. government, the U.S. House of Representatives actually has four bills right now in the offing to restrain social media giants about utilizing user data, buying other platforms. I grant you, none of them is trying to restrain or censor the actual posts that individuals make. But there is a general sense that social media giants are too big for their britches. Your comments. Do you know that as I speak today, Nigeria does not have a data protection law. Embarrassingly enough. Because you are citing the example, and that is why I'm saying, when we make these comparisons, we must look at the peculiarity of these countries. There is no single one data protection law in Nigeria today. Not even one. Not even one that protects the data of Nigerians. We don't have. We do not have. Now, you make, you know, the point that the president's comment was taken out of context. The only person or persons who took the president's comment out of context is the president and Lai Mohammed. Nigerians understood what he said. I personally understood what he said. The context in which he said it was clear. He didn't just stop at that. He didn't say he was referring to the armed groups. No. When you look at it objectively, when you look at it in context, because he said that they have businesses all over the country. Is it right that they have businesses all over the country? Does that have business in, in Kanu, in Sokoto, in Sanfara, in Benue, in Kwara, in Ogun, in Cross River? They don't. Does this security network have businesses all over the country? The answer is no. Buhari was referring to the Igbos. We can admit it. We can pretend about it. His body language has been clear. He started by saying you cannot treat 93 and 5% equally. We have seen how he has marginalized the Igbos. No Igbo is represented in the National Security Council. Look at the nepotism. So when we are saying his comment was taken out of context, are we also saying that his nepotistic appointments, his clearly sectional appointments are also taken out of context? Because this is a president that has a pedigree, a shameful pedigree, an unfortunate pedigree of favoring a section of the country that has polarized the country as never before. So that is not a president that you will tell me spoke at that people are taking him out of context. He was clear on what, on what he meant. In any event, we have had the so-called hetzmen, or the so-called Amplani hetzmen, committing ban, you know, killing people across the country from the north to the south. Has he spoken to them? Because in your interview with him, he made reference to what Governor Tom said, that the Governor Tom said he's full and that he cannot deny it. Not all full and are criminals. But as we are spoken to his kinsmen, the ones that are criminals, the ones that are armed, in the language that they understand, the answer is no. We want language as they've been speaking to them. Language of encouragement, language of endorsement, ruga, settlement, gracing roots, and so on and so forth. Despite that governors have rejected these divisive policies, Buhari is still trying to force it on the throat of Nigerians. He has not addressed the killings by the H-men. Has he spoken to bandits in the language that they understand? For the last six years, the answer is no. Rather, Gumi is advocating amnesty. Two students are being kidnapped. Just yesterday, people were praying in Zaria against kidnapping. Buhari has not spoken to kidnappers in the northeast, the northwest, in the language that they understand. He has also not spoken to Boko Haram and Iswap in the language that they understand. But suddenly, he now knows the language that I will understand. I do not think that is how to run a country whose well, unity you are bay. willing to kill for. I do not bay. think how to run a country in, in a bay. that is... In a bay. Let's move on from this uh, Twitter and this political... Uh, Barrister Aloy Ejimako, thank you for your time with us today. It's my pleasure having you. I I just start by asking this question. You don't see Namdi Kamu? Yes, I met him yesterday for almost three hours at the headquarters of the DSS in Abuja. And we had quite an interaction, private interaction initially. And later on, he was interviewed by three DSS officers in my presence. I wanted to call it an interrogation, but they said, no, it's an interview. Uh, during which they ask him routine questions, but most of the questions centered uh, 
on his being the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra and the activities of that organization. So he answered the questions uh, in a relaxed atmosphere uh, with bearing in mind his constitutional rights not to incriminate himself. Of course, um, some of the questions um, had background information that he considered incomplete and he told the officers that he was not able to answer some of those questions because uh, the information that they supplied to him was incomplete. If you describe to us when you see Namdi Kalu, how he be, what's in, this, is in state of mind? Well, uh, he, his state of mind wasn't as uh, sound as it should be. You know, uh, if you listen to his broadcast, uh, you would know that he's a historian. But when I was talking with him, he had trouble recalling the actual date he was abducted. It surprised me. So to jog his memory, I asked him how many nights he, he spent in Abuja before he was, he was brought to court. He told me two nights. So he was brought to court on Tuesday, the 29th June. So we, we figured he must have been brought into the country on Sunday, the 27th. So when I mentioned that date, he said, sure, that's the date. But I, I took particular note of that. I also noticed that he had a visible injury on his right wrist. I asked him what it was. He said it was the, where they had chained him, put the chain on him, and chained him to the concrete floor in Nairobi, Kenya. And he has disappearing injury on the left wrist and an injury right here at the nape of the neck. He appears like somebody who has been mentally traumatized. You know, so he's unwilling to talk about one of two things until you prompt him. Like when I prompted him about the date, that's the conclusion I drew. How many nights he spent in Abuja? No, he's not. He's traumatized. You can tell us more about what's in happened because you talk about, you just mentioned Kenya and Kenyan government don't come out to talk, say, they're not arrest in Amkano for Kenya. So well, tell us yeah. more about yes, what this. Happened? What happened is this. Uh, Mazin Amkano entered Kenya, uh, I believe, on a certain date, uh, right around April DC. I'm not sure. I'm trying to establish the actual date of entry. But I have documentation from a Kenyan hospital that placed him in Kenya as of 14th April this year, 14th May. So he entered Kenya. And what did he do for the Kenya hospital? He went there because he had uh, issues with his heart. He had maybe, he felt he wasn't well. So he went there, he was examined, and the diagnosis was um, a hypertension and heart murmur. They made prescriptions for him, and my examination of the medical report indicated uh, medications for heart and uh, controlling uh, blood pressure. So apparently he entered Kenya before the, the 14th uh, May this year. So he had settled in at a location in Nairobi, temporary location, and he entered with his passport. That day, on the faithful day, that was on the, I believe on the 19th, yes, not believe, Saturn, 100%. He drove himself to the airport from his temporary location in Kenya. He drove to Jomo Kenyara International and went into the garage, the under, underground garage, to pick up a visitor flying in from outside. Okay, that is not necessary for this uh, discussion, the identity or whatever. So the moment he got into the parking lot, the garage, a group of several men well armed to the teeth. And this now waiting now they can tell you about yes. what you remember of what what happened happen before the bring down to Nigeria. This is what he told me and his recollection of this was very, very lucid and clear. Tell us about it. Yeah, so now they they, they they swooped on him. They gathered and grabbed him. Okay, in a very physical rough, rough way. And he raised the lamp. Luckily for him there were a few people that were there and the people wanted to intervene in terms of really very aggressive intervention because to them i asked them why they would consider making an aggressive intervention when something that seemed law enforcement was happening he said perhaps they didn't believe it was normal so the people that were abducting him told everybody to stay clear 
that this person we are looking at is the Nigerian terrorist who assists the Al Shabaab terrorists in Kenya. They grabbed him, put him in their car, and left and took him to a private residence, not an official detention facility, where they chained him to the floor. For most of the eight days he spent there, and they really tortured him. Thinking he was Al Shabaab. So he kept telling them. It wasn't Ashabab. We had nothing to do with Ashabab. We kept telling them who he was. Who be these people? Well, I asked him who they are. He told me they are Kenyan security officials. I asked him why. He said the, the insignia, the courage, that he had arrived in Kenya, so he had a bit knowledge of the terrain and how the law enforcement functions and the sort of things they wear, uh, you know, that they, they were brazen with weapons openly, couldn't have been private parties or, you know, some rogue agents doing that. He told me that the thing has, um, it's, you know, a hundred percent degree of official, official down to it. So uh, they took him to that location and they, they were touching him. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry to say, they really beat him a lot. So, but at some point when he was trying to explain himself, it, it, he told me he was blindfolded most of the time, chained to the floor, bare floor. But the Kenyan government don't clearly talk, say they don't get hand for uh, this, and they don't arrest in the Kano for the ground. And also, the federal government never come out to talk anything about uh, yeah, your client, uh, where they arrest your client okay. from. Okay. You see, it's not going to be a question of he said, uh, she said. I'm a lawyer, I operate on the basis of independent and credible evidence. The Kenyan High Commissioner uh, might have sounded credible to the general public, but information available uh, to me can impeach every single word she uttered, including the word, the denial that, coming, that came from the home government. I have immigration stamp placing in Namde Kano in Kenya just uh, 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 two months before his abduction. I have medical evidence placing him at a Kenyan hospital. Okay? And... Uh, he, I have his own word. He's of a man of sound mind. And what thing your client in Namdi can tell you about how they move him from Kenya? As he talk, as you talk, say he tell you to Nigeria. Him. Yes. He, he said on the first food day, that was the 27th on Sunday, 27th June, they drove him in a car to Jomo Kiyata International Airport, blindfolded him and bundled him inside a private jet, like a Lear jet. I asked him if he's a Boeing, seven, seven, so whatever, or a boss, the big ship. So he said, no, it's a normal private jet. But you often would see some people owning private jet, that kind of size. And he was the lone passenger in that jet, in that plane. And he didn't clear immigration. They drove him you know, on the tarmac straight to the plane and very close to the plane and put him inside the plane with Nigerian security officials and left about 12 noon in the afternoon and landed Nigeria same day in the evening, around something after 4 or to 5. Let me talk about the trial where we'll begin again on the 26th of July. Yes. How prepared will Nadi for that trial? Well, we are, but there's not going to be any trial. There's going to be trial within trial. What happened to Namde Kano is, by legal definition, uh, worldwide legal definition, what is called extraordinary rendition. It's a state crime. It's a crime by the state. If a private individual abducts or violently and illegally seizes another individual, it's called kidnapping and is a very, in some jurisdictions, is a capital offense. When state does it, it's called extraordinary rendition that's what happened so if you rendered or you renditioned a fugitive or a suspect you have lost jurisdiction to try that suspect because you committed an international crime you broke your own laws you broke the laws of this third state from which territory you renditioned that individual and you broke the laws of the second state of nationality of that individual that is what is playing out here because we have three divergent but also compliant jurisdictions. The three jurisdictions here, Nigeria, Kenya, and UK, their laws prohibit extraordinary 
rendition. Okay, so they've been calls don't come from different quarters, from different groups. Say the federal government must handle this case on the fair notes that the trial must happen, not the can trial must happen on the fair note. Does this make you optimistic? Fair, fair trial. That Nandi can must have a fair trial. See, there, there is a, is that wrong? It's a is is a, is a contradiction to say that a jurisdiction that broke the laws of three countries and the international law, that's the fourth component, to bring a suspect before a jurisdiction should be expected to give fair trial to such individual. But like I said, we haven't even gotten to that bridge yet. When we get to the bridge of whether he's going to get fair trial or not, we are going to ventilate it. The bridge we have to cross first is the bridge of testing the impact of the jurisdiction of Nigeria to try and arm the kind of any criminal offenses stemming from the extraordinary rendition. Amount of money we can give you this, then you can betray your people. Hi, Chineke, me betray my people. You see, that's why I love Namdi Kano with the, from the very bottom of my heart. You know why I can't stop? I can't stop loving Namdi Kano. You know why? I confirmed. I saw the report and I confirmed it from source that they offered Namdi Kano billions and houses abroad to abandon the Biafra cause. Nandi Kanu could have just done this like every other political animal from this East. Nandi Kanu said, no, not on my life. No, you can't try it. Not in this life. Nandi Kanu rejected billions in houses, property. Then you expect me. That's why I went to stamp my feet in the ground where he was born. To show you that we are not playing. We're not playing games here. Coming from another angle, though, they were going to the same place. If it is freedom for my people, every money you bring to bribe me, that money will swallow you and kill you. The day I reject and renounce my evil people, the day I renounce my Christian brothers and sisters in Nigeria, that day take my life away from this earth. Useless politics. What is politics? What is nonsensical power? Use power is useless. You die today, the power is gone. Look at my colleague, Bambino, just got buried. People are getting buried everywhere. All the power is gone. Power, house, car, all this nonsense, gone. What have you done with your life? You're seeking power, you're seeking money, you're seeking this. Seeking... No, it doesn't mean anything. God is saying, what have you done? People in Israel, look at Moses, look at Joshua, the people who led the liberation movement. We have not stopped talking about them till today. What will you be remembered for? What legacy are you leaving behind? Your kids and your kings and your kids. What legacy? What will you be remembered for? Even if I live and go to heaven now. At least some people will still remember me for something. That since I started speaking to you guys through this channel, I have never wavered for one day. There has not been any day that I wavered and say, Oh, he used to believe like this. Now he's believing like this. Have you ever seen me? Please type it on the comment page. Have you seen me change? Consistency is the mark of a true statesman. You must have focus. You must be consistent. What I have said to you from beginning is what I'm saying to you tomorrow. I am not going to change. That's how I love you. I told you. They are going all over the place. Buying people. Weak-minded souls are, get, are getting bought over. But if you're a real man like Nam Degano, you will stand your ground. Like Joseph Ogechibu, you will stand your ground. Bring them I will use that. Go to hell with your money. You will never have money for what? They are trying to keep your land. It is not by accident that God made me to be an evil man. My evilness.
I love my Christian religion. Some of you, you get offended and the next minute you start fighting against what is right. Various states. We demand for the urgent release of Nam Dekano, his colleagues, and all prisoners of conscience as part of the process of the search for national cohesion and building a new Nigeria. There is a legitimate debate among Nigerians on the Biafra question. And there are indeed many Igbos who, like many other Nigerians, may not agree with Nam Dekano's objective or means. But it needs to be stated, however, that no citizen of Nigeria deserves the kind of treatment that is meted to Nam Dekano and his colleagues. Government has declined to obey the, court, the orders of properly constituted courts in Nigeria for his release. Nam Dekano is not above the law, but nor should he be put beneath it. A situation where the state refuses to obey clear and legitimate court orders for his release, and even one of them outrightly ordered for his unconditional release, there is absolutely no reason in a country with a rule of law that he should have been held an hour later than those court orders or even rulings of the court that he should be released unconditionally. Why is Nam Dekano's case an exception? Joining us now in the studio is Chukwem Zipe, the former governor of Anambra State. Glad to have you join us in the studio. Thank you so much. Good. Let's start this way. What does it seem like some in the eastern part of the country are beating the drums of war by their actions, attacking federal institutions and even the police and even killing the police? What does it seem like that? Anybody who hears this story will be mad against the people. Who are the people who are burning INEC offices? Who are killing the police? Well, there is the impression that some people, maybe even in government, are guilty of organizing such things and blaming it on IPOB and ESN. Effort has been made by elders of our people to find out the truth. Under uh, the hands of uh, IPOB and ESN are not there. I'm sure you know that at a very prison there was uh, a lot of uh, devastation and uh, the IGO police blamed it immediately on IPO and ESL. Even the governor of that state, Imo State, at the beginning thought it was IPO and ESL. But now, now we know that more than 80% of the people caught by the camera. Uh, I, I, what do you call that? I'm not from CCTV. CCTV in, 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 I'm not from uh, the southeast or even the east at all. Now, Gulag is dead. Was it a desire again to blow it on IPOP? And e e ESN. First of all, my heart go to the family. But we are learning more now. That's a design to provoke the East. By hope. What do you think the motive for that would be? Because when you say that you suspect that, that there are elements know. within the federal government yes. who may be fomenting this uh, trouble in the Southeast. What do you think the motives could be? I don't know whether they are particularly in government, but from what we are reading and from the research we are making and getting results, 
many people. I'm happy to let me uh, tell you. Yes. I read the president's statement. There are many positives there. Number one, he says, in spite of effort to run down the INEC, mm -hmm. there will still be elections. Election? Mm -hmm. Two, that he has no ambition to stay beyond his term of office and go for third term. So, that's very good. But he may not know all that is going on. A president takes responsibility for what is happening. But it is taking what is told. And I heard the minister for information categorically blaming IPOP and ESN. How did he know? These are dangerous elements in government. So, exactly why are you absolving? ESN and IPOP of these attacks because a lot of people including of course the IG and the president himself based on his statement they believe that this is the signature of IPOP and it's a military uh, arm that's uh, the militant arm the and ESN. Fact also let me just add to that mm -hmm. they call people not to go out to do their normal activities in most parts of the East no that was only for two days. The days to honor the heroes past. Let's go back to the basics. I, Bob and Heinrich don't have the mission of shedding blood, of burning down things in this East. Burning down what we are boasting for. Burning down buildings, killing policemen. Look, I was coming back from my village, Ibu. I passed through on nature. After six hours staying in one place, I had to look for a way to go back. Not to go forward now. Go back to Ibu. Okay, let, let me take you. We would let you. We'd let you land, but because we need to uh, quickly clarify the issues that you've just raised about evidence that IPOB and, um, you, you know, the Eastern Security Network, ESN, are not behind uh, these violent attacks against public institutions. What is the basis of your claim? Is it as a result of police investigation? Because you say that you, you investigated. Who exactly investigated? And, you know, to have this outcome. And what the evidence really is, is, I mean, to prove this, first of all, it is not in Igbo tradition to shoot people in office, shoot police. It's not Igbo tradition to burn down. During the uh, entrance, people attributed what was happening in Lagos to some Igbo elements. It was not. And eventually they discovered. So I don't know. Um, the president should not be blamed for what he's told to say. Let, let, let me ask you this. Uh, the president said those carrying out these activities are too young to realize the destructions that occurred during the war. The question on the lips of some is whether they have not learned any lessons from that war. Um, I think people who are doing this, those who are sponsoring this destruction, don't want election. Don't want president from South East soon. And will even want to scatter the Anambra election and go for emergency situation and appoint somebody. We, I don't know, Nigerians must be thinking about their fellow citizens, mm -hmm. whether they are in uh, Tukutu or in An Anambra. We should understand what is going on. We should jump into conclusion. I is uh, I went to find out. Uh, I blamed some people for for what came out of their mouth. Sometimes 
some some people talk too much. Okay, let's talk about the this IPOB issue that seems to not be you know going away anytime soon. There seems to be a leadership gap in the southeast that makes you know groups like IPOB, though proscribed, that makes groups like IPOB and others calling for secession, especially in the southeast, to have uh, this kind of um, following and respect. The lockdown for two days in the southeast was total. Is it a reflection of the level of influence of IPOB? And not much is being heard from the southeast leaders like yourself and, of course, the southeast governors. I what see. is responsible for that? Please, let's think original. What is responsible for that? The federal government has been working hard. Pushing the Igbo out of Nigeria. The young men are reacting to what is coming from the federal government. When you say pushing the Igbo out of Nigeria, yes. it sounds. Uh, could, could you explain? Huh. I will explain. Mm. When you, you with, whether it is projects, locations, you don't find it in Igbo now. Tell me any, any of the, uh, uh, any station for railway right now. When it is appointments, you don't find it. But if you if it is retirement on service, we dominate. Do you know that for long, I don't know whether it has changed, there is no South Easterner in the National Security Council of Nigeria. Then individual Igbo people were pulled down. Ibeto was the giant of cement. He was pulled down. Now he's trying to climb up again. That even Ivan Yuba was detained. Inotun, who is uh, running a car manufacturing something, something that he should be pampered. He was detained with pants. Flown to Lagos with pants. Huh? So, there are too many instances of the Igbo being humiliated, marginalized, excluded, etc. And oh, look at the, um, the recent appointments. The four zones, south-south, south-east, south-west, and middle belt, four zones mm -hmm. went to court to sue the federal government, the president, for not complying with federal character. Let me take you up on, on your the idea that the federal government is pushing Ndebo out of Nigeria. One of the biggest uh, projects ongoing by this administration, the Niger. Uh, but, you know, okay. my, my sister, I don't understand. Uh, when did it start? The Niger Bridge. Who started it? And how far has it, has it gone? The second so, Niger, Niger the Second Niger Bridge. Bridge. Yes. How far has it gone? So there is nothing. But a lot if of people, people, would somebody somebody crying, people would say that that project has actually moved a lot faster under this. Um, and he is committed to doing it. Let, 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 me, let me ask you this. Let, let me ask you this. Let, let me ask you this. One keeps wondering, you're a former governor, a stakeholder in this nation, and from the East, what the elders in that region are doing to stem this tide, especially from IPOP, ESN. I'm coming. For example, in the southwest, they condemn people like Ibo, Sunday Ibo. But I, I don't think one has had any strong leader of your wealth, you know, in the east condemn the IPOP and the ESN and what is happening. Mm -hmm. and kind of particularly what is happening. And he's in London and he's inciting people here to. Uh, we have not enough time. Otherwise, what I'm telling you is that. The reaction of the youths in IPOP, man began, is the 
what should be the reaction of everybody, including me. But because I know a bit more, and I know that if you restructure Nigeria, so are you saying that what they're doing is right because that should be the reaction of everybody, including you? Are you, are you saying, are you supporting what they are no, doing? No, I am saying that those who are saying leave, leave Nigeria, leave Nigeria, have a reason for that. The federal government is the reason for that. Are there, no, are, are there no other ways without resorting to violence? And destroying public We are not resorting to violence. Violence is being imposed on us. Mm. I don't understand that. Uh, okay, let me take you up very quickly because uh, we're, we're running out of time. On the issue of uh, Southeast Presidency, uh, I've read you in a number of places, actually seem to uh, contradict yourself somewhat. Help us understand and clarify. On the one hand, uh, you did endorse Yahya Bello, the governor of uh, Kogi State, uh, you know, as you know, for presidency in 2023. And on the other hand, uh, you've also been quoted as saying that uh, Ndibo would rather out the southeast would be willing to kneel before the rest of the country to get the 2023 presidency. Where exactly do you stand? Let's have that clarity. There's no doubt, and I think I thank all Nigerians, Miss, Miss, uh, the Northerners. The Western people, the South South people, they are all supported now. Almighty God in heaven, heaven has approved South East President. Now, I had a visitor, Yaya Bello, who came to my house. We talked, and he told us what he has been doing. Many things, very impressive things he has been doing. In his state, but he told us also, also he wants to be president, and he complained about injustice, unfairness, inequity in where one part was dominating the governorship. So one of us stood up and said, "Justice is good for all. Look at Nigeria." We are no Igbo has held chief executive position in the country. We have not been elected. So we feel rejected already. And if after the election we find that uh, uh, we are rejected again, well, one rejected does not reject himself. The young ones feel totally rejected and they are reacting towards that. All right, we're going to take a short break. We'll come back. The world, fellow comrades, friends and lovers of freedom, and all our TOB members around the world, I say good evening from the state of Kuwait. Uh, my name is Mazichina Samoru. Mazichina Samoru is from Obingwa. Obingwa is in Aba province. And I serve the indigenous people of Biafra in the capacity of the Middle East Red. And I'm also a member of the Directorate of State. Um, this evening, I, I come to you all to make certain clarifications about our struggle, about what we are doing. It's really unfortunate that these days our people now believe that it's kind of good leadership. You need to prove you are a good leader in the Japan struggle. You must open a Facebook account. And you must start ranting on Facebook. That now qualifies you to be the leader of IPOB. That is the, what I have realized among our people. It's unfortunate that most of our people, we IPOB members, have allowed those who are not part of this struggle, who did not know how this struggle come this far. Let me make it very clear. Like Tina Kamoro, I am not an ugly man. Neither do I, look, I do not look presentable to come on Facebook to make a broadcast. It's unfortunate that our people are comparing people who come on Facebook to broadcast. They are comparing them to the leadership of IPOB, which is the Directorate of State. And that is the thing I want to clear this evening. 
Everybody can come on Facebook. Matthew Chike just say come on Facebook. Matthew Zulumike come on Facebook. Matthew Chika Samuel come on Facebook. Matthew Asa Yoba come on Facebook. If all of us go down there on Facebook, what will be your response? What will be the response of the Afghans? I want the Afghans who are on social media to answer these questions. In every struggle, there must be one leader. That leader is Mazen Nam de Kano. In the absence of Mazen Nam de Kano, we have Mazen Dosiem. Mazen Chike Dosiem is not Mazen Nam de Kano. He possesses his own characteristics. He has his own principles. And he has been the head of this director of state for many years now. And the leadership of this struggle has never deviated. To make this thing very, very clear to our people, you might be part of those sent by the Nigerian government, you might be part of those agent provocateurs, you might be those provocateurs ignorantly or ignorant or knowingly being part of those attacking this struggle, thinking that you know what you are doing. All of you who are coming on social media, calling on radio Jaffa. In less than two weeks, our leaders were arrested. Some of you are championing for somebody to take over from him. In less than two weeks, we have already on social media appointed a new leader of ITOD. This is very shameful for most ITOD members who have participated in this nonsense. And let me ask you people. Let me ask you people. If you are not an IPOD member, if you are not known, can you take over the leadership of? Can somebody come out from somewhere and take over the leadership of IPOD? It's impossible. Is it possible? It's impossible. Is it possible? Who is not an IPOD member? IPOD members are because of their ignorance, because what some of them have indulged them. They are coming on the social media, coming on our this only platform, and the talking rubbish, telling us who will be the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Many of them working with the Nigerian government, publishing in all the newspapers, who is the next leader of indigenous people of Biafra. Do you people know what you are doing? Do you people know what you are doing? That's why our leader continues to instruct the people. Memories. Most of you are not written in us. Most of you come to social media, talking about this, you do not belong to any of the family. You do not belong to anywhere. Only people are in social media and the talking about this, deciding for IPO. That is why the people you talk to me talk that IPO is something of social media. And the moment you talk on social media and broadcast, or you talk to yourself, then you become the leader of IPO. You are an IPOD member and we cut you into this hat, you will be dealt with an IPOD. In this holy platform I'm seeking this evening, founded in 2009 by our leader Martin Nam the Colonel. There were people who said that we are among those who founded it. Today we are not here. What we are here is to make sure we maintain this because we think this is what matters so much. This place it matters so much. If the people on this radio are not doing their job, if the people in IPOB were not doing their job, some of you will not broadcast on radio Jaffa. Some of you will not broadcast on social media. It is what you saw that people are broadcasting on the radio Jaffa. This is what gives you the privilege before many of you come out online and start broadcasting. And it is all welcomed. You are being welcomed to broadcast not give you the permission to claim that you are taking over a new Biafra. You make it very clear for those talking nonsense. You know, my social time and the talking nonsense. Biafra. And the BTV, they have rules and regulation. Every POV member who is the principal officer has an undertaking. From my teaching, they don't feel the lowest principal officer in the government. 
must abide by the theory code of conduct. Of one speaking to his side. And secondly, if you are broadcasting on radio theater, if you are broadcasting on BTV, there are conditions. Who will be doing the job? Even if you full living football, you don't say on the condition of that organization. What that is meant? Must be told about time. You tell me any organization, anywhere, that I have been called to take over something, and that person will not abide by the rules and regulations of that organization. No, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Conditions of radio. If you have in your head, you can come and broadcast in radio to keep every of their rules and the regulation, all their principles and tell you about the radio diaper. Nobody should tell you what to see. Nobody should tell you we are not going to do it. We will tell our leader because we are not yet out from what we have in the hands of which before. So you need it. And people want to recommend somebody who is not a radio member to come and handle our radio diaper. It will not happen. If you are not a POD member, if we get you, you will pay dearly for talking nonsense. Because all of you will be classified as federal property to us. We want because our leader is a company to come and teach us. In 2016, when they arrested our leader, most of these people who come in now want to take over the radio, they are investigating in Nandi Kano. Reaching him on the daughters. You come to tell us, hey, you are coming to deliver our leader. Does that mean you have prices? Do that mean you have prices? Telling us you are coming to 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 bring us and not help you with prices. Our children are going to die. Only 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 our support. That nonsense. If you are not in that, you will keep your mouth shut. You are at the top of our fence. We handle the issue. I want to make this very point clear again. You see all of you who are calling for protest in Biafra land. You remember the feet from all these nonsense protests they are calling because they want to bring you out to the jail. Our people participated in the inside protests. Who are who was killed? Our people were massacred. We have thousands of people missing. We have thousands of people go to inter society in the entire protest. We have over 5,000 people missing in the entire protest. That's still in detention because we come to protest for entire There is somebody who is sick. They think it is because our leader will be on the radio and give orders. They don't know that it's work on the ground. Police officers are all in there, have been all declared wanted. 
These are the people without IPOA, you can't control and you can't do any protests, not talking by mouth. We were here and the foolish IPOB members were sending for parts of one million lady in America. It's organizing a protest in Asia in a in conjunction with IPOB members. What nonsense. You people want this DOS to come out in a way you will not like. You think because our leader is in the prison, anybody can come out from anywhere and dish out others. And that we are not going to take it. The every Nigerian newspaper who continue to protest ever as the leader of IPO, we are going to block, block them in all platforms. Nothing more complex. IPO is organizing protests all around the world in America, in Europe. IPO members are organizing protests. How many members from what you have joined them in that protest? Let me ask you. Again. Because if you are stupid, you are not listening. We have been in this trouble for many years. We have conducted protests. We have conducted protests for the United States. We participated. How many of you know how it was organized? You stay in your bedroom, you go in and you come and tell our people to go for the protest. We are using a country where people, after handling guns, they go back and protest. Why are you continuing to insult people? Okay, you are telling us what you want Congress. Where is what you want Congress? Yes, they are now that Where do they have members on ground? What you want Congress is conducting protests. We are in America. How many are protesting them? How many members from what you want Congress are joining them in the protests? Also, are people are protesting in Europe. How many members of World War Congress are joining them? You are telling us that World War Congress is asking you to come and protest for Trump of Syria. Are people are they being killed because of the food price going up? Are they being killed because of revolution now? So, what is when he's telling and he's sending messages to Africa people, when our people were doing party X May in their farmland, he is so worried about 5 million people that we are killed. He showed that his new respect and people at home. No, show them that in Abuja protested. When he wants to do his revolution now, he connects with what he wants and tells us to come and protest for salary, to protest for those who are selling the right of faction. Is that why we form IPOD? I feel we have this mutual statement. Any protest we are protesting is for the release of Martin Nandekano, for the referendum, and for the freedom of their own people. That is why we are dying. We are not dying because of food price. We are not dying because people suddenly we are caught. We are not dying because of people are being marginalized in the government. No, that's not why we are here. And that's not why we will bring our people on the streets to be killed. Not for the World Congress. Because of our leader mentioned the World War Congress, let them show what their evidence, what they have used in supporting this trouble. You are not in an IPO, you want to come and control IPO. If IPO is part of it, that's happening to you, you want to join. That will be the last. And the moment you come and say, IPO member, the other officers are having meeting and bringing people who are not in IPO. We will be done with it. All coordinators and continental will be coming on radio to tell their friends what they are doing, what they are preparing for the release of Martin and the Colonel. You can't even comment on Facebook. You can't even make a meaningful comment on Facebook. What you can do is to fight, complain, and find who to attack. The Nigerian government is holding our leader. They are doing all the operation on the ground. To make sure they dismount the IPO. The same DOS put on the floor was trying. This is organized this DOS. This not this DOS. That is what some of you have come here to be preaching. Do you know the work of the DOS? Do you know what the DOS are doing? We understand that in the inner people mind, if you have money, if you don't come and throw it, you don't have money. If you have, you must tell the world what you can do. And that is why we are always cut short. Because we don't always get our destination. 
Come on, social media, you attack the leadership of this struggle. You think you can sit with this and stop me telling you I'm defending the US. What are you defending? Tell me what you are defending the US. Is the US defending them for what the DOS they are working with fit for them? If that is the title we choose, let me continue. If you want to follow him, you follow him. But our radio data will not go without accepting the terms and conditions. Every person who has been on radio data is accepted. It will not happen. People are like there talking rubbish, attacking the DOS for what they don't know. The energy we will use to fight for her. Point for the leader, you are looking to attack somebody who gives you nothing when you have a strong knowledge of what is happening. Let it be a record that the president of the United States was invited by the members of the US so that he can be able to broadcast on radio in Africa. The condition that used to be given to every other person is that he's not going to speak it, that he's not going to. Any document for IPO, if we like, we should hand over the radio to him and nobody should instruct him what he will say on radio or what he will talk on the radio. That he, he, is, a, he is a divinely connected to our leader. He knows what to talk. He called our radio broadcaster. These people reading newspapers. What do you want to say? Not part of that. This kind of classroom. Who said he started broadcasting by listening to radio in Japan? Today we come to castigate them. If he don't respect himself, let him do his job. When our leader communicates with our leader, do your leader, our leader have a proper get in place. We are not going to take it. These are the things I want to clarify. And the third thing, the extraordinary remission of our leader is not a miraculous something. It is something that from people did not know, members of the did not know, but the family member they knew was the problem and they deceived everybody. They told us that it was okay. I'm saying this is so that we can have rest. You know, I don't have any problem. They are doing it for themselves. This is for themselves. Often we have a bit of a journey for the journey for several days.
It's all I have for this evening. If any of them, all the people, I challenge any of them to come on this radio and ask me a question. Any of them, come on this radio and ask me a question. All those who are their pocket. I am waiting. Thank you, Marcy. Thank you, Marcy. Thank you, Marcy. Thank you very much. Because uh, we need to put clarity on issues. You know, there is one thing I want people to understand. And um, it's a big problem. Our people are highly sentimental. I used to preach this here on this hallowed platform. Our people used to act like, you know, bingos. Many of our people, I'm telling you, I, it's not an insult, but I, all of us, we, we are highly emotional, sentimental. These are people that can see one thing, you know, uh, they react. Another thing, distraction upon distraction upon distraction. They never remove their eyes from distraction. No, whenever I'm reading Bible, when things that uh, the old Hebrew during the time of Moses, you know, I said it here when I was praying. How these people that saw miracles upon miracles, only forty days of absence of Moses. I know it's not the fortieth day, maybe a few days. They say, oh boy, this man, we don't see him. Oh, that is his God we they talk about. We don't see him, see him again. They started, they forgot everything. This is, when I'm reading all this thing, people are carrying Bible, but they don't know that it is the li their lives, their lives, they wrote there. It's why today even I want to talk about discipline. What I want you to also clarify, although you said it, but please, you hit on it. There are people that used to call. When they call here in this platform, even I have known IPOB members. 
they will start by shrewdly putting on some after they start putting you know i was listening before about some somebody's talking i know him very well he's still from america talking you know every time they have a swipe against dos and i say what is happening what is all this these people they, are, they don't know what they are doing. I, I cannot say, I will not say they don't know what they are doing. Most of them know what they are doing. They want to just try to create confusion. The energy that we need to use, that energy, that synergy, we need to use, you know, pass it, you know, when you create, I don't know if you play this game, they call Mortal Kombat. Play it. No, you see somebody, he, he, he will muster his own synergy and push out that force. But you see people coming in order to, you know, they will use that force, they try to divide that force so that some people will be talking on this. Um, oh, DOS, I say, oh, DOS, I say, oh, Nyanka, I say, oh, Nyanka, I say, just, just to bring this harmony among ourselves. They can. I'm not better than you. I'm telling you honestly. You know. Therefore, Mazi, I want you to also hint on this about our people that are calling on radio, please, so that it will be there will be you know full final stop. We are in a freedom fighting for goodness sake. We are not in a in a democratic government. That is one thing our people fail to understand. When we get our freedom now, it is for us all to decide the type of government we want to run. But for now, it is command and control. Our leader put a structure, and that structure must be followed to the letter. It doesn't matter. This is something that people have died for, and people continue dying. No person should come here in order to start making, oh God Almighty. I love what you say. About making some things happen in our land for this all this character because these are characters of our people that we are preaching here our leader started preaching here day and night in order for these rubbish characters to be removed from us here you see some people some of them are mischievous anyway mischievous because they know what they are doing they just they just want to take a swipe so that you know there will be confusion so mars please hammer on it again about people even inside ipob that are coming here to do talk something that they don't even know about we have even freelancers people that uh, call themselves they are freelancers that are talking something because there are things uh, if they don't tell you you don't know it's why we say it is command and control Ojuku, our late general, he suffered enormously in the hands of our people during the war. Our people gave him trouble. I'm telling you. This is what we are trying. We are trying to move our people into a united front. Discipline. Discipline people. To be, there is no way we can achieve anything without being, without discipline. It is impossible. So, Mazi, I don't know what you still have to say about those people that are, you know, they can call on radio, they will talk, you know, you think that they are talking with, after they put one thing, I used to remark it. It is a very shrewd character. You know, Ma many of you have eyes. Ma Please, Ma 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 on about they, it. They, they, they are, there are problems Nigeria wants to dismantle before they will dis destroy IPOB. Our leader is in the hands of the enemies, presently. Who, what do you think or who do you think is their next target? Who, who do you think is the leadership? Yes, the leadership. Is the GOS. The GOS is the next target for the Nigerian government. Now, now that there will be a disarray. That we, that's why BBC wrote it in one of their articles. They said the arrest of Nnam Dekano have put the IPOB in disarray with no leadership, nothing. And that was why I was very upset when somebody come and tell us there is crisis in IPOD. There is no crisis in IPOD. For that reason, that is the, the effort of him to step in and make sure. That this and Mark, that before I, you continue, you know BBC promoted uh, his coming in. And uh, yes. yeah, it's yes. natural, natural things. Yes. Common sense will tell you, 
some yeah. things we promoted yeah. now you are jumping up bbc that is against us against, uh, and the all our people have to understand all the people who have always fight against this struggle them and bbc are always in one way or the other in good times the moment they see somebody they like bbc is not one they want to interview chike Dosen. you know that the only time oh, channel was interviewed powerful, channel was threatened to be shut down. I'm going to send him in. Now, oh, yes. the, the channel was threatened to shut down just for interviewing. Now, BBC have never tried to interview any leader from the IPO. Apart from the interview, they granted our leader. But they are always to bring it to the joy of all those people they know. And they and promote they replacement. Adventures. Replacement. And they, pro they promote replacement. Now, let me make this thing very clear. During the time of the former, you know, um, uh, Ucho Nefon, he understood there was a grand plan he had. His problem was the DOS. During that time, they need to dismantle the DOS. Then you ask the question, if I am not doing very well, the DOS, you don't need to dismantle the whole DOS, right or wrong. You will replace me. Remove the you replace me. You remove me and they replace a new person. When we know when the even of Africa red problem happened, you don't dissolve the DOS, you remove him and we put another member of the DOS. There were people who have been in this DOS before us in 2017, they were the first heads. They were not doing things right, they were removed and they replaced. DOS is just not DOS is the institution, it's an institution that runs this global movement. And when you think about it, come to me, tell me that you are not doing very well in what you are doing. You need to be replaced. This people on the food. You call to uh, uh, put your former. You are part of the DOS, you are in the media, you are not doing you are not doing the same fine, you need to be replaced. You show us a better replacement, you will be replaced. But when you come on air, attacking the whole DOS members, people you know, people you don't know, even if they ask you, okay, you don't be for the fact you don't respect the DOS, you don't see them as anybody, you don't need to talk to them. Who are they? Because Everybody that joins, they are all educated, respected people. Like you only. These are lawyers, graduates, you understand me, in all fields, studying abroad also. And there is nobody in that US who have never lived in that for a month less than minimum, minimum 10 to 15 years. That is nobody. I can tell you that. Even those in Africa countries they have lived outside minimum 10 years. These are people who have got for you to be selected to be the DOS to control the region. There must be something you have done. It's not by talking because IPO is all about action. What can you do? And also, when somebody comes and tell you his achievement in IPO is because he didn't sleep. He went up by so he asked for these are not criteria and anybody who wants to say why we are fighting that person is a stupid person. You don't talk about it because those are one of the things you want to see in this struggle, you will deny yourself sleep. You will not sleep because things can come up to that world. I need to be awake 40 hours, not sleeping. Nothing, it is for this problem. 40 hours, man, say. 40 I hours, know, I, I want to solve that because you are trying to meet up the demand on our people, those in the hospital, those in the prison, those on ground, those that who need what a welfare you need to report any moment. Then somebody will come up. You look at all these people who have hold this struggle for how many years you talk down on them 
oublier que l'accès c'est vous, oui, vous êtes aussi ça. Pour Who will come out? Who will support Martin and Beckano, like many other people who are supported in all their kind of uh, 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 endeavors? It is really, really understood that when people come out to attack the DOS, not an individual who might not be doing very well, try to understand there is a clandestine operation to destroy the leadership. Because let me give you a connection here. Do you know why they went to the our Palestine's home? To kill him before the arrest of our leader. Because it's when things happen, you connect the dots. When the Nigerian government was flying, maybe they have gotten information on how they want to talk to our leader. They know it will be difficult for any lawyer to come and represent him. You understand me? So they decided to try to execute, to assassinate Barastifan and Jofo. So that whenever they brought our leader, there will be no lawyer. Oh, uh, they will even clandestinely, covertly fix their own lawyer as they want to do now. Thank you. Uh, they the the will now come and they make sure they kill our leader. That was all the plan. Now, when they came to the house, they found out that they had arrested Mr. Jones. He will still tell us. I know the other we want to know. But this moment, we are no more talking about why people say he told you people, people will be IP will be members, come on social media, actively DOS members of betraying our leader, of selling our leader, and taking money from IPOB members. One thing they don't know, they did not even call a member of DOS. I am very, very sure. They didn't call any member of the DOS and ask them what really happened. No. They go on social media and they are belong to the same organization. And when they destroy us, somebody come out, make like they tell you he's defending you. He's defending the DOS. Like I see if the DOS did anything wrong. Like I see if the DOS, they forgot. No, no, no member of the DOS is living with our leader. About that, this thing is an operation the Nigerian government is trying to channel. I may say what I said before over World Book Congress. It doesn't mean that somebody to support the struggle. Do you understand me? But something, but if World Book Congress want to make a protest, isn't it wise to contact the IPOB leadership? Master Jonas, I want to ask this question the whole global movement, isn't it right? For World Info Congress to contact the IPOB leadership that we want a protest, a nationwide protest in Nigeria. The World Info Congress so far they have fixed a date for their work for their protest and now tell you want IPOB members. But they will write a letter to Nigerian police that they're going to protest. But they won't inform IPOB because they want us to talk. They say we don't want out, that they wanted to organize a protest and we refuse. But they forget they are all men in, 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 you, in, in America. They, who is going to protest? It's IPOB will come out. Some people were killed in NSATs. How many of them knows how they have been released? How many of them knows how many IPOB have buried? How many of them knows how to organize a protest? Manzi, you are talking of IPOB being killed. These are their friends. Many of these people that are killed, that are jailed, are not even family members of IPOB. But they are their friends, and IPOB takes the responsibility of everybody. That is it. That is it. Yes. You can go on. So, Manzi, all the operation they are doing is to make sure they destroy the leadership. 
they have arrested our leader and when they destroy the leadership while we'll be fighting for leadership they will try their best now to do their day on the ground they are arresting our people when they go they look for an ipob family they don't see you they will pick your wife and pick your children that is what they are doing now in their parliament that is what they are doing now for people remains the target for people remains the target you know let me tell you something man say there is somebody he contacted me you see this thing dsl say that we want if they send our leader to the prison we want to come and break a prison and, and take him away you know a couple of days back before dss made this statement somebody called me and was giving me that advice what i give and i told him please keep this advice from current i didn't know maybe he wanted to record me i told him please leave this kind of subject this is not something to talk about give it as an advice for me maybe you would have recorded my voice message when if i give a consent to those nonsense do you understand me the nigerian dss they are looking for a way to implicate many ipob leaderships they are looking for a way haven't you seen in some of the videos where they always they catch somebody a rather a deserter from the military they do told him on what to talk and at the end of the day he will mention china samoru mention have you seen the videos why are they mentioning names because they want to pin out some people out. They want people to see that this person needs to be bring out. They are trying to do the case against somebody. But people don't understand that. And they don't forget that when a leader is being arrested, normally what they will try to do is to send people to hijack that organization. It happened to us in 2015. In Iranian, they were there. They, they, there was tripod, there was armpod, there was all kind of pod. They found them trying to divide IPOB from it. That is the Nigerian system. That is what they did to Shakao and divided and divided Boko Haram. And they bring all kind of pod. They found them trying to divide IPOB from it. That is the Nigerian system. That is what they did to Shakao and divided Shaka and divided Boko Haram. And they bring all kind of sport. They fund them. Trying to divide IPOB from it. That is the Nigerian system. That is what they did to Shakao and divided Shaka and divided Boko Haram. And they bring. That is the Nigerian system. That is what they did to Shakao. And divided and divided Boko Haram. And they bring Thank you, Marza. Marza Jonathan. Thank you, Marze Kinasa. You know, um people are always talking about the uh, Oh, there is a vacuum uh, communication, in communication, even internal communication. People used to talk about it, you know, some people anyway. So, and uh, since uh, the abduction, the illegal or the extraordinary rendition of our leader, Mazin Nambikano, uh, uh, DOS has been coming on air, have been press release everywhere. You know, sometimes somebody will not listen to Radio Biafra and he will not understand what is being said, but after he will be talking another thing. So, please, what do you say about uh, this so called uh, uh, vacuum in communication? There is no vacuum in communication. I can tell you the truth. Must they do same since the rest of our leader after the conclusion of our interviews? Must they do same have been coming on there? He came on there last Friday, I think, or yesterday. Saturday. Yesterday. No, I mean, he, he came the other Friday. He came yesterday. When he came last Friday, some members of DOS also came on there. And some of them are also coming on there from time to time. 
One thing people have to understand is this. As soon as our leader is being arrested, we need to put many things in order. Because there are issues. There are things certain departments do not know about. Another department has to brief them. Where they are, where they stop, how things are moving. There are forms being used to run this form. You have to clarify where to get these forms, where to do all these things to keep everything running. And we have to know everything. Now, when issues come up on social media, people talk. The IPOB media is there. I can tell you, since our leader was arrested, the media is being briefed on a daily basis. That's it. They are being briefed on a daily basis. Because the most important thing now is to set the record straight. If you don't set the record straight, people will misinterpret you. Now, the IPOB media is on the watch. According to the instruction from our leader, he asked for the media to gear up. Don't allow fake news to take over things from us. That's instruction from our leader directly. Now, if somebody is part of the media, we can be speaking in one direction. When you are not part of the media, other people are saying different things, you are saying another thing. You are giving an order to the media. That is not how we have been working. That is not our pattern. You are trying to turn the media. We know that the Nigerian news uh, and some Nigerian news athletes, they have been very, I mean, in the way they report our issues, has been very encouraging. We must give them kudos for that. Even though they do right, but you can't just come up and start attacking them, accusing them of what we don't know. It doesn't go that way. We get the reports. There is no vacuum. In the media, they are being briefed. It is people in the in, in, in the in people that are being arrested, it is being followed up. The one thing you have to know, our leader when is there, he's not the one managing also everything, but he already said the structures. Everybody report to him. Now he's not there. People try to round up give briefing, things that maybe, uh, you know, trying to brief the HOD, the deputy HOD, the finance, you have to tell them this thing was happening like this, this was happening like this. And at the end of the day, the media is being briefed to go out there to continue to propagate our message. Now, if somebody is claiming there is a vacuum, vacuum in what? Radio is, is, is you people that this struggle is being sent because of you people that are on the radio. You are coming on a daily basis. Spread this gospel. So where is the vacuum coming from? That is what the enemy wants people to understand, that there is a vacuum. Who is creating the vacuum? Did any continental left the struggle? Did any continental rep resign? Did the HOD resign? That our leader is being in the hands of the enemies. What, where is the vacuum coming from? Is it not the same people who we are running those things? If there is a vacuum, or those who are not competent enough to be in their position, by now our leader would have removed them. The HOD is there, the deputy HOD. When coordinators are not doing well, they are being removed, they are being replaced, and maybe assigned to another thing. When somebody is talking about vacuum, I don't know where the vacuum is all about. See, I'm receiving, I'm receiving many inboxes telling me many, some of them, many of them are saying now that now they understand. Now, so you know, that is, um, you know, our people, as I said before, our people are too demanding for oh God and man. You know, um, I must be honest with you now, I understand why. Even some politicians of Biafran extraction, mostly Igbo politicians, why they will just come and deviate? They will come with, they will come up with. I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, uh, side them, but I try to understand now why, because many people cannot sustain pressure. 
our people uh, some of them they will come with good good intention but the way sometimes our people behave the too demanding too you know there is demanding and too demanding you know this character our people have is a very good character but had it been is in a very good system not like not a place like nigeria so some people when you you know our leader said one time in canada people will say ah the thing i wear ah, how do i wear something like this you know uh, uh designers say uh, this and that they will complain if you don't wear designers people will complain if you wear slippers uh, our people will shout you wear shoe our people will shout now there i start with the little experience i have in ipob i try to understand why some of our politicians once they enter because of the character of our people you go and do his own thing because there is nothing to satisfy our people but one thing is this because here in this platform we are trying to reorganize i mean reorganize or restructure the brains of our people we have a very good character this too demanding is very good but in a very civilized system it would have been the best so that that is why you know when biafra comes uh, this uh, political job political appointment everybody will be running away from it because there is no if you enter the following day once you drink water our people will ask you why do you why do somebody that we are paying have to drink this type of water do you understand it's a very good character so it will make political appointment not even it's, it's not attractive it, it will never be attractive because people you will be under constant public scrutiny and that is how it should be uh, but in the system of nigeria uh, they destroyed everything and people now are using it in another way around and the people are still using that character in a freedom fighting which is not how it's supposed to be freedom fighting is under command and control is somebody's first of all somebody started somebody's ideology first now he spread it and he caught fire that look yes yes this is every he had been on everybody's mind now people followed now you should follow that structure that is one thing our people don't understand and that is why you when you see somebody and come and say i'm a freelancer i don't belong to ipob but i'm a dear friend but i have to talk this and that i said look yes you're right but longing to family uh, ipob family it is a plus because there are some information internal information that you'll be hearing to guide you Ma, 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 so let, ma, so let me say something here. Yeah. yeah, many people say I don't need to belong in IPOB. But what is the basis? What is the basis of the agitation if not IPOB? You understand me? What is the basis? Who are you looking up to? In what you are doing? Because before now, we do not have any organization, anybody to look up to. Like now, you can ask people who is your role model. Within our own geogra geographical strength, they tell you Mars and Nam they cannot. You understand my point? Because before you may be asked which your role model, you start thinking uh, one American guy. Then you say the uh, Romeo and Juliet, you say my from X, you say the Nelson Mandela. Today they ask you who is your role model? Who will you like? You say Mars and Nam they cannot. Our people do not understand what we have been able, and it is because of the consistency. In IPOD, shake all these things. Man, when somebody says, I don't need to be in IPOD, eh, what is that to pay $10? It is $10 that people were paying. Those paying tax, those paying 50 It is what we have used to sustain this, this struggle till now. When do you say, is it to pay this? Another person not to pay this? If everybody say no, there is no need, we will be here. I can remember the years back when Sister now we come on air. Call names. Call names. The point my mom called me and told me, What money are you owing IPOB? I said, Because wait, they didn't pay. It's not that I was calling them personally, but I was being kept on my post to make sure that we are contributing, no matter how small it was. Many people like in UAA talking, some of these people, they were paying sometimes from their pockets at the early stage to say UAA is satisfied, talking is satisfied before people start coming. So, so when 
Mas, and, so, yes, you are right. Some people you yes. said on behalf of the country there are some pl some places I know some place that is only one person. Why you need to pay to cover the country? You could wait, 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 wait. The only three people raising money in the name of IPOD before people start coming. We we, we will be giving maybe like a thousand dollars. Three of us we pay it in the name of wait. People do not understand all these things. If we do not make all those sacrifices, and when somebody comes now, you know that is the problem we have in Ebola. When somebody comes, he don't believe in continuity. Everything his his uh, prayer the sister have done, he wants to destroy everything, even if it is wrong. He will destroy it because of the greed, hatred, envy. That is why we don't grow. You can't say, okay, even if you do this and it's not up to the listen, you continue. Do a better one. Instead, they go and destroy it from beginning to the end. And they will never rebuild it. So, these are the challenges people must understand. That without IPOD, there will be no Mazin Nam the Kano. Without Mazin Nam the Kano, IPOD will not, pro pro I mean, propel to the level they are. Because this is a unique leader. You can't sound somebody. That's why we don't want somebody to come to dilute that leadership as long as it's alive. His shoes are too big for anybody to play. He can be able to manage. Man, Man, there is something also like uh, what I said before. Because we need to put clarity. We need to hit on it so that people will hear. People are listening. How, you know, how, how absurd how weird all of a sudden bbc punch they started promoting one simon is he's the, he's the replacement of ipob and you see our people which i thought that they have common sense start clapping oh is there they start asking you oh no so so this is the uh, is now the handler that's important and tomorrow we start shouting oh bbc is uh, evil this and that britain is killing us but you are promoting you are supporting what they are promoting can Columbus, even if for example if bb all of a sudden bbc started promoting mazi jonathan chine do that he's this and that wouldn't you be afraid and say oh boy there's something wrong with this man i beg because they are representing opposite of what we believe they want us dead so please i want you to also how did this thing happen because this thing punch newspaper carried it uh, but, BBC but carried let, me let, me, let me tell you something Go. Sahara Reporters, uh, uh, it, you know i get pissed off with the one i saw yesterday and when i and when i make a screenshot i say this is fake news i see many people coming in my inbox insulting me Chinasa, I, you understand me all these things. I don't need to talk to them because they don't know. I am I am happy. Most of them think that China Samuel is just an ordinary IPOB member. I'm very, very happy for that. I'm not just because you see me on Facebook. I am one of the leaders in the indigenous people of in this movement. I'm a member of the DOS. I am privileged to certain information which are not made open to the public. But they, even we it is surprising to us and if you found out it took us days as we are trying to battle this fake news this fake information it took us days you have to understand that we now find ourselves in a defensive mode information was given to somebody become part of those the broadcasting on the radio it's a simple, it was a simple message. Simple, as simple as I said it. Tell him to join the broadcasters on the radio. Our leader will not be in prison and tell him, of course, he knows. Go and join IPO. It's just like our leader said, go and join IPO. And you come to IPO, you said, our leader said, I should just join IPO. No oath, nothing. Join IPO. You think we will accept you? Impossible. No common sense. We tell you. It's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. Our leader when a president appoints a cabinet uh, minister, yes, uh, uh, you know he has to go to a minister. He has to go to the parliament. 
to be vetted. In a hey, country, they can vet the person the president appoints and say, no, 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 he falls short. And they said no. And he's cancelled. But the president that is approved it. That is it. And the summary was approved. The information came to us. The, the person who is the leader, who is the head of the media, responded the message to our leader. With the lawyer who sent the message, he told him, I have heard, tell our leader, I have heard what you said. Uh, give me 10 days to me, for me to make my vetting. And they check in and provide a, a time he will be broadcasting. This is what happens in the back door. These are things that happen in the leadership. You understand me? These things happen. The message did not go to him. Many people think Radio Biafra is just a Facebook something. This message came to, to us. It came to me. I passed this message to the head of the directorate. The head of the directorate. I passed this message to the head of uh, the media. Master Chukwudu, your former. Master Chukwudu, I'm telling you exactly what happened. Master Chukwudu, your former, told me, Chinas, can I understand what our leader said? Word by word. I said, please, let me bring the barrister whom this message was given. I brought in barrister. I said, barrister, can you kindly deliver what our leader said to Chukwudu, Master Chukwudu, your former? And when our, our barrister delivered the message, Master Former replied to him. He said, Tell our leader, I have heard what you he have said. Please give me 10 days. Let me make the vetting and provide a, a, a timing for this person to be broadcasting. I will make the vetting. That was all. Everywhere got news from Nigerian media, from Niger everywhere. And the person is telling us that it was an order. We wait, we wait in it. It was with immediate effect. Please. How can we be alive? Somebody in this Korokoro, uh, somebody will just come in one way or the other to just take out what we have struggled for, what people died for, and just hijack it under just like that. To with a condition. And you say people will want. clap it for the person. And with a condition. It's over. That's it. Nobody will tell him what to speak. He will not find any terms and conditions that guide him. Because on Radio Biafra, you cannot be broadcasting on Radio Biafra. You promote another social media, another network company. You cannot be broadcasting on social on Radio Biafra. You will, uh, um, uh, you know, ask for the new form for money. These things are basic things that are there on the conditions. And you must follow the code of conduct of IPOB. Are we doing this thing without rules and regulation? Are we doing this thing without any code of conduct? This is how all these things get loose, and we don't know. All of a sudden, the newspapers everywhere, we know there are people on the ground who were pushing all these things. We try to bring out a press release. To let people understand the situation, but it's not solving the issue, and that's why I feel it is appropriate. We make it very clear because people coming telling me some rubbish, I get pissed. I get pissed off because there are people that are supposed to know, they're supposed to understand. There are people in the media, they're supposed to understand. We are not against anybody. We are against anybody who wants to play on the intelligence of our dead people, the intelligence of this struggle, who wants to, in one way or the other, who will not take the principles of this struggle. The next level. And you know one shocking part? Somebody telling us, supposed to be talking about how to remove, who, who told you we are not fighting for the release of our leader? Were you part of the people who fought for, for it in 2015? Were you there? You we are among those laughing and the, and the criticizing the struggle. All of a sudden, if God touched you yesterday, He touched you late. If God touched you yesterday, He touched you late. That is why we tell people for remove this religious mentality. You are not the only one God touched. You don't know how some of us came into this struggle. It came a very long way. that have made you to lose everything you have in life. 
And we realize that some of us don't do this. But that will kill us, many of us, if we don't lead our people to this freedom. We must maintain this. Anything can happen. We are marching for our freedom. To everybody, our leader used to say, you are free. You are free to project the freedom for the Afra. We don't have any problem for that. Continue to do what you are doing is all accepted. But you don't come to IPOB and come out that what we have been doing is rubbish. You are the one to do it now. To come and handle it. Hell no. You say, hell no. Imagine all these things, we understand there is the hand of Nigerian government working on the ground to make sure they destabilize the leadership of IPOB. That's why you see many of them is coming on air, talking, watching the IPOB. I want you to ask some of them questions. If anybody come on air to attack the DOS, attack the leadership, ask him, name one thing this DOS has done wrong. Ask him this question. It's very simple. People do not know that some of us are not authorized to come on air to speak unless by the authorization of our leader. People, some of you do not know that some of us are not being allowed our picture to be in public unless authorization of our leader. But even some of them don't know. People are talking rubbish. You will be members. They don't know that some of us are not allowed to call social media and be, make a live interview. Don't know. This is an order from the leadership of IPOD. People are out there talking. You don't have food, you don't have traditional regalias to come and speak. Because you are not being open, so that's why you can come and jump off and talk rubbish and tell us uh, don't, don't say anything. This is not the way to talk to the people. What way, what way do you talk to the people when people who refuse to listen? We have released press release, they don't read it. We have made several press messages of him have spoken. How many of them listen to him? Today I am talking. How many of them are listening? They wake up from their dear pallor, they come here and talk rubbish. Thank you, Mas. Thank you, Mas Tina Samoru, for making this clarification. Honestly speaking, I'm receiving myriads and myriads of Kudos. Some people are saying that, oh, they misunderstood, that DOS should forgive, that now that they have been clarified, you know, the importance of information, because information is power. You know, our people, everybody wanted to be treated single. You know, just like when you convince a Biafra, an Igbo man, Igbo Biafra, to, to do something, you know, you will clarify him. He will, his wife will pop up and say, ah, uh, now my husband though you talk to you never talk to me when you finish uh, explaining to the wife the children will each come out to say uh -huh, now our, uh, our father and mother they are they are different uh, we are different people so you need to convince us on what you are doing this is the character we have and this character is harming us in this freedom fight people find it difficult to obey to be disciplined I'm telling you, but Mazi Chinasa, I'm assuring you that look, people that are listening to this, I'm receiving many inboxes that they, that is they fall in love with DOS, and I hope that it will continue. I know people don't understand how, just as you said, people are working two for sometimes two four seven, you don't sleep. People don't understand this. Even to come up on A to speak is a problem. You know the by now you'll be on meeting, <laughs> isn't it? In another meeting. That meeting might take another four hours. But people don't understand. All these things is about the struggle. So Mazi, kudos to you, kudos to IPOB DOS. Honestly speaking. People should understand. People should understand what we are in. I don't know whether you have a patent shop, please. Or I continue. As a, um, uh, in, uh, to this end, what I will ask the friends is this. In as much as we, the friends, live in this generation of the friends, the 
should know that people are fighting for the restoration of Biafra. Men are in the bush battling Fulanis. Men, I mean, men. Men who own businesses, who were living large in the cities for the fight for the restoration of Biafra, they are presently living in the bushes. Women are living in the bushes for the sake to restore Biafra. The question is this Are we going to play with their life? Most of them, for years, they have never seen their families. Your uncle died, you can't see him. Your father died, you cannot attend the burial. Your mother died, you cannot attend the burial. Your brother died, you cannot attend the burial. Why? Because you're fighting for the restoration of Biafra. Why? Because if you set your foot, you will be arrested. Why? Because people around your home has been bought over that when you step in, you must be arrested. And I'm asking the Afghans. Are we doing all these things for politics? Are we doing it for games? Are we doing all these things just to mesmerize our people? Are we doing all these things for show? Of course not. We're doing these things to restore the kingdom of the kingdom of God on earth. We are doing this thing to make sure we give a better life for our people. Most of us have lived for the past. Our youthful age, we have said it in diaspora. And at the end of the day, we found out that we have no home. You go for a medical checkup. You run away from the airport. They give you transit for one hour. You run away from the country because you don't want to return home. We see people, youths, they travel. Japanese, Arabs, Indians, they all travel. They go. After studying, they go back. After doing everything, how many of us have gone out with a visa visa and returned back? Many of us are living in diaspora with just 24 hours transit. They drop off somewhere and that is the end of it. How many of us, if we have a home, why are we all running? If we have a home. Why are we not coming back home? If we have a home, why are we not scattered all over the world? My senior friend told me one time, I was thinking I was making proud. I said, our people live all over the world. Everywhere our people. He told me that if your people are living around the world, that means you people are refugees. You, are, you, you, are, you have problems in your country. Because you don't see the reason why a country, there is no war. If you say there is no war, all of you are scattered around the world. Then what is happening in your country? can tell you, I and mean, in countries, in this country I am living, if you are a citizen, you leave this country for six months without no excuse, without no, not on a medical or studying visa. You leave the country for six months. When you are coming back, they see your passport in the airport. What are you doing outside? What are you looking for outside? That is not here in this country. I'm telling you this happens in this country. How many times you have traveled, you have said six months, seven months outside. When you come back, they catch your passport. They want to know the reason why you left the country and spend all that why. Is it for holiday? Is it the time for holiday? Some of these things are the things when you see them, you cry. You ask yourself, are we not the same women? You ask the and this. If not, if not this trouble, some of our people will not even be remembering coming home to do anything at home. Then our people are moving gradually, trying to put one thing or the other in their front line. We don't see those things. Who made it possible? It is IPOD. Who made it possible? It's Martin Nam the Colonel. Who made it possible for our people to start having the hope to go for farm? Yes, sir. No media. You don't get, there is nobody in that you media that is being paid. All are voluntary. All the media warriors are voluntary. They are performing their duty. Starting high profile news agencies. And we are winning them. In any fight we engage with them, we defeat them. Answer. You don't even have a time to encourage those your brothers, those your sisters. What you know is a blame game. Who can do it better? You ever done it better before? You 
but there are the type of gidi gidi that we follow is that that gidi gidi will crush the s don't use certain proverbs in freedom fighting this is a life and death event many of our let me tell you something they are doing right now Nancy. now what what like for example in all here now in, 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 in all here now the nigerian military are moving out all the whole house people in the army they're sending them back bringing evil people bringing our own brothers this means they said when the military goes out in uniform or non-uniform many of them are missing they don't know whether they are deserters you know whether it is uh, they run away or what they say people are missing now they are bringing our own brothers what are they bringing them to come and kill their own people they are looking a way to instigate a problem within our people if they tell you that our governors go because of them are there we can some senators from billionaires all of them were party we have the incomplete intel when this thing happened they were drinking champagne rejoicing and that is when the information leaked where they were that they have accomplished and at this particular moment is where we want to come and finger us with a new leader we are not going to accept that if you are part of those people clamoring for somebody to take over radio Japan without going taking the undertakings and the fortunes that have guided this this honorable family this movement around the world know that you are part of this agent provocateur if you are part of those clamoring for a new leader for IPO, you want your leader is still alive you are part of those agent provocateur if you are part of those trying to sabotage this struggle we know many of you you took money from the politicians we know even like china Samoru and many other people in this we don't change our words our leader may not offend many of you the issue of biafra is something that as we are fighting it it must be discussed in open and not in private if you have anything against us you come outside and talk it then you come in and they jabbering the whole ideas member and for that reason man say jonathan i will ask you and I will leave you here because we have other engagement. We have to, of you know, course. get ourselves involved. Of course, I know. And what I'm saying, dear friends, wherever you are, everybody must stand up right. If we are going to protest, the way we protest, we don't announce it. I think everybody is supposed to know our tradition in their land. Go and check the record. Have you ever heard that people want to protest in their land and we make announcement on it? Do you know most times the people that protest? We do not make announcements if we want to protest in the Afra land. We have our tactics, we have our modus of operation, and we are not going to make it public. So don't of you don't you think it is stupid on your own side? Let us protest, yeah? Let us protect on the land. Go and protest. Don't push ITU. Because we know everything we do, we do it with timing. So can you sit at home? What are you sitting at home when you have not instigated the, the, the pressure on the public? How can you sit at home? You think to order sit at home is time out? Every party at when we order sit at home or any time our leader, we watch our meet. It's not just coming on the newspaper or coming on the Facebook and say, or make fun of that God told you we should sit at home. We walk or sit at home. We approach institutions. We approach them one after the other. It will be a process. Don't just other sit at home. What you are looking for. Other thing at home. Other thing at home. We other sit at home. People are doing their normal business. You come out and write in the Facebook. Even this idea of the people, the other sit at home. Nobody respected them. Don't you know it is, it is going to be against our struggle? Don't you know it will be a point? Because you have not done your mathematics very well. You need to pay the attention of the public to the point where you tell us at home. Everybody sit at home. What have you done? Don't 
coming on social media and yelling your mouth. Please be a If you want to an IPOD member, tell your fucking echo. If, if you want to your media, ask your media head. Tell them to put you on the plans of IPOD and stop listening to all these rumor mongers on social media. Marze, thank you so much for giving me this time. I will be coming on air from time to time. And once again, my name is Marze Chinan Samoru. Marze Chinan Samoru is from Odingwa. And Odingwa is another province. Good night from the state of Kuwait. Nde Womaz. Nde Womaz Chinasa. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I have many people showering kudos about your presentation. Please, thank you and keep it up. You are one of us, honestly. Welcome back. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through the auspices of Radio Biafra London. My name remains Marzi Jonathan Chinedu from Alu Province of Biafra Land. Today is the 17th day of July in the year of our Lord 2021, being Saturday. And we have had the voice of Marzi China Sawuru, an indomitable member of the OS, of IPOB. Um, I will open my lines, but before I do that, I want to just quickly make some comments about discipline, please. Discipline. 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 Hmm. Discipline. You know, our leader has been telling us, has been tutoring us about discipline and consistency. These are the keys to getting our collective interest. As I said before, our people, we have a character. Our dear friends, we have a character. Please, when I say Igbo people, I mean dear friends. Because we are all one people. We have a character. And that character, that type of character is what? Everybody knows, as we are more than 70 million, we have uh, more than 70 million diplomats. Everybody knows more than the other. What are you going to tell me? What am I going to learn from you? Why, what do you know more than me? Have you done this more than me? Have you done... You know, this republicanism, we have taken it to a very stupid level. I'm telling you honestly. And this character, we should brittle it in order to do what? To go on, to move on in this struggle. You no know, discipline. It is from discipline you have disciple. Discipline is the practice of training people to obey rules or code of behavior. Using punishment to correct disobedience. That is discipline. Simple. The practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior. That is. Do you know the reason why you have uh, Christianity religions that are thriving today? Even Islam. Because they are disciplined to a cause. To the cause laid down by the founder of that religion. Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad. People, you cannot say I'm a, I'm a Muslim without going to or being, you know, making reference to Quran. It is impossible. That is discipline. 
That that Quran, that religion is your discipline. It's a discipline you engage in. You cannot say you are a Christian without making reference to the Bible. It's your guide. That is discipline. Because you cannot say I'm a Christian now after you are doing or conducting another thing that is not that is alien to the Bible. That is alien to Christian Christ as is recorded in the Bible. And you say, you know, we are Christian churches. It is impossible. It's discipline. You understand? Please, I never open my, my line. Let nobody call me now until I open my line. You understand? So, in order for our cause, in order for us to, to, to restore our nation, we must find ourselves humble ourselves with humility. Now we enter into discipline become disciples because from discipline you have disciples you understand what i mean that is discipline you no know, uh, 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 just like also a branch of knowledge you know when you study in higher institution somebody can ask you what is your discipline in the university say okay i'm mass communication or medical uh, industrial chemistry or the, that is your discipline. That is, you know what it means. It, I want people to think, profound, to have everything. This word, the discipline. That is your discipline. Ah, I'm a medical doctor. Because that is who you are. That is what you practice. That is rules you obey. You cannot say, okay, I'm a medical doctor. Now you you continue. It. You know the consequences of uh, maybe eating over cholesterol eating cholesterol much eating fat junk foods in the night or this and that now you are doing it you are doing it with reckless abandon and you say you have a discipline you know uh, you are a medical doctor no because you have a discipline what you studied is your discipline now that thing you know it, it, it organizes your character it's a discipline now you become a disciple of your profession do you understand? I don't know whether people understand what I what I mean. That word discipline is so profound because it defines who you are. That is what we are doing here in this hallowed platform. In order to make people, in order to build a character, structure the brains of our people into being disciplined to our cause. And you cannot be disciplined without listening to the leadership of the structure. It's impossible. You understand me? You cannot say now. Nah, uh, uh, who can tell me what I will know? No, who is qualified? This uh, DOS or this leadership? Well, I know more than everybody. No, it's just like you. For example, you are a medical doctor. Or you or you are going to school. Now you want to change uh, from an engineer to uh, a, a civil engineer to being a medical doctor. You have to go and take the course of that many or a lawyer, an attorney. You can be older than your teacher. You can be older than any person, your professor. It doesn't matter. But anything, because in that discipline, you are entering into another discipline. Into a discipline that will form your life. That will shape your life. Therefore, that person you are seeing is your instructor. It doesn't matter even if he's an 18-year-old boy. You respect him, you get because he, you are entering into a discipline that you don't know. That discipline will shape your life and character. That is what you are doing here. So this character of I know more than oh, I can do more than I can do better. You come on social media. You oh, you have information. You you know when you have seen here one thing, you think that uh, you nobody knows any other. It's you that you want to come out to vomit it. You are not disciplined. I wonder how people, when our leader was, you know, judiciously forming this global movement, many people are laughing at him that he's a joker. This, but now, after this IPOB, now a worldwide movement, people want to come and run, you know, right at the back of uh, IPOB in order to build whatever their, their, their kingdom or whatever they want. And you are there supporting them. Are you not? Are you not a mad person? You should be ashamed of yourself. People have died in this struggle. People have been sacrificing in this struggle. People have been go going through one thing or the other in this struggle. 
you want just somebody out of uh, no okay come on uh, you know without going through the, the going through any any way you want to it's just like um, when an engineer comes you want to you stop the in a, you want to come uh, in a theater of operation we are doctors supposed to operate surgically make a surgical operation on a patient you see a civil engineer come in and say no i can't do it oh, uh, i'm educated yes you're educated but this is not your discipline do you understand when it comes to freedom fighting ipob we have a structure you must obey this structure it is ked if you don't obey if you don't want to obey go and do your own thing stop riding on ipob's back it's, it's very simple and our people should understand this discipline our people should stop going on useless i call it a useless animalistic sentiment oh you know how to talk no i mean analyze so oh, could I be uh, now you know you become so agitated like an animal like uh, like my bingo yes. we need discipline we need discipline we in a war in a war situation you know the reason why every country it doesn't matter the the america that is a number one democracy britain number one democracy but their military goes on command and control do you know why because the military is the architect of the security of the country there should never be any form of indiscipline in their rank and fire you know that is the reason why every military every military structure in any country of the world goes on command and control because with command and control that is how you fight and win a war it's not by democracy try to understand that we are in a freedom fighting it's not freedom joking or freedom dancing freedom fighting which means we are in a war we are fighting what do you fight uh, and joke you fight a play you fight a, a comedy you fight a war you fight a war whereby you either kill or be killed so the only way to maintain and sustain this fight is through discipline you can come out to here for example you want to say something miles i will tell you i handle the microphone please don't go that way don't start telling me that i know more i can i know i have done this I, I, you want to that is discipline there is a reason why i tell you that maybe you want you will not understand it but there is, as a disciplined person you just keep quiet okay i'm sorry i'm sorry you go in another way i'm just giving you an example it's how discipline works you want to do this the person in in that authority will tell you don't do this don't do don't go that way you see, without asking a question you say okay i'm sorry okay 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 i don't go you stop that is how discipline works and that is how you study and become a medical doctor it becomes your discipline because without discipline you can never graduate you can never be a professional understand me there is need for discipline Comple I, there is no result this complete discipline so that we have good results stop allowing outsiders or those being paid you know somebody might be used by our enemies without him even knowing it but you understand so do you know do you, do you, no, no, do you can you people decode some things and do you understand imagine as i said before imagine today bbc will come and interview me they will start promoting me oh maji uh, uh, you see it on the news bbc news uh, pigeon or any newspaper or turn it uh, uh, he said there is one man see jonathan now he he beat the replacer on the head of uh, ipop can't you even fear even if you know can't you fear and say oh boy this one our enemies are promoting there is something wrong there oh is how wise people think not being overwhelmed with sentiment all the time and now shaka shaka agitation you don't waste it because you are not disciplined can you make it and he is controlling everybody today do you know why they are disciplined to their cause but let me tell it to you they are disciplined to their cause you understand 
they are politicians, they are foot soldiers, headsmen, they are majority, they are businessmen, they are working towards one direction, discipline. Once they receive that order, even if one they hit, maybe the terrorists work, all of them will gather to, to protect, you know, to protect the, the, their people. That is discipline. Because they have a cause, they have an agenda. But in our people, you see them. This one we ask question, why is it, sir? Why can't you tell me? Do you know what I mean? You are not worthy to be in this dark place. You better get out. Understand? You better get out. Christ chose apostles, his disciples, those that are complete, they, you know, they are complete discipline to him. You understand? And that is why Christianity moves as anything. Complete, Christianity moves out as wildfire because they have disciples. You know disciples, like those disciplined to the cause. They are disciples. They are, it doesn't matter. They believe they continue walking towards that cause set by the leader. That is one thing we should develop. You know, this is uh, just a uh, uh, presentation 101. You know, it's one just primary. Which we should understand. I don't know if anything happened. Now, or they, we, it seems that we are falling apart. Our people, and they are saying this and that. Oh, look at what I see in social media. Look, this and this and What the hell is happening? What the heck? Our said, Do you think that uh, many of us are not uh, handsome enough? Think that the members of IPOB, many of them, when you see them, even when you see their photo, you want to even you want to you want to go and kiss them because they are handsome. You understand? But we have a structure that is you know controlling everything. It controls your the way you behave, the way you act on this struggle. So we should understand that. Not uh, when tomorrow another person will pop up and hey, what? Now, this and that. What the heck is happening to our people? We should be disciplined. This character has set us backwards. It's a primitive character. Had it been, as I said before, had it been, this is a good character, but it's, it's in, we, are in, we are in a primitive Nigeria system. Nigeria is a very primitive, a chaotic system. No, there is no law and order. Do you know, just you see many of us uh, abroad. You know, development or being in a developed country, you cannot do anything uh, any, any, anyhow you want. No. The system forces you to behave yourself. That is why when you see an, you see an armed robber, an armed robber in Nigeria, he travel to Germany, and he become a good person. He start working. You know why? Not that they don't want to go to the bank and hit money as in Nigeria and carry the whole euro and run away. No, 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 no. He want to do it. But he can't do it because of the system put in place. That forces, the system will force you to become a good citizen by force. That is what we are trying to lay down here, this IPOB, that everybody should behave. System controls everything, controls your character. When you see an armed robber, a bad boy, now you see him when he travels to Spain, now he become he's walking with the 247. Because uh, you see him now, he he's living in nice, in nice apartment, working and sending money. And now he'll be preaching to you, say, oh, Nigeria, I don't know. That, oh, please stop like this. He will be preaching to even people at home. <laughs> Why? Because he came into a system that forced him to behave. If you, you can, uh, if you, if if you try to grab a gun to go to the bank, you cannot even reach the bank. Cameras are everywhere. People will report you. Old men and women that are upstairs will report. If you loiter around in some places, they will call cops are everywhere. They will call cops for you. Look at this black man. I don't know what he's doing here. Just for nothing. Before two minutes, cops come and question you. What are you doing? Is a system that is working. You know, in Nigeria, it's not like that. 
No, but because they want to put discipline in on everybody so that they will serve you, so that they come, you will have the best of the country, so that you, you as a German citizen, you will go outside and be respected. You understand? Discipline comes with a price. You have to jettison that you are that you are archaic, primitive, primitive character. You have to jettison that you that you uh, uh, what do you call it it's extreme selfishness. You have to jettison it. And now you enter inside. It's just like uh, when you are doing practical, a medical doctor. You have to wear uh, before entering the the surgical room. You have to wear cover everything. It doesn't matter whether you are a huge person. Whether you are muscular, whether you, are, you must subject, that is discipline. No noise. You don't talk. I give you the guidelines. You must follow it. If you say, no, no, how can you, how can I be there? You will not, never graduate. You'll never be a medical doctor. you go, okay, go to the street and be an animal. Because you cannot enter into this discipline. Do you understand that? That is what, I, what we are preaching here. Any person that they, our people should stop this uh, character of uh, distraction. Tomorrow they will see another person. Hey, what? Hey, what? With a rubbish sentiment. Do you, who, who, I, you, no person. I'm a bedonia how? I'm a bedonia how? I'm a bedonia. Somebody that will come and hijack what people died for. It's impossible. Do you understand? We have our modus operandi. It's why people envy us. It's why you see any social media broadcaster, he must go for the talk about IPOB one way or the other to gather people. You think that uh, it, is, uh, it is free like that? It was built on the blood and sweat and discipline of people. If everybody is doing as he wants, we can we can never reach to this extent. That is why I'm telling you, I mean, they are we are ruling everybody. They are running the lives of everybody in Nigeria. Why? Because they have discipline. They are disciplined to their cause. That is one thing. So please let us learn to be disciplined. It's very very important. I will stop here, and I will open my lines. But let me. Go on few minutes break, please, before oh, I open my lines. <laughs> The number of members of the directory is plus six one four zero five one four two. Five four seven. I have one of my charts on the line. As there are my charts, can you hear me? Please call me when you talk. Hold on. Six two two four. Hold on. Now. On Mars. Six one. Can you hear me? Before I go on. Huh? Our leader, His Excellency Mazin Mandekano, I salute you. Watch it again. There will Andre Bashas from my location on speaking. Uh, Mazin, let me uh, use this opportunity to thank, on behalf of uh, the the unit where I am, uh, you know, I want to use this opportunity to thank the the number of members of the Directorate of State uh, and uh, to thank our appreciate our uh, our brother. Zishina Samoru for coming and uh, speaking as if our leader is now speaking. You see, and all the things he was speaking about, I was noting them 
right jotting them down point by point for you to get to this level of being a directorate of state or member of the directorate intelligence is very pivotal our leader did not put dummies our leader did not put bingos there our leader put, put the dedicated men and women with high iq Intel, if intelligence is very cheap will, the intelligence agency will be folded there will be something like cia um, whatever fbi you, you know what you most people will never have them this is Color a starting of unit that leads uh, uh, you the you care of the government of any nation without them you cannot run to the government effectively you can be infiltrated you can be destroyed and when ordinary people look at it they won't understand it that's why i was surprised that a lot of people started behaving some freedom fighters started behaving like prostitutes they started behaving like prostitution freedom fighting Somebody, you just saw somebody because the person is speaking on a unit. I'm not against anybody on a, on a Facebook, and you and, and and when the person is speaking, you will you will, you will bring out some certain things, and this is it. Some people jumped into it and look, look at it. If your enemy is promoting something, something that maybe it seems to be appealing, be very, very careful. This is what our, what our uh, um, the, you know, directorate just did now. Mazishina Sawaru is just like thwarting a coup, a coup d'etat. This thing has been systema systematized. A lot of people didn't see it. You don't know about it. Some of them have been so much emotional. Our leader, all of a sudden, gave order. Mazi, I we congratulate Mazi of former, wherever he is, because sometimes have had some certain discrepancies on on certain not not issue but not agreements on certain things but when someone does good i will say yeah this is fantastic this is very good if if your leader is being apprehended all of a sudden the, the order that you will give is some something that you don't understand anybody in that position should carry that thing regardless of Whoever that is coming online to say our leader has spoken and his order is final. You are not you are not a member of directorate. You don't have what it takes to run that department. It is not it's not a cliche. It's not a tumor. So you got to pay attention to what to what you are saying to, to the people. I love what Mazishina Sawaru said. If you push me to make a mistake. I will let devastation in Biafra land. A lot of people don't know what it is. They don't know. You tell them. You tell them from now to they will, they will think. They will think maybe you are trying to make them to feel somehow or what? You know everything. Many this is many the language some of our people, people, people are using. Well, you many people you think don't you have understand. the privilege to come to the radio, and the, and which and you take you talk to them from Jeris, Jerusalem to Jericho, they will get you. And you will see that, and the people saying this thing are those that said they have been in the military, they have this knowledge, they have that knowledge, but little thing, which look at little thing, they couldn't even figure it out. They could not figure it out. That it sounds I don't want to go beyond my I would have said some certain things, but I won't say it because of because of that discipline you are talking about. Sometimes I look at our people, I cry. So you can be friends, so you can easily be deceived. If your leader is under a certain mindset and the lawyer confirm that something is not 100 percent okay, what he was tortured, he was traumatized. Do you know do you go and Google the word trauma? Anybody under traumatic condition can never give you order you follow. You will listen and respect. He's our leader, once he comes out, you will leadership there is no issue about that but this will make our leader to know that he trusted this movement to capable hands for people that are complaining oh directly you don't know them you don't know their qualification you don't know their experience you don't know the technicalities involved because somebody ginger you the, the zoo paid a lot of people money within the family to come 
to destroy or destabilize this movement. And somebody came, let's say you travel somewhere and you are captured there. And all of a sudden, you, you somebody called you and said, oh, God, you should give me the key of the car. You are the wife. And you say, oh, God told you to give me the key. Why couldn't you that call me? Oh, you somewhere. I tried to reach your guy. I couldn't get your guy. So you, you, you don't know how to apply some certain wisdom to know exactly what is going on. It, you are not disobeying. You are not disobeying the leadership, the leader. You are not. You are protecting the leader. And sometimes he can come from a, a certain level that when you look at that level, it could be his five and six. It could be his blood family. It could be his wife. I'm telling you to do things. And it is not in, a, in, in, in accordance with the code of conduct of the operation. You should carry it. If you said no, when the leader comes out, all you can do, if leader insists, yes, I did this, why didn't you carry it out? You, you simply tender your resignation and resign gallantly and move away. God will, Elohim will take care of you. You did what any man can do. Any man that loves his people can do. But people, you see a lot of people because someone is talking on social media. You think that the person or displays on certain pictures if, if, because I'm not allowed to display pictures. If I'm allowed to display pictures, you will, you will see pictures you run away. People that matters in the nations, you don't know, you know them. I have pictures, I have pictures with them, but I'm not going to display them. It's irrelevant. And some people jump like prostitutes. I said in a clip, I said, see, Jonathan is a fantastic presenter. I listened to him from the time I began to listen to this radio, radio Biafra. Mazia Mazia is powerful, fantastic presenter. Okay, Peters, fantastic presenter. I know that he doesn't tolerate some nonsense. That I know. You will, you will call his platform twice. He's, he's, he's allergic to that. <laughs> I understand. We're talking of Ike Chupuanoha in South Africa. Ike Chupuanoha is a fantastic presenter sometimes he gets emotional he gets on top of his voice but he's doing fantastically well sorry you forgot your people you forgot your people and start craving for something else that you don't know you over the key come and take go through the protocol of somebody again here you what was one the beginning dear friends let me tell let me tell us this this is a test of Elohim is testing all of us. This will be this will show us who we are. Some people will tell you, Oh, I am in the military, I serve in this place, I serve in that place. But that person talking doesn't have simple intelligence. Military has to go with intelligence, police has to do with intelligence, security has to do with intelligence. If you don't have those things put in place, you don't know what you're talking about. If they give you the key, you will end up killing a lot of people. You will kill people and blame it on someone else. He has done fantastically well. And he's going to come out. When he comes out, he will carry on from where he stopped. If he says the decision of the directorate is not okay, that any time he says, okay, okay, give a okay, okay, this, you give. Give a call with this. Give a work, give the car, the car key, you give. And everybody is doing that attention you are doing it as a result of fear not as a result of service man you can you when you are asked to protect the prime minister you tell the prime minister the way we should go you tell him the route where you, he will drive through and before you go to that place your men are already there maybe five days and skin the place they call it skin to remove anything that looks like threat and the idea then the prime minister will come there this is the job of intelligent men and women. You don't know. Most of us think oh, our leader come to come to China. Our leader come to Russia. You don't look at his safety and security. Will he be safe there? Will he, will he be smart there? Yeah. yeah. Most of us don't think. They only say, oh, "Come, the happy of your family, you." But you don't consider the safety of your leader. Now, the zoo we know that. Martin man, the camel did not commit the leadership into the hands of bingos. They will know that tonight. 
Mazi, that is all I want to say. I have a lot of things to say, but because of time that you gave me, I have to stop from here. Thank you very much. Shalom. There were what you make a cable. That's it. There were. Remember, bless. Hola, um, signal. Thank you for holding on. See, some people, when they call on what's up, they up. You don't pay, but they stay, stay, and they go out. Thank you for holding on. Caller on signal. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Yes, I'm there. Yes, I'm there. Yes, I'm there. Yes, I'm there. Good evening from here. I'm watching it. And good evening to you. Please raise your voice a bit. Okay. And good evening to Biafans, friends of Biafans and lovers of freedom. Caller on signal. Hold on. I will come to you, please. My name is Lance Mazali, but I'm calling from Poland, and I hear from Lewis Province, Japan land. Mazi, I must thank you for the work you're doing. For your nation, our nation, Japan, Chukwa Biyama will keep you, Chukwa Biyama will strengthen you, and in all, you, all of us, will see Biyama. Yes, sir. Yes, And more but also to my leader, Mazi, I'm the candidate the great hero of my, our own time, whom Chukwa Biyama sent to do this work in his own time the other shall be restored and he will reap the fruit of his labor the diaphragm we are fighting for and the diaphragm i want is the diaphragm that imagine i'm the kind of who be alive to see to witness to enjoy so he has suffered a lot and he does his goal in life which is diaphragm restoration you will see the after restored. He said, he said, he said, he said, yes, man, say, this evening, this evening broke out. He just, it made my day and it made my week and it made my month also. I just want to thank the man, the Chinasa, for coming on air because, you know, what, what, what um, brought about the kind of all this gossip and all this questioning here and there is we most of us we are you know we are kind of confused but now the team that are coming on air to say some to to make such revelation they yeah, need to let us understand that people of the the group or the leadership people are pointing are choosing are saying wrong or that they know nothing and the everything is intact there is nobody that 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 there is no cause for alarm but the way the whole thing went the, the news and everything just went up and down and i think that say there is a, in, in, you know there's an issue but i just thank my routine for coming on earth at least this evening on he led everything open and uh, it's just a point, it's a very good place for our people to know that this family will have gone beyond somebody coming in or even group millions of people coming in to interpret us. It's not possible. This family is 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 now stronger than even 2016. So how much more on at least 2017? So no, no any plot, no ayota or anything would stabilize this family. And the decision of our men in media and headed by my teacher to form, it shows that we are the IPOB as So we have grown, the leadership has grown to the level of holding these very family strong. Even why you now, even why you want this in detention, this IPOB family remains very formidable. So my calling is just to say thank you and also for bringing my Z, uh, Chinasa, at least for this verification because it will be a long way. Thank you for giving me the time to put down a bless each and every one of us. In our own time, we have to respond. Of course, it will. There will. Thank you very much. There will. Remember, bless. Hola on what's up. Can you hear me? Hola on what's up. Hola on what's up. Are you there? I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why the call. Let me pick this call. Caller on direct line. Can you hear me? Caller on direct line. The call went up.
Hola on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Hola on WhatsApp, can you hear me? You my elbow indomitable Jonathan. As it go on. I can hear you. Okay, go on, go on, please. Man, see, am I coming out loud? You are. Thank you so much, Marze. <laughs> I'm so much happy. Today is a wonderful day. Please hold on, I will come to you. Call on, my colleague. Marze, let me speedily move to my own opinion. Marze, I will first of all to thank the member of the US. This shows that nothing destroys IPOB. Our level, our effort can never be in vain. Maze, I'll start one. I want to caution the DOS. My caution to DOS, please, in the name of Elohim Yamashe, I pray. DOS, never you listen to any gossip. Never you mind what people are saying. DOS, you have to come online. DOS, you have to be coming online steady. No. Maze, Jonathan, you are enough in this program. Maze Aloze is enough in this program. Maze I fit us. Maze K. Squanoa. All the radio presenters, they are good enough. Maze, second again, I want our DOS, anytime they call, like the way Chick Edozem used to do, like the way China Sawo did today, come with a vital information. Maze, honestly speaking, when I listen to what people said about them, um, I'm on it, but I said, what happened? Someone is just making brokers, buy a um, China wall who you saw this and this, this and that. But we did not know where this problem initiated out. Mas, without loose and regression, we'll be moving like a, 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 if you cannot, any information you want to pass, you have to belong to IPOB family. Pass it to your, to your, to your coordinator. Your coordinator will pass it to the appropriate channel. We are followed by chain and command. Maze, I thank you all. In a, in a, in a, in, in, in a no distant time, our leader will be out. Of course, This will. is the time of our freedom. This thing happened. It's a ghost fan and a ghost willing. This is the time of our freedom. Our freedom is already here. Maze, we should not panic because our freedom is here. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. Thank you very much, my brother, my comrade. Hola on signal. Welcome to the program. Hola on signal. You hear me? Maze, yes, I'm hearing really Maze. Welcome to the program. Uh, my name is Inkwachi Mezi. I'm calling from Ghana, the Ghana National PRO. Now, please, I want to really appreciate. Uh, Maz Chinas has for uh, the clarification that he made this evening. I'm telling you, Andy, with your topic, which says discipline. Uh, in this struggle, all we need is discipline. Discipline in all ratification. Discipline in talk. Dis discipline in posting or whatever thing we are posting on Facebook, in social media, because whatever thing we post on social media, the world reads it. Then, discipline in action you know even in our thinking and the way we do things we need discipline you know like people who, who are enemy projecting that it's not that I'm, we are condemning him we are not condemning him he's doing work like others but if like i heard before that before he interviewed our leader self our leader said that if he did not take, take oath that he can never interview him he forcing he took oath then if the director have given you how you know this the, information the you know, how you're praying do, 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 do you know that those people that are jumping yeah, up this are people, there know. are things if we reveal it you will people will buffer but uh, it, it, that's it, it, why we say this once they tell you something please go on obey there is a reason for that you as a person that has no clue 
you might think that oh no 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 it's not good well, well, well. but there is a reason for that Has it gone please yes so so what, what we are saying is that we need discipline in all we are doing uh, in uh, this you see what, what, what you're into is like it's a freedom fighting you know we are we're into the into freedom fighting and not like only see people think that what we are doing that we are joking but we're not becoming people have died because of what we are doing many people have been disfigured because one of my brother here he was disfigured and he was brought to this place we are and i know how the guy is 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 is, is, is even managing so we are not joking in this in, in this fight we are fighting for for, for eternity no. So people should be disciplined. Whatever thing you're doing for the effort to be restored, if you are with your sincere, sincere mind, because I know that some people they just you know come for people to know that they are there, but in the night they do whatever thing that comes out. Freely that what we are doing that is for your mind, my brother. Whatever thing DOS said, we should follow it. Whatever uh, the, the 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 code of conduct that that we have, whatever thing that that we are stating, there, let's do it. No. So, Mazi, what you are saying is that we say that, that if he cannot take that option that DOS give him, he should leave. Anybody that wants to list it should go to his Facebook or those that even from tonight self I and I don't think I will even go. So Mazi, I want to appreciate you and be here for all over the world. All we need is discipline. Discipline is, is very, very important. Thank you, Maz, for picking my phone. Make sure come and play very much. And you too. Thank you very much. Men bless. Caller on what's up? Can you hear me? Caller on what's up? Caller on what's up? Are you there? I have a caller on what's up. I don't know. You not speaking? Or is from? What is happening? From you, I'm hearing. Hola on what's up, please. Can you hear? Hold, hold the line. Let me do something. No. Just hold on. I think. Hold on. There is some issue. Please. Just hold the line. Hold the line. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Don't 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 go, please. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go away. Don't go away. Something. I must fix it. Go on, please. Just hold on. Hold the line. Color on the top. Just hold the line. Line for the line for the line. Now let me hear. Can you hear me now? Go on, please. Go on, please. I think I have an issue here with this system. It's 2042. I think I have an issue. People are calling, they can, I cannot even manipulate the system. Please. I cannot even be able to see a way to manipulate what I want to do. Those people are calling. People are calling. I must bring this person, honestly speaking, I must bring him, I must bring her in.
must bring her. Goodness. Can you hear me? Follow on WhatsApp, you can. Oh, I'll bring you in. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Bring you in. Don't worry. There is something wrong with the connection, the connectivity of the wire. Yes. Hola on direct line, can you hear me? Hola on what's up, can you hear me? See? The line now just come. Hola on that on what's up, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Hola on what's up. Can you hear me? Please go on, go on, go on. Hello? 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 The program. Welcome to the program. Please, can you go on, please? Well, for what we are doing, I've learned a lot of things from you. I appreciate it. Mazi Jonathan. So what I'm suggesting this night is that in our IPOB, anybody that is not disciplined should be disciplined, neither by a flog or find a way to deal with that person. Because they don't know that you are fighting for freedom fighter. And when you are explaining about flag, you are disciplined. And what flag used to do that anybody among them that didn't obey what they are doing, they will, they will move that person. And nobody will know about it and the others will continue. That's how they grow. So we have to bring discipline. We are going to go to an attack on your men, my POB. Down. So I can go to those people back their side there. And whosoever that interrupted our duo is. That's what I'm suggesting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Remember. Call her on direct line. Can you hear me? Call her on direct line. Call her on direct line. The whole world is listening. Let's go. The whole world is listening. Please go on. We are hearing you. Go on. Jonathan, can you hear me? Jonathan, <laughs> ndeke you are here to our Jesus Christ as you people have placed it. It is our leader now. Can't you see it? Even all you governors, all you ethics, don't sabotage that are trying to destroy this project. You don't know that this project is Bibiya for your own betterment and for the betterment of Bibiya, the next standard of generation of Japan. Because you are their friend. 
imagine you people are killing us making sure that our life is totally destroyed both our women put everything about us and today the only thing you are don't you care what can money you got or Jesus will know what I don't know. Caller on what's up? You hear me? Caller on what's up? I can hear you. Allow him. Allow him to come. He says it's, 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 it's off. Go on, go on, Mars. Go on, please. Go on. <laughs> Mas, you are on air. Please go on. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I hope I am coming up. You are, please. Go on. Yes, we have a lot of interruption, but we can go to each book and be able to overcome it. Uh, are you still there? Yeah, I'm hearing you. Go on. Because oh, there's a lot of interruption. Okay. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, thank you, Mazi Tina Soro, for coming up on DLS. Greet every one of you. Maj, just don't give me one second. Just give me one second. We must move on. Please, Maj, go on. It's okay. 
It's okay now. Nah, it's okay. I was having interrupt. Uh, I think uh, my app was on. That was what was going on. But it's okay now. Nah. Uh, thank you, Mazi Chino uh, and Wolu, and all the all the whole US members. Anyway, you are anyway you are deciding. It will cook a caviar of bless every IPOB leadership and our every leader wherever he may be. Okay, will guide and protect him. The enemy has no power over, over him because Chuku Okike Abiyama have ordained him for this struggle. There's nothing immortal can do to him. The man with nine lives. We'll be back. This is the second missionary journey and the, and the last. He have pre predicted all this since 2014 to 2015, the first time they arrested him. Wow, we're losing it. He said it so to prepare some of us and some of you guys. What of if anything happened, they will come and kidnap him and and one day they will come and spread the paper on air and say that your leader have capitalized, they have kidnapped him or they have did, did anything that they have backslide. What will you say? So this is how some of you will react. I listen to what one of my brothers said. One of the bishops said it's almost the same thing. If your enemy is promoting something for you, what do they think? Sometimes we'll be we should be wise sometimes. I'm not expecting anybody. I still say it until you are tested and proven, being captured, being adopted. Being humiliated, being going out one day from airport to the block, you say you will not leave. We stand it and come out and still remain who you are upon all the temptations, destroy your business, made you to be poor. I went late and he said, No, he can't give up. Then we know who you are. I welcome everybody, I welcome everybody's idea, but do not come here to distract us. People have died. A lot of men, men have paid the ultimate price. We are not here to show up. We are not here to show who we are. We are not looking for political appointment tomorrow. Since I joined this struggle, I stopped it to taking or being participated in anything election in Nigeria since 2014 to date. have seen I disagree with some people going to meet anybody. Which makes some people to communicate me they do care they don't care Yafra is my life Yafra is my religion the mission is here to restore Biafra so if you can what it takes come in in the family there is a principle a guy guy in the family how can he be coming in my in my house I say this is my rule say he can never obey any one of it and they want me to come in and they want me to welcome you because you may be if I say, hey, Padma, Babu, we walk with and up. We all have our own spirit in different, different places all over the world. As God may created us, I did it and each other. You know, there's some offer things he tell me to do. I, me, I don't, I'm an I don't even want it. I don't even want to lead anything. I, I'm just an evangelist. My name is Simon. I was told there was a prediction. There's Revelation before I was giving birth to Biafra. That's why when I met our leader 2014, he said, you know why my mother gave birth to me? It's just to restore Biafra. Nothing else more. I'm not here to look for money or to be rich or be firm. No. You should be focused. Biafra will be restored. Our leader will be back. This is the tested time. This is the time. So that when one can marry back he will see us in peace and harmony so victory is ours oh hey biafra sign up from here oh, my name is simon I thank simon. you thank you marcy man bless we must continue i have many callers from direct line but i cannot pick you and keep you waiting honestly times mostly callers from Direct line, they don't time their call. It's uh, mostly um, uh, our brother, 
our comrade Ezekiel yeah. that knows how to time it. So when people start talking now, they will they will start calling. Call will be flo 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 flowing in. Caller on direct line. Can you hear me? I mean, sorry, caller on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Welcome to the program. Did you call before? Uh, it was the line was interrupted. Okay, okay, yes, yes. Go on, go on, please. I'm calling from a bakaliki. I'm a maker calling from a bakaliki. Welcome to the program. You don't need to pinpoint where uh, you're my... calling from. Go on. As far as you are in jail. Okay, okay. Sorry, sir. Uh, Manzi, I like you. You're disciplined. I learn a lot from you. I learn a lot from our leader. Now, I'm in zoo. I'm very, very disciplined. The way I go, the way I talk, because I don't know who's enemy. But I don't know how our people behave. They talk like a madam in the meat market, making noise. And they, if they ask them to go and do this thing, they will not do it. But what I'm suggesting is that in the IPOB, I get men certain approacher who is not ready to be an IPOB should go home. And before I resign, I could I cannot come on IPOB corner. So I next time you will not do anyhow. That's what I'm suggesting. Our people now like a cane, force, force, they would if you use force and do them, they will not repent. So that I'm not a man of freedom fighter, I'm not a fight. Our leader, when I say, and I pray, and I join them, and they use sometimes if they, 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 they start to talk like a, a woman, they don't see how friendly is disciplined. And everybody that mess up, they will remove that person and the place another person. So it's what I'm suggesting. Our people should be disciplined. I'm not a friend. I'm not a friend. I'm not a so thank you for giving me this chance. There we are. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh -huh. Hola on signal. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, Mazi Jonathan. Thank you for picking my call, my brother. Welcome to the program. Mazi, how are you? I am good. And you? Yeah, I'm fine, Mazi. Thank you so much. Mazi, um, I am to go to my bless you. Bless you too. For your one for your wonderful output this evening. My name is Amazi Akak. I'm calling from Austria. And by the special grace of God, I'm IPOB National PRO here in Austria. Mazi, you know um, yeah. I want to thank our brother Mazi Chinatamuru for coming out to clear these issues. Because Mazi, I have to be honest with you, most of these people shouting this thing writing all this trash. Mazi, most of them, most of them, I'm telling you honestly speaking, they're not even coming to meetings. Of course, they don't I know. Come to I know. I know. You must come to us one out. And you don't, you don't pay monthly dues. Don't you want to send them the car will come and broke You just come out and we, our leader is talking. But to make him put what we are doing, to be disciplined, you see them.
Of course I do. I, I say, of course I do understand what you're saying. Go. You are, you are coming out clear. You are coming out clear. Go on. I'm, I'm not clear. I say, please go on. You are coming out clear. Please go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. In a nutshell, what I'm saying here is that our people should be wise enough to know when the enemy wants to come and show ties in our midst. The Zoo, the Zoo government is trying everything possible to make sure they show a tie in the IPOB so that people will be listening. Be wise. Most of us have been listening to our leader Martin Nam since 2012 to today. Please hold on, I'll bring you in. Hold the line, please. The last, the, the last protest we have okay. on the beach of, uh, 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 of this month in Kenya Embassy, I want to and, and also in UN Embassy, we delivered the letter to them that have received our letter in Kenya Embassy.
thank you, thank you, thank you. Remain blessed. Thank you. Caller on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Caller on WhatsApp. Yes, my name is Jonathan. Good afternoon from here. Welcome to the program, Mada. Thank you so very much for calling me back. Uh, in fact, uh, I have been crying. I can't even can't even express myself how I feel. But um, I just want to thank you all. I want to thank you. I want to thank uh, Mazi Ibitas, Alozie, uh, Mazi Shinasa, and others. Please, I'm begging in the name of Almighty God, everyone that is hearing me. Please, you, you, is, you I am begging you all. Oh, can you introduce yourself? My uh, name, my name, my name is Esha Zanachupo. I'm calling from my location. Yeah, well. Please, I am begging you all. We should know that what we are in is not about ourselves. It's about the generation to come. It's about all the sacrifice people who have died on this struggle. It should be about what Mazin Nam De Carlo have put himself into all this why. Sometimes when that man is talking, I used to pity him. I used to say, God, please give him strength. I know we are very stubborn. It's very, very hard for you to control people. But look at where he is today. I remember when he said that we should not disappoint him, that he will not disappoint us. And up till now, he's still telling us that we should be in unity. Please, I'm begging that every one of us, especially those at DS, uh, DOS, should understand that everybody must not be the same. There are a lot of Judas in this struggle. There are a lot of people who came to sell out this struggle. And it, they shouldn't be looking at hearsay or what people are ranting on social media. I see a lot of them. Sometimes I follow a lot of them before, but I stopped following them because I noticed that some of them started misbehaving, some of them dressing like as though they're not even into the freedom fighting thing, you know? So I start to ask myself, what is really going on? But this period is not the period that people should be, you know, distracted, especially the DOS. There's only somebody who knows about management knows that management is not easy, right? I know what they're going through. Even when this incident happened, for, for, for a week, I couldn't get myself. I know how they will feel. It's not easy for them to, for anybody to expect them to come out to say things, you know, the way they expected it. But I'm, I'm encouraging them. They shouldn't look at people. They should look at the man that put them there. They should remember that a lot of people who sacrifice their life in the bushes right now. They are there. They're looking up to them. So if they make any mistake, those people that are sleeping in the bush, should to make sure that everything goes well with our mothers, our sisters in the villages. You know, if they give up, what will happen? Please, I am on my knees begging the DOS. Please, my brothers, I have never underrated you all. I put you all in my prayers every day. Please do not allow the lunatics among us to make you, you know, to step down or to leave what Mazin and the Kano have handed over to you. Please, I'm begging. I am begging in the name of Chukoki Kadama. You all to come together and let us love you. Yeah, I remember when uh, one of our Mazi was broadcasting a few days ago. He was talking, I think it's you, Mazi Jonathan. He was talking about children of Israelites when Moses was taking them. Just only that Moses went to go and get the Ten Commandments, they started to misbehave. And we should remember we're still in that time. It's not everybody. Some people are just, you know. Shouting, ranting on social media is not as though they know what they're doing. But you all should remember that Mazin and Dekalo have children. Because the wife. These people think how those children feel that their father is not with them. From the one I look at myself, I say, look at this man fighting for me. This man supposed to be in his own comfort zone, relaxing himself. But every day this man is on top of it, fighting for my freedom, for the freedom of my people. And my people are still Finishing for lack of knowledge. Please, my submission this evening is because it's is just for you people to please. I'm begging. I know that other women, if they had the opportunity to call, the same thing I'm saying now that they will be saying, I'm on my knees begging you all, do not allow anybody to break your heart. Remember, you're not doing this for yourself, you're not doing it for you, are just doing it for generations to come. And I believe that whatever you sow, you will reap. If you saw the good seed, you will read the good seed. If you saw the bad one, you will read 
is a bad one. But all I'm telling anybody that is broadcasting or saying anything to sabotage this struggle, believe me, I don't want to cause you, but your generation will not know this. And if you of you sell us, those people who are still getting and who are doing all manner of things to see that they make other people's mind to, to wither. Believe in me, it will never all go well with them. But please, I'm begging you all, please. I think to the voice of reasoning. Please, and don't let anybody. Nobody is paying you. You're doing all these things because you want freedom. Today, I saw uh, in France, many of our brothers fell from, jump, jump from seven-story building because of fire. And some of them died. Is this the kind of life we want to live in other people's country? We want to go home. Please, I'm begging. Mazi Jonathan, God bless you. And I pray that God should give you people strength every day as you people come out here to give us strength. And I pray every day that Mazi Nam Bekalu will have strength from God Almighty. We cannot be saying what we are doing for him concerning prayer. But I know that Chupo Pika Adama, we see him true and he will come out truly. Let every woman among us continue to pray the psalm. So those people yapping their mouth on social media by talking one another. Go on and pray the psalms this man has given us to pray every day and put him in prayers. He's not happy where he is, but we must continue and he must come out successfully. Ndewo, one name. God Ndewo, bless you, okay? You. Thank you, mother. Ndewo. I'm blessed. Yes, sir. We must yes, sir. continue. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Hola and what's up? Welcome to the program. We are inching closer to the end of this program. Hola on what's up? Mazi, welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Yeah, Mazi, good evening. Welcome to the program. Yeah, Mazi, uh, um, good evening. Uh, my name is Paul, calling from Gabon. Um, this evening, I'm um, hearing what is going on on Radio Biafra. Uh, Always that because Biafra and the Radio Biafra and those are working at uh, the hard to make sure that Biafra is restored. Formidable. And uh, especially our leader Mazin and the Kalu, the prophet of our time, and the Kul Kadama protects you wherever you are, give you strength. And the angels of the Lord must gather you and they give you strength and they protect you all the time and always. Um, Mar, um, it's the first of all, this evening, I want to tell all IPOB here in, especially in Gabon, all those here in, in Libreville, that on Monday morning, immediately is uh, 7 30, 8, 8 to 8, all IPOB, all their fans, everybody must be in the Zoo Embassy because we are going to. Shake the embassy of the zoo here in Gabon so that they will know that we IPOB we are not happy about the uh, 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 the what they did to our leader. We are they keep him up to now, and we want our leader to be released. That is why we need all the whole Bia France here, all the whole IPOB here. Yes, I be advise. On I also advise once you are at the embassy, you can call Radio Biafra and be streaming live. You can call Radio Biafra, any person that is on the platform. We pick your call, please. We need live updates okay. everywhere, please. Okay. Don't forget that. I, I, would, I will do that, Mark. I will do that that morning, Monday morning. I will call Radio Biafra so that we can talk to. All the fans that we understand that we are in the zoo in uh, uh, embassy. So, Mazde, I don't have much to say this evening. All I can say that is all IPOB must be on zoo embassy here in Gabon on Monday. So, Mazde, as we, we, we don't have more time anymore, uh, remember us and keep what you are doing for us. Kokadema will bless you and your family. And they bless all those peaceful officers. I will come as serious as that. Not the saboteurs, but all those who mean they did the job and to restore our nation. Let's go to them and bless them and bless all IPOB and bless the African nation because the African is there and protect our leader Mazin and the Kalu and his family. Thank you. There were. There were. God bless you. We must continue. 
by self, we are inching closer to, to the end of this program. Please. But let me pick color on direct line. Can you hear me? Color on direct line. Color on direct line. Stop listening to your radio, please. Can you hear me? Color on WhatsApp, please. I will come to you. Color on WhatsApp, I will come to you. Call on direct line. Are you there? Good evening. Welcome yeah. to the program. Well, Jonathan, I want to use this opportunity to greet you and greet my leader, my William De Carlo, and uh, his family, the family of uh, Israel, Uku Carlo, who have sacrificed everything, all sacrificed everything that have brought us home today. My I was sharing tears when I was listening to all this, uh, what the U.S. was updating us today. But all thanks to God that we have come this way. I want to thank all our broadcasters yes. who are doing selfless work, selfless work which has been paid, and they devoted all their time when all that are going about their business, making their money. All of them are working assiduously. Teaching us what we don't know. We say, God Almighty, we bless all of you in the name of Chuku Kichabi. I must pray. He said, He said, He said, yeah. Man, yeah, it's so when I had some of all this thing that is, uh, somebody, uh, our brother want to come out and uh, broadcast. I was saying, last time, there was a time when they said that. Anybody that is a broadcasting or radio should not be a, 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 a principal officer or one thing or the other. I was so surprised. People are jumping up. I don't want to call them. Somebody from South Africa comes. Because you have 50,000 followers. You will come up on Radio Biafra that millions of people are listening to. You will not be telling, radio, yes, radio, radio. You are now forcing somebody. First, it's the U.S. to make mistakes so that we say, ah, this is their mistake. My brother, let us think twice. Honestly, let somebody you know, that is uh, calling on this radio just for every time, from you know, somewhere in the zoo here, let go. Sometimes call say, man, I, say, I want to say something. I know that you people, also, you people will not like it. But you go ahead and say that thing because you have a follower who you want to please. Those followers that is following you are their member of IPOB, are there for your interest. Some of them are there against you. Every time they will reverse you one thing or the other, and you want to retain your So when you are, you are protecting the interest of your followers, what is different between you and the you know, person? Please, let our, our people learn. Let our people learn, please. I thank you for this uh, update you people have given us. That whoever that is a radio Biafra student, that is, today, I, when you hear that, when somebody told me, I heard that it is. Oh, very sorry. Maybe your airtime is finished. Hola, um, what's up? Thank you. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Hola, what's up? You can unmute yourself and speak to Biafra. Hear me? I can hear you, Pastor. Welcome to the program. Thank you for holding on. Yes, uh, my friend, good evening, good evening, good afternoon, good morning to all the great young fans all over the world. I still remain smart, the energy. Calling. Are you still there? I'm here. Yes, I said, I'm here. 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 I'm desperate measures. We are in a very dire situation and uh, we must stand up on our feet. We must not allow ourselves 
be distracted. We must not allow the ploys of the enemies to destabilize our steadfastness, our resolve to restore Biafra. Our leader used to that we will fight to the last man standing. So, which means that all we have to do is to look ahead, is to look at the ball, is to look at where we are going, is to the last man standing. So, which means that all we have to do is to look ahead, is to look at the ball, is to look at where we are going, is to the last man standing. So, which means that all we do is to look at what we are doing. So I urge all their friends to put away pride, to put away any kind of distraction and be focused on the ball. Good evening, Mazi. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mazi. Thank you. As I said before, we are inching closer to the end, towards the end of this program. I will take one or two calls more. Caller on what's up? Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Caller on what's up? Can you hear me? No. What is happening? Mine is connected. Caller on what's up, please? The pity the line was reconnected. Caller on what's up? Can you hear me? Hola on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Please, when you call, listen to your direct to your phone. Are you are you not calling on WhatsApp? You I'm will calling me. I don't know your name. How you are calling on WhatsApp once I say call on WhatsApp is you. Please go on. Are you, are, you, are you listening to your device or are you using earpiece please you remove it talk directly to yes the yes um most of this earpiece my, 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 I'm, I'm calling, calling from the other line go on please thank you very much uh, there is something i want to chip in because we normally forget Oh, no, 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 I'm not using earpiece. No, as you are listening, I will cut you off. You are listening to your radio or your listening device. If you go back uh, to talk to me directly through your phone, please. Uh, Hola, on what's up? Are you hear me? Welcome to the program. I don't like people, they don't listen to. Instruction. Hola, on what's up? Can you hear me? Hola, ma, si Jonathan, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, from Well, my name is Mema Zuma Beze, Anthony, Benemidi, yeah? Welcome to the program. I want to say greetings to you. Yeah, greetings to you all. All my fellow dear friends, wherever you are, and all. Uh, or uh, the uh, from fun. Um, I want to really appreciate uh, Jonathan, but also I could So I want to I want to say that uh, in this stage where, in fact, uh, the atmosphere has changed that uh, the whole state. The indigenous of these states, of them states, have rose up and said, enough of this nonsense that they don't want Mazen Namdekano to be in that detention again. That they support, that Nigerian government supposed not have no reason to detain Hamadike in DSS. 
and they have no case with Mas Ahmadike. So it affects the youth of this very province, the youth of Tigland, and the youth of Igede, and the youth of Idoma, and the entire Igbo. I say that this man have nothing to do with Nigerian DSS. That if DSS can hand can can be can can torment Mazio Ahmadike, he said that this country deserves to be disintegrated because this country is supposed not to be one. Because this and this is an intimidation. How can you hijack somebody that have no visa of this country? You are hijacking all the way from Kenya to Nigeria. Is, is, say that is an evidence to show that this is completely to do so. Go on, go on, go Addition to, that, addition to that, a lot of women and, and youth and the rest of them, they are protesting, they are campaigning, they are saying no, that Martin Nambikano is the only eye. In this country, he is the only mouthpiece. He speaks their mind. He tells the world how they are feeling. The one that opened the eye of the planet because the public delivery, when Martin, Martin or Hamadi Kena Mekano have been speaking and is telling everybody in the state that they should do what they should speak up. Now their eyes have opened and they have understood that Tolani have already. In agitation of freedom, they need this country to be disintegrated, to be ch to be separated, to be part into two. That everyone will answer his father's name. This is the report I want to give you from here. Thank you, Mazo Hamama. Thank you, Mazi. Uh, good, um, uh, Jonathan. Thank you for hearing from me here. Thank you. Remain blessed. Thank you very much. We must continue. I think, as I said, I am. Um, going i mean inching closer to ending this program before that let me pick one call before i go on hola on what's up can you hear me welcome to the program hola on what's up can you hear me i can hear you loud and clear welcome to the program yeah, this is Chua Kweze. I call you from the city of Toronto, Canada. Welcome to the program. Mazi, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for your talent, for your time, and for your treasure that you are putting towards this struggle. Um, I thank all formidable Bia friends, those who are doing this job in truth and in spirit. Of course, I extend my greetings to our leader, Mazi Namde man that answered the call of the almighty to go back them and to liberate his people at this point in time before i proceed i want to first of all inform all their friends who are living in the territories of canada who want to join this great movement who wants to join the team that will restore biafra Eventually, you've been looking for a way to get to us here in Canada that you want to join this peaceful movement. We'll encourage you to call 226 909 I repeat 226 909 As this evening, I want to also make an announcement that we in Ontario province here. We shall be having our march. We had one on the 8th of this month. And on the 26th, we shall be having a solidarity march, freedom and liberation march in Ottawa, the seat of power. 
here in Ontario province. And we encourage everybody who wants to be part of this effort to please join us. Try to join us because this is a match of a generation. A generation of people that want to liberate their own people. I always encourage our people, especially those who are in diaspora, that it is at, at this kind of time, at this point in time, that you are able to discover the fact and the reason why you are in Canada or why you are anywhere in abroad. You must see yourself to be somebody that is at an advantage point. You must see that this is one of the reasons why you are here where you are. It's not just to make a good living. It's for you to be able to liberate your people who are back home from where you came. We are asking you to please join us in this march. Also call our number 226-909-4222. If you call this number, we'll be able to, ask, to, be able to get you close to your coordinator anywhere you live in Canada. Because we are all having our march on the 26th. So you'll be able to join. Or you can support the effort financially. That is it on that, Marzi. This evening, too, I also been listening. Everybody has spoken. People have spoken their mind. But there is something very important that must let us know. Our radio is an organic radio. Where people can come in and say anything they want without anybody stopping them. Marzi Jonathan, if you agree with me, I think we are beginning to, to abuse this opportunity or this privilege. This radio is not listening by only your friends or IPOB family members. Whatever we say here is not indiscreet. Not the international communities that are listening to us, our enemies are listening to us, and their friends are listening to us. So, we should be able to see the information that we are venting out to the public. Why am I saying this? We have an arrowhead, our leader, the leader of this great movement. The person that was bold enough to come out and say what we, what we heard and followed him. At this point in time, I think what is paramount in this struggle is for us to know the best possible way that we can we must ensure that the leader comes out of the of the enemy's camp. That is top priority to us. It is not a time to divide. It is not a time to take side. It is not a time as well for some people to feel that our leader is indisposed and so they can be able to make decisions outside what he wants. We swan oaths be loyal to the leadership of IPOB under Mazin Nam the Canada. That is the oath I wish to remind us. I want everybody who knows that he took this oath, knowing the repercussion of the oath, to also know that there must be a day where you will give account. Because every evil deed done by man to man will never be punished. If not by God, by man, fellow man, the power of evil over good can only be temporary. We have friends everywhere, all around the world. We must know that we have a leader. And when he speaks through any instrument, when he speaks through any through anybody that we know, we should be able to understand what the information is passing to us. We must go in a order. This is where I will drop it this evening. It's just the word of God. And I will pray for you. Anytime you speak, may you speak wisdom, just like usual. And when we listen, may we not be only hearers, but also doers of the word. In Toronto, Canada, take it from me. I love Biafra. God bless you. And you too, Marzi. Thank you very much. This is where I'm going to switch off the phones, please. I will not entertain any call any longer. I will say this. Let me repeat what I said the other day. You know that the leader of PKK, Kurdish movement, or PKK of Kurdistan, 
A leader has been in jail today. Since 1999. You know that? He was abducted from Kenya. The same thing, although his case is different because he was having holding Turkish visa. Turkish passport, sorry. But the fight of PKK is still ongoing. Do you understand that? He is the commander, the leader of PKK till tomorrow. His name is Abdullah Achalam. He's still in jail. He's dishing out command from there through their own way. Do you understand that? So when you come out of ignorance or mischief, you say, oh, DOS, this and that, know that you are disrespecting and disobeying our leader, Mazin Namdekano. Because he puts he he selected dos do you understand that there are people you don't know that are in dos and they are meant to be like that they are ordered to be like that not all of them you'll be hearing their their voice they have been working tirelessly on the ground many things that are happening many things that you are hearing know that people are working hard has been working hard towards it you think it's easy to organize a uh, 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 people our people organizing and matching esn do you know what it takes you know who who who, who made it possible do you know when when even when the rec recruitment started do you know what it what it takes you think it's easy it's easy to talk but to act is difficult what we are agitating for fighting for the restoration of a nation it's not a company it's not a you know a church you understand it's a country for goodness sake we are both the good the bad and ugly have a share you think it's easy to organize our people you see the number of ESN uh, uh, participants, the badge. You think it's easy to organize people like that? Our people that ask questions, you tell the person go, he tell you why should I go. He must ask you question. If you tell him do this, he will tell you why are you telling me do this? I know more than you. Do you think it is easy to organize our people? Forget about talking. Talking is cheap, but doing is uh, <laughs> is another thing. Organizing our people is the most difficult task on earth. I'm telling you honestly, the most stubborn people on this planet, it is our people. You don't know that? That is why the only key is discipline. Discipline is the only key to success. Do you know that? Do you know that many people are vagabonds today? Many people are drug addicts today. Many people are droppers, school droppers today because they are not disciplined. Do you know that? Indiscipline will cost you your life, even. Do you know that? That is why discipline is the key. And that is why we must be disciplined in order to achieve our goal, which is the restoration of Biafra. As I told you before, as I said before, the Fulani, they are achieving everything they are achieving, controlling people that are, that are highly educated, people that have natural talents. Why? Because they are disciplined to their cause only. Once they, you see, during the COVID nineteen, they are being transported by mostly Dangote. He's a billionaire, a full and billionaire. All of them are working towards the same cause. The young people, they are carrying, they are carrying them, organizing them. They don't ask where are we going. They say they enter. It's discipline for goodness sake. You understand? They don't talk to the hey, no, why are you taking me? Okay, Rufai, go bring your son from uh, school. Let him come and uh, enter into Gongoro. No, they don't do they don't say that. Because they know that all of them are playing different roles, but towards one goal. That is discipline. They ask you, what discipline are you? Are you are you in the school? You know what it means? It's, it, discipline means your life. Because you are doing, you know, the profession you are in, that is your life. It regulates you. 
Because as an engineer, a civil engineer, an electrical engineer, it, it shapes your way of reasoning. A medical doctor, he shapes your way of reasoning. You are aware of acting. You are actions. That is your discipline. As an attorney, that is your discipline. He shapes the way you reason, the way you react, the way you do things. Because that is your discipline. So discipline should be the watchword, the key word. This our struggle. Without discipline, everybody wants to act his own way. Now, why are you telling me? Now, can you, are you the person that buy data for me? Why are you? This is primitive, uh, primitivity. Do you understand? You know that there was a time in the, in the era of uh, Neanderthal, in the human being, when they were not organized. We are behaving like animals. Only men. Until their brain started developing. Forming family, nuclear family, from their government. This government you are enjoying today, you are saying, oh, government, you got, it, it wasn't like this before. Because they know that, you know, human beings started understanding that if we don't organize ourselves, be disciplined, now we cannot achieve anything. That is why human beings become organized into governments, into the family system, nucleus family system, into government. You must abide by a law. God that gave the Jewish, the Israelis law, he doesn't, he is not a fool. Because he wants to maintain discipline. If you do this against the law, you must be punished. Do you understand? Because discipline is the practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior. Using punishment to correct disobedience. It was started by God. Do you understand? Because he wants to maintain discipline. Organization of a people. So that your selfish interest does not override the collective interest of a people. This is why we must maintain discipline. Because discipline is the key. This is where I'm going to stop. People that are talking rubbish one way or the other, these are mischievous people. Do not misunderstand. Or do not underrate the zoo government. They are trying to infiltrate. They are trying to put... You know, we have social media. Anybody can write, answer any name and put out one thing. You'll be beating about the bush. You'll be pushing. Hey, this man say that is why I don't like people. I don't even allow people coming here to discuss what they read in social media. That is rubbish. And treat it there. Because you don't know who put that thing out. He can answer. If somebody can answer my name, they can on social media and start dishing out anything. Our people, we should be wise. As Mazichin Asamuru said, we never announce our rally in Biafra land. It is only in diaspora we announce our rally or protest. In Biafra land, there is a way we pass information. What, what people see is the action. Just one morning or one day, you see people rally, rally every day. Any person that is telling you, we have rally in Enugu, in Onesha, in Aba, in Ekotek, in, 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 in Bayasa. Know that it is DSS. You understand? We don't announce our rally in Biafra land in public. We never do that. We have a way of communicating our rally and our protest. By surprise, we take the zoo by surprise. That is how we operate. So when you hear, oh, I'm a disciple of uh, Mazin Namdekan, we organize a rally. This, uh, that is DSS at work. Our people should understand this. We should understand. Then they can understand this, please. The way we act, we have our code of conduct, we have our modus operandi. Stop being distracted. This person say, Now, nah, this person say, No, nah, Zioku, nah, this person say, No, nah, Zioku, uh, this come on, whatever you don't hear here, do not, it doesn't have any credibility in this our movement. How many times will you be told that? Are you be reading carry Bible reading? Oh, the Israelis and they started making golden calf. You don't know that it is describing your character. Oh, you primitive people. It's describing your character. Only a few weeks of uh, abduction, our our leader's abduction. You all hell broke loose. People start instead of being disciplined to the cause, listening to what we are doing. Go bring the news from I heaven knows where. People that are agitated. 
the same way this is there. Oh, where is your Moses? Now we know, see, I beg, do another God where we see. We don't know we are him. Whether he don't disappear with his God, I beg. These are people that we are seeing miracles every minute. All of a sudden, they, you know, they become, became agitated. They want to worship what they see. Now that thing, that on a paper, uh, that Moses tell us. Now we don't see Moses, we don't see them, the thing again. Whereas they ate quail, you know, a day before. That fell from heaven. They ate manna. That fell from heaven. But they, oh, Chineke, our people should, should, you know, when you read the Bible, the story of the Hebrew, know that it is talking about you. You change. I know that. Look, this is our character. We should change. How can you continue being primitive? That primitive character of indisciplinity today. How, how dare you? How can you think you can continue like that and now salvage yourself from the from the grip of the Fulani Caliphate? Without discipline, you are going nowhere. Everybody, you can you can be doing as you like. Now who will command me? That our leader, our leader, he have gone now. So what? That is rubbish. Our leader is in charge. Do you understand? If you talk against DOS, you are talking against Mazin the Kano. You are talking against IPOB. Yes. People, our detractors have tried one way or the other in order to disband DOS and put from their own thing. It didn't start today. You know that. You understand? If they, just like uh, Mazin China Samuru said, if they say, okay, um, this person, this mass is not working, functioning well on DOS. Please replace him with reason. Now it will be, it will be understandable, you know, if it is right. For saying this band of DOS, you blame DOS. But what, what the heck is that? Why are our people like this? We need discipline. We need discipline. Without discipline, <laughs> we can't work. It's just like uh, running a government without structure. Everybody behave yourself. The most, uh, the, the most powerful, if you carry knife, go kill your neighbor and collect everything he want. No law and order. Because law and order is discipline. To maintain discipline. Nothing more. Law and order is to maintain live and let's live. It's what we are doing here. As I said before, the military, every country's military is going on absolute discipline. Discipline in the military can you to 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 to, uh, to martial law you understand you can be sacked or even jailed discipline obey before command your superior is here why because military is the extreme security of a country depends on the military it's in the hands of the military so they need absolute uh, not only discipline but absolute discipline because they know that indiscipline of one person can cause a havoc to the security of a people. That is why every military in this world maintains absolute military discipline. It is the key. It is important. You understand that? With discipline, you can win a war. And the caliphate, they are disciplined to their cause. It is why they are they are controlling every every indigenous population in Nigeria. But they are disciplined to their cause. But you that knows everything, are you not suffering? Are you not jumping from an eight-story building in Malaysia and everywhere around the world just to run away from immigration? Are you not running away just like Mazi said? You have a transit visa, you transit one, uh, uh, one country, you, you just meander, run away, disappear. In order to stay in that country. The following day, you go to Paduro. Why can't you go back to your country? You understand? All these things, you know everything. Oh, no person can control you. Oh, I'm a Republican. Oh, but look at you, look at Republicanism now. <laughs> Do you understand? So, we are trying to channel this, our Republicanism, in a civilized manner. Because no country can function, no government can even function without discipline. No country can develop without absolute discipline of, of the whole citizen. That is why after European revolutions, 
in 16th, 17th, 18th century. You know, you, you, you see status prop up from the revolution because one thing is to maintain that revolution, that revolutionary mindset, to maintain it is not through democracy. That is why I say Europe, they cheat Africa. They deceive everybody. In a primitive uh, continent like this, like black uh, sub Saharan Africa, uh, they think that uh, bring uh, democracy. Democracy is just uh, for them is just uh, stealing election. That is it. Is it? After French Revolution, Napoleon Bonaparte rose up. He said he was a dictator, but a good dictator. Because you need to maintain discipline to people. It became their, it becomes their character. It becomes the way people born their children and raise their children under discipline. Now, when people are good enough, when people are mature enough to handle democracy, now you release everybody. People now go become democratic. Character, that discipline enters into you, becomes part of you. Understand? You know, you want to enter into a bus, now a group of people, you know, you have to stay in a line. It is a tradition, it is a character that is being built. It doesn't come from heaven. Not uh, the survival of the fittest. When 10 people are uh, trying to so, uh, fight to enter into a bus, uh, I confess, I confess, I, this one I confess, this one we hit this one. There is no, it's, it's animalistic, primitive character. When you can just, you see, you train people in a society whereby even to collect money in a cash machine once uh, people are start being more than two three four five they start they queuing up in a line by themselves they don't need a police officer to come and uh, or a security person to come and teach them uh, be please be in a line with a koboko like in the zoo as if you are pursuing animals he said people will be civilized enough in order to maintain from two three people they say okay i come before oh sorry okay you are here first before me let us form a line okay okay i'm the third person the other one will, by themselves everything organized even 50 people everybody will you in with online be online that is that character doesn't come just like that it is something that was built out of discipline for ages for decades for centuries it impacted on people can call it dictatorship, but dictatorship maintains discipline. You understand me? That is what we are doing here. Command and control in this fight. So that after we get our nation now, people will gather, everybody will be involved to decide what type of country we want. Please, discipline is the key. I'm going to stop so here. And I pray that okay, we continue sustaining us all our leader is there nothing will happen to him if you me nothing nothing will happen to him the nigerian government they know that they are in a mess they are trying to find a a, a safe landing to save face understand they can, what they can do is just to delay uh, go one way or the other delay because pressure people you don't know the type of pressure Nigeria diplomatic pressure is the highest pressure. Do you know that diplomatic pressure is mounting in on Nigeria from every angle? Therefore, let us remain disciplined and consistent. Stop being swayed by anything you hear or receive in social media. Make news abound. Somebody can be at the comfort of his bed or his home. You know, with uh, you know, drinking tea and dish out something, or send out a voice on WhatsApp, uh, blah blah blah, and you start beating about the bush. You don't know that the person that did it, he was on the comfort of his home. He did it for you to call to start beating about the bush. This is the thing. We should be wise. Thank you very much. Tomorrow is another day. She will continue praying for our leader. Nothing will happen. Never. Nothing will happen to him. Nothing. And we should never disappoint him. Because he will never disappoint us. Continue in whatever you are doing. Make it on it. Anything you know how to do best in order to
participate in the building in the upkeep of IPOB, the restoration effort. Please do it, but do it with discipline. Because without no structure, if there's no structure, we shouldn't have even been speaking here on Radio Biafra. There wouldn't have been anything like this. If there is no structure, there wouldn't have been anything, any success. Uh, just come and talk on uh, Facebook and go your way. Structure are in place. That is why we are progressing. We should understand the importance of structure and respecting it. That is discipline. Thank you from me, Mars Jonathan. From here, it is simply good evening. Of dollar, there is one Google, one particular airport. I think it's in either in 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 uh, in um in Singapore. There about I don't I can't remember the place that we are built with the same amount of money. You see how beautiful, how magnificent that one is. But look at what this criminal did for you. Then after looting that money, now they now contributed sharp, 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 sharp to destroy their own. To destroy their own people they contributed that money and has been an idiot that man has been an idiot from day one on when we robber when nobody was in was in power that man useless the government of nobody but was as useless as anything in office because of this america for nobody knew have was we are so useless the worst governor in office then because of this emeko for because of this emeko for these are the kind of people we we, we have in Igbo land they contributed the money that was given to kenya government we don't give you you know all this while we have not been talking about this because we will not come to our radio and tell you lies it's why we'll take time to gather our information before we broadcast. To gather our information before we broadcast. Yes. Everywhere. And we need to remove them. We need to remove them. These people cannot stand for all the infinite listen and divine all the know how many people that today so now you are running in there come on and you are these people let us put it in that way let we you know our leader is a very kind man people see him because money folks our leader man the kind is a very good man he is not as dangerous as we are you know most of us we react out of emotion but our leader always react with reasoning they have to reason think and let that's what I'm telling you, he's a very good man. But they thought that he is their problem. He is a very good man. Amadiki is a very good man. If it is like me, Babu we got in that since since five years ago. Babu is done. What are we waiting? They are they don't change, they don't repent. They even add more. They add more things. They add more things. They add more things in killing their own people. Look at him on state when Rocha Sokorocha entered, he signed an agreement with them to make sure that he brings full and Imo State will become rubbish place. And he did well for eight years. He looted money, did not do anything. Fulani did not attack him because he has succeeded in giving them the portion. Who's of them by now come now sign higher percentage? That is why you see all these things that are happening. We need to understand is for, for them to repent. They will add more. This is how these people are. And we need to write. There's only the other flying flying everywhere. We have to have a flying and not a flying. Oh, okay, no, no, no. But okay, no, 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 no. If not that okay, they no, no. If not that okay, they no, no. Okay, the no, no. We keep it on the air. That's not my phone. No, that's fair. I'm not on the air. No, no, no. I be so good now. This okay, they know no. In fact, they have crossed the danger zone to torture Hamadike, to torture Hamadike, even to try to kill him. Even since I we are no no, but they have exercised it. They did not succeed. 
But it will be a foolish thing for you and I to keep quiet. It will be a foolish thing. I am an idiot. Let me first of all insult myself. Here I am not insult. Okay. I'm an idiot to only be focusing on Solani. Whereby the okay so okay so I want okay so no naji. Now we will rob him. A useless old man that don't want to die. A useless old man that is using the blood of the young to refresh himself. I will be a foolish person to always be talking about Fulani. Whereby these are the criminal, these are the cause, these are the kingpins of the problem in our land. And they are born, they may be they are my brother. Hi. These are the arrow men, but these people were involved no, in the extraordinary rendition of our leader in a low money, unlike the poor come can go in a low man in, in a in a street way, in a low man, they see kidnapping because if I'm in for pure kidnapping, pure kidnapping, Kafama, after the plan to kill him, it didn't work. The angels of God were in charge. They changed the entire environment. They announced that the secrets have been leaked. They put it in that way. Igbo people, ndi Igbo, ndi Igbo, nda brown, nda brown, ndo cho because of ego. Naika happens here Ghana. So what's here this guy? Guy deliver one man. We need to deliver ourselves. Papa got the guy got pepper. When they can happen here, more John only mine. Now manifest they can model. They are manifesting in human form. They are manifesting in politicians. They are manifesting like a maker of folk. They are manifesting like a Willie Obiano. They are manifesting like Rocha Sokoro Cha. They are manifesting like Victor Men. Instead of you to be by the Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, a remnant call to these people. Oh, Rufu Bullet to Rugaka, a Babo Yanghan, let them die. They are the cause of our problem. Pure ED. Don't paint words. And when you paint to go there, they won't even love you. They won't like you. They are more brutal than any other thing. Their hands were involved. Let me finish the news. Nigerian government did not spend a dollar on this mission. Rather, this government funded every expenses for the extraordinary rendition of Ohamadike. Brother Pinano, Manafulani ni boy inside the bush. Ana tue gege ja cho fulani. Ibo bidoni e re life se cha. Ibo bidoni ha no ebo no ndi no na abuja na na ekon. Na na e si. Ayana atoko peni na afo. Ya wen sponsor ke me kocho na li ibo disep gaj. Ena atom na atonya ane ewe te ane me fundraising everywhere. Ya we ti e fe ki fe we di ma. This is what we were doing. Ibo billionaires that sold us their life, yeah. The only person we have in this world. So nobody will stand for us like Martin Nandekano. Nobody. Ibo man, what that is here, Goya. Ima, how many millions of dollars, even not billion? I am Kenya government for you to bribe a government for them to be able to move them. To move them to do what they did. Do you know how much it is contributed by Igbo politicians and Igbo businessmen? Even if your market union get on your market union, your market leaders, because sometimes all guy and election, or how one are they send you bought that market leader, you go to the or what if I am in the morning, what if I nothing will happen? You go that particular man, or to buy a plane and put a container on the barrel, many more. And I got in series, and I got in series, flying in the pools of hot passes here for the government. I hope that's here in the government. It is there, and I hope that's what it is. Even to the extent now, PG of a community is a flying puppet. PG, ordinary president general of the community. Ordinary community, Neru, who Neru, I don't, don't know that I don't, I'm not sure that now. No one, some communities in Rural, even up to 500,000 or 1 million, as we uh, have been split into autonomous community. Ordinary PG, if we are born and happy, if we are now by the venom, we are by the virus, the flooding virus into him. 
Because the people do not know that they would insist here on these people. In who's a good told the market leader there? Who told him or that? On where the fair man? Ah, but I'm about two, three months. He blows the idiot. The genius. This is the brutality we need to enter now. Come on, Rabbi, 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 if from Nala Nigeria, or from the Chikamel, na Chikato and the Camel and Donkey, na Parake, na ina soro kupu iba. But if what is there is its own, na wrong, na wrong, wrong or fuma fuma. Ibo Bilonia contributed the money. They will destroy Union Juani. The only person we have, without Martin Nam the Camel, now where will you be? Ask yourself this question. In where hope na fala ni ko? In where hope na ze? If you press them on Facebook, else, else, then the else, else, you kneel down begging for money or whatever you be begging publicly. Imagine how God Papa says, "I need money." Even when we're on camera, camera on or there. Imagine he has a yeah, but see, what's there? You propose as you are, you pay a sharp sharp. You want nothing, man? Oh man, else, brother, how could she come? Put chance, I have put chance. I have no focus, 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 focus. They are the one who contributed the whole money. As the news came to our desk, they contributed the money that was given to Kenya government. I want you to think the kind of money you will give to a government to move against international law. If they knew that what they are doing they know the consequences. It may it may boomerang to them tomorrow. But I want you to know the money that is involved that move them. That move them. This is what I want you to think. Contributed by Ibo Pilonia that have never given you ten cent. Hospitals, our hospitals, FMC or whatever, health healthcare. Every in Japan, even a spray and get a paracetamol in my phone. Can't these billionaires contribute this money and they equip those places? Sitting there at the age of 60, 70, go there for free treatment. Go there now, now, even though, see, happy young one, let them hustle. Can't this money do such? Can't they contribute such money and put things in order? Brother, fair Meroya, Manuruzia, by it, destroy your Hamadi, Kenda, Dapota. Who cash? Who cash? In cash, check. Who go cash? In the If you don't know what Martin Nam the can what for us, then you are a fool. If you don't know what Martin Nam the can stand for us at this time. You are an idiot. You will, you will, and we're talking man. You know, a fool. So, matter of fact, if you don't know what this man, what for us presently, he ban no man. He ban no man. The only man who is trying to bring us home. One of the Lagos, Bira Abuja, Lagos. This man keep on preaching to bring our spirit back. All we believe is just to wake up. You travel out. You travel out. Nobody is thinking of his land. Flying now, start crippling, crippling to take your ancestral land. To take the land where your great great, -great grandfather was buried. And you know we are connected with the earth. You know the spiritual things. Flying are coming, desecrating it. The spirit are now fighting us, destroying what we know. Things are happening against us because we allow it to be. That is how spirit works. It is only Mazin Nam the Kano who understood this thing and begin to lecture, begin to lecture, begin to lecture, begin to bring our mind back. The younger youth begin to understand. But the Ekberimas, the occult men, the wicked men and women in the in the, in our midst that claim to be the allies knew what is happening and they begin to fight him. 
is just like what happened in the Bible. I want you to know that the Pharisees know that the man that came is Yeshua Amashia. He is the Messiah. They knew, as the Bible put it. But they, they, they don't want to associate with him and they don't want people to go with him. That is why the life of a Pharisee is worse than even the life of Satan. You see, a Pharisee, his life is worse than that of Satan. You know that this is food. You don't want to eat and you don't want me to eat. What kind of life is that? These are the kind of people we have, my dear brothers. Let me continue. My POP intelligent unit will continue to unveil many things that are hidden and all IPOB members should know that our biggest enemy are Igbo people who feel that Martin Namdekan and IPOB is a blockage against their political ambition in Nigeria and the opportunity to steal from our people. We are wise people, IPOB, and we are gathering facts so that anyone we give you, you know that it is real. You know that it is real. We are gathering all their names. I got publicity. Monday protocol. All of them. Even the ones in our midst. All of them. And the none will be forgiven. Brother, none of you will be forgiven. You are listening to me now. You sit in your house or whatever. You listen later. Because if you, you listen, if you are involved, if you are involved, have it in mind that you have enemy everywhere. Because anything can destroy you. Kawa gyan is you. Kawa gyan has to say, Oh, fi here you may be not. Now, kawa gyan has to say, Oh, brother, no, how many people put that? Say, eh, because he's a very kind man, a very good man. Because now, kawa ran of a kawa kwa. Now, mo abu mo chine kama ma ba roge. Bila ni fen niku. Now, mo ha ma ba roge. Ia ku goya. You will repeat. We are telling you the gospel truth. And that is the level of the consciousness I want our people to be at this time. That the, all these politicians, their intention is because an number election is coming. Honorable and America and Kita, America, monkey. I talk about you, Tano de Purima, fix idea for another four years. And then I send the Yapo Yumpa, a Guru Mugu, and then you're gonna buy an app, but you your people in their presence. The, a police officer will call gone and shoot it. And then just look at in Kemen and in Kemen and Nana na, 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 Nampo, we discussed yesterday. That happened in Mpo. How many of them has condemned it? How many of them has criticized it? How many of them? But when Jonathan was bombing Boko Haram, that was so deadly. Boko Haram killed even innocent children, kids. Mm. These people, even the president, uh, presidency, because Buhari is the dead man, decayed. Mm. How can tell you that attack on this Boko Haram that is killing their own people oh, is an attack on them? But look at now, they have used AK-47 gun, shot direct bullet to innocent people in the market. And when you look at me recently, and you couldn't get me to me, and you couldn't get me to me, and you want us to keep quiet. I told you that I will be a fool, an idiot, that first of all, pinpointing hand, and I point you. We have our own gun. Okay, so. Okay, so. Go on, I mean, fam. Your name will be mentioned, and you will pay for it. You will go down. It's better no no baga abu jaja jeno de then happens here nibo and do you know no 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 na nibo I have to go go I have to go I have to go go and nibo will become a terror for you people all of you any man that is involved whatever you like to say do it's none of my business I have one if I am on I have one if I am on also go gang pote the whole battalion pote na nibo. They will, they will kill us, didn't they? For them to come, I, we, we are the one that invite the military. We are the one that invite the military. That is the kind of people we have. I will bomb a place, I will bomb a place. That is the people we have. And all of them are involved in this. I have never seen such a person in Ibo land. In our bribe, and you all manner of things. So, let my people be free. Let my that is that is the only thing I see in Ohamadike. If not, one of me formal on when we a political appointment to Rio Gono, 
Maybe now she tells you soon and I have me on car. Nothing. He's just telling you how the left. Kunu si destined the um um mochineke um mochineke na tapo fo um mochineke na na a paradise na tapo fo. Kunu si we desapa. That is the only thing he preach. That is the only thing he tells you. On a bako bako aka bako aka ne ra ra. Ia baro ifa bako baro um we ifa baro. If I borrow, I'm going to open our line now. If I borrow, if I borrow, you are not going to keep quiet. Every man must reap what he sow. Every man, you must reap what you sow. Definitely, you must reap what you sow. You must reap what you sow. I would like to bring your brother first. I mean, how can you talk first? I'd like to bring your brother. Let me bring the brother first. It's very, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Master, get email. Brother Regi, you are live on Radio Biafra. No, I are in a different dimension today. No, be other one. Okay. Because, because what I go through, I'm going to be able 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 to be to uh, <laughs> It will other from other other states. So when we change the airport, when is is both Oruzo, when mili, when hospital, when company do umu hana alwalu. Kasi airport wa ina alwalu. Airport ai mu airport na alwalu. Oya wa bunjon na ande kan. Manam ya bi he jo bulo mu ya. O jo bulo mu ya na me galu ihi ne pu eriya. Ojo bulo mwe maka yen di sino ojo bulo mwe wuna. Onye de kan na ande kano. Potalo. We si kodelo mwke na mwa. Bele mwa ya na mwa. Owe bulu few individual. Polo mwe handi ibo. Sina ya ya garo ni yu. Obile yebu mi yebu kwa mwe yu. No yu henno ni ya. Obura jogu. Obura jogu kwa wwa. Bele yebu mi yebu mwe. Maka na. Iya ju roj. Obura kwa na jek pere. Obura kwa na jek pere. Kedebe nka ane me. Uno na na chicho ke uno atuko ke ego na we je bulu na de kan we bu na tia ma nu na enwere ke tuzi ego ke we lo lai okporu uso chine ni me brother chukwa bia ma go se we lo lai content we lo lai content uno enwere ke izi tu ego ka si port wa ina alu olu uno enwere ke tu ego na na port we bia no lu bebel ke dozi ya ka alu wa ka odi opuma obuli hu nu tu ego bu ke nwuje puta nwa nu nu to buo not the part of the My brother, you have to be, if you go to the reason why, the mother, or to turn the Nigeria, you were, Afro and the Bonanya, so you do it, man. And the, my candidate, I, 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 one day, Munkan, no, I gave up. I'm not going to miss with your bonnet and come. Man, I'll be a poor woman now. Who was he? Oh, no, Bona, meet the one. That's an Iraq, I can't read the one bullet. He had the freedom of Rogue One and all Pacham. Oh, poor, we are cheap up a man, woman. And only an hour until I win me. I can die there, Nanya. Nano, I don't love a poor love. For that, I'm a la rola. Oh, no, Bona, yes, sir. Here they have more about politics. 
Okay, Indeed, 
In half plan on Kebo Hamadi Kenya, Kenya. Or walk on her, how I took ego within the eight days. And that's all Hamadi Ken. When I told you, you can make good more, may estimate Nisiki Kitana, check Godu, Udiego, and when you keep Bunye Kenya government. That's in your time, Udefa. A government or individual. You more individual, I don't know. In your one or two naira, or one dollar, if I or Maria. In when you cannot just calculate to go ego, you will be lonely. Contribute immediately. One name, Mazi Mazi. Mazi 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 the man they go up with. Now this, now the current government in the United States is one billion dollars. It's well and man they can one billion dollars on the boat One billion dollars. If I check, if I check, I'm a little bit out One billion dollars. If I check, if I do, who saw Galo from Puerto Rico to do? I'm a little bit out. One billion dollars. One billion dollars. One billion dollars. One billion dollars. I'm a little bit seaport. Mobile seaports. I am going to go to the seaports in another state. Mobile any other part of the country. I am going to go to how far? One billion dollars in the JDB. One billion dollars came to get us to another country. But I am where also from. I am where also in Japan and Nibo. My brother. Hey. One day. Oh, you are. Ah, yeah. We should not back us in my bow. I tell you the truth. My brother, bro. I will talk to you, man. Because in the we cannot see the storm of his soap on over his soap. We can't want to open nine or no bona. Okay, and well enough here. No need for being a bit to remember. Naina, I want to be at the front in the room for Campapuno. Okay, nothing. I'm so happy. No better. The flannel no better. Now, next program. No problem. I have people. Only book I have brought up the flag. Oh, what do you have for the medal? Get back and get to the conclusion. Okay, Imagine now they are now their own personal interest be a a position. Continue to come to the line and all right. Oh, when the time will for God's sake. We will have all my humble. Oh, you to put your hand. My brother, if we get so poor, that's the one they that way they go how they go to their final bus stop. Final bus stop. Police checking point in all the world of them cannot. My brother, my brother, and that one. One driver, that you know, the one driver, and if we go on the old state, in a day, they go proceed the police. On a call that in the assembly of the 
5,000 naira. Check it out. Five thousand naira times five thousands of moto. Now banoza. Can you how many billion billion this open a big mission be every place day? Now they cannot be a point there. The government by anything that economy in the bag. Yes. I see no economy and all the wrong. Brother, in my container, a baby, a then he has put there. He has custom, who immigration, who police, who whatever. He has sent every idiot no news on. Mbango afya harusi na ani bo agalono. I put as I say na he jackani emifre. What do you expect that man to do? Every expenses he 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 incurred. Oh, you tiye ni sungu afya hobutara. It's very obvious. And any one which are these people, fair with the rega kasi keji we subsidize ya. They can go. What they did was to use this money to go and kill their own person. Because you put one billion dollar and can get your credit sin. Would you guy in your Kenya government for them to allow this kind of thing to happen? And the kind of people that will position present themselves to tell them that we are the people. These people did not give us support on the channel there. Or what if I have a time through the sea? Even the one on you watch and nothing. We have to land in Lagos. These people did not present themselves. At least can life they throw never come about if each time Oko Bangwa in Mafia on any pieces. Father Korega willing to see they will go moto fire service and whatever do it. But they were able to contribute this kind of money to convince. The, the, the uh, government, uh, 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 whole federal government of Kenya, and uh, to destroy their own person, brother. I'm sorry, Jiki. I have a around there. I can't have a around there. What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, do come back. Come. The Malian just don't mind the cat. Mind the cat. The Malian just don't mind the cat. The only part is the food. My unborn generation and the ノーチャ。オニョポナ、オニョポニャナンバーセスガボエバコソマガナ。オコソエソマガナ。エベネレグラス。バイドネガディアガメンディノラプレスアディオ。メニエプルガバハナディペチ。ンディナメフィセスグ
You know, all these politicians, Diego, where are those ordinary 5,000 people? They have a number of states, so they have a number of states, they have a So for that, they have a number of states, 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 they have a number of this life I need to do. I want to be a common man. A lot of us about to go abroad, not run abroad. All few, few, few. I tell you how I go hang with it. If we take one moto, not run at it. They show you the Facebook or they can see you know getting over there. Nothing. I want to handle that. I want to handle that. All those people immigration are showing side that police are showing. Who wants to buy a thing? I come on dominion. Now I'm not to see. Now I'm not to now. And they have a board so interesting. Why lying? Well, I'm not. I am well, I am not willing to get what preachers in the world. A polar government. Who may be? He has a number of war. Of what way? The politician that way, he don't have one. He not only still not a lot of all up to you. You have to fight. If not, they will never change. We must force them. Open a hair for us. I am not going to be a good boy. Then the only way forward. I can find a moon on the bike. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let me start taking call now. Thank you very much. I, I may bring you Thank back you later. Want. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you. Thank you. This is Radio Thank Biafra House Service 2 coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Onion Dumas. Namdikan Ohamadike, one of Biafra Land. Mazin Namdikan is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. He's the director of Radio Biafra and her television, and this broadcast is coming to you from me, a servant of the Most High, a servant of the indigenous people of Biafra, and a proud disciple of our lady, in the person of Umwa Chineke. Our lines will be open right now. I just want us to discuss regarding what is the scene of Ohamadike. Because Bunobundi will be the new Abundi Bakotarono to Kuego, where Magini, where Bunya Kenya government, care where Bua Hamadike, care where Bonato Hamadike, care where me, Nda Akafano, Chapaban, Nonketi, Apa Yana Gay, the Pana plan, if a Pana plan, between a Ponga Choki, Poki one. I got information that the video I'm talking about is not a current one, so I'm really sorry for that. But in case if such a thing will come up, because no people have to react with you eh? because we don't want such nonsense anymore. Our lines are open right now plus one eight three two six three seven three four nine nine plus one eight three two six three seven three four nine nine plus one eight three two six three seven three four nine nine or you can get us with this one plus one eight plus six one four eight one eight seven zero nine two five six one four eight one eight Seven zero nine two five. Uh caller, you are live on air right now. Your name and where you are calling from. I got information that the video clip wasn't current. Now caller, can you hear me? You are welcome. Thank you for being such a speech. Like uh uh, we to God and bless our enemy that we are running the people, protecting, guiding, uh, any, any plan, any, but the real life is where the person be destroyed, both physical and spiritual. We to keep guiding, guide anything we put in his mouth, any, any medication, anything we put to him, we to keep, we to teach, bless it, but if poison they get to him, then could be good for him. But anybody who was criminal, to them, that is right. May the person die, him and his family, maybe they take it. Guide me and protect him in this, in this difficult time at the end. Different powers in the mighty God to go to them. I pray. He said, He said, He said, Now, as I like I said, I told you, I uh, said that I was going to be here. You know, so I'm going to see the screen. I speak video anyway. Well, let me go back to the point of the analysis this morning. I'm here. 
that our people, some people that want to say this man, are the people that bring money, the zoo government used to bribe any government, but anybody that contributed to one cent that uh, has a hand in this criminal act against our leader, the person who pay in a different thing way. What I want us, some of us to do is this. There's one thing I watched when I was a uh, young, young guy those days. They call it the dog. He said, if you want to shoot, shoot, don't talk. If you want to shoot, shoot, don't talk. What I have said this thing before, everybody should prepare his arsenal. Prepare it ready to launch. In case everything don't go as we plan, we know that we have to strike. Not we we'll come in the radio, we we'll do this, I have a good watch, I have a good watch, and we are giving our enemies target to Uganda. I will prepare all the stickers now. We will go to the government, we will go to the government. So, my fellow Biafras, anywhere you are, keep on and talk less. Please, do more and talk less. Let us be watching. Let us be watching because we are everywhere. So that people who will carry any action, they will carry, they will carry it smoothly, gently, without any interception. That is the kind of thing we need to be planning how to execute now. I know you are angry or how much you want to say what we got to do, but say exactly what you you know that you are at the top to act during the first of arrest of our 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 leader 2015. Most of us we went to personal protests, we went to do personal things that we are not here to mention. But is when you do your action, you go. Our leader by the special all the of Chipo Kike Adama, all the evil plan they have been planning against us, and no one will succeed. No one will succeed. Because their intention is to eliminate him. That was the initial plan, but he's a fire. You can kill a fire. If you touch him, your generation will finish. You and the kind of Ibu or Hague, you will get to cook the lava. Ibu or Hague, to guard him, protect him, remain vigilant, remain strong. All these things we are hearing from all these people, you know that something will happen. The problem we are having. It's mostly from the from the our enemy, those that call themselves the enemy, those politicians. But on the other go and I am about to do my best. Before we feel on on the radio, but on our solo form and maybe some more. Ma, we thank you for giving me this opportunity. Maybe you can please tell me where you are. If you are sharing video, please. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Confuse people so that they don't be calling us. Thank you, thank you very much. All right, brother, let me take this call. All right. Call are you alive on there now? Your name and where you're calling from? Call are your name and where you're calling from? Good morning to you and what you need Good morning, Mazo. You're welcome. Please, I'll speak loud. A lot of calls are coming, so we need to... Uh, uh, Petin, if your line is not Petin, I think another one. Just you have the mic now. Go straight. Can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. Uh, all right. Greetings to you, fellow dear friends, friends of dear friends, and lovers of freedom. The blessing of our heavenly Father, Chukwu Abiyama, will continue to keep us moving forward. My name is Sugo, and I am calling from my location. Yeah, now, the, you see, these evil people. What is the scene of Ohamadike that I would like to hear one. Yes. I love that question. You, you know, people are everywhere. They are friends all over the world. The that is my I just want to hear this. Just 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 hear
The sin is because he said the truth. The sin is because he is telling us the truth. That was the same sin that you were sure committed 2,000 plus years ago. So for you, that is fighting somebody that is saying the truth. You are digging your grave. Because truth stands for God. And Tupo Kikabiyama is truth. So the only thing our leader committed, the only thing our leader committed that makes, I don't know who they is, whatever they call him, he made available millions of, millions of naira, millions of dollars for his brother to be killed. Is because he said the truth. I love that. Yes. Um, are you talking to me? Okay, um, good day. I won't waste your time. I just want to pray. But before I pray, I would like to chip in a little word from your question. The offense of our leader is very big and uh, is unpardonable. And it's kind of uh, an, an offense that destroys the evil camp. And the evil has a reason to make sure that this truth will not stand. Do you know that this is exactly what made Abraham to lie before Pharaoh? Do you know? Abraham lied because that very truth would have put him in trouble. Did you, are you listening? So he lied. The Bible said that it, it was a holy lie. But then Anna can refuse to even gamble or negotiate Talk more of holy lie. He don't want to lie, but he wants to say it straight the way it is. Let me just tell you one thing, my brother. This is the only crime he committed because he has never killed anyone. Neither has he collected any money from anybody or transacted any business or convert their wives or their businesses. The problem is that the truth, our leader said, he will destroy the zoo. With the truth and that truth is the weapon that caused this commotion right now and uh, if i should say the word hello in time saves nine are you hearing me yeah continue continue i can hear you hold on call on okay. the other line hold on hold on i'll come back to you a stitch in time saves nine let me just tell you it, these people are like snakes not only snake will be the god that there are will be what is called is this black cobra it's just like when this black cobra step into your room while you and your family are fast asleep you will start going around talking and they kind of trying to uh, 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 call neighbors the first thing you would have done is to search for make sure that your children are protected then search for the cobra and kill it these people will be demon if we continue to uh, honor, kind of uh, now my brother honor 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 a woman i got to get a little bit of 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 these people present themselves not how people call it not how they from no, that region not their brother one they, these people put them one ego one one why are we doing it whereby if any man you know you know you know you know you know it's not like you know brother sometimes someone can even see you could use because they share your copy somebody has to know you well you won't understand it's good with that we will tell them that you are afraid of it if we don't tell you that no. the one that did this thing tomorrow now 
just because we have no manner of people begin to talk rubbish. Man, people are telling you since taking can you find him all this one? A bit our brain somehow move on the straight. Our brain, so we need to educate people. We need to let them know. But in Rania, to God who made me, they will pay. Yeah, people will know this time that indeed there is nobody for us if not Ohamadike. I'm telling you the gospel truth. We will tell them no names are coming. If nobody will broadcast it, next year. Yeah, man, one minute now. He can't be a brando. The only man who is going to speak for us. He just has to contribute to ego. Ego has to be a man who is going to be a man. He's 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 going to be a man. Who are they? Are they going to play politics than me? Can politics happen? Do they play proof? Is there any technicality there? It's just evil. Kill my people. Give me money. That's all. When I am meeting for I have offer my next chief. I will put as the operation. I keep forever. I will put as the operation. Just round up. Mazi, I still have to pray. I won't go to because today is 46 days. And we we have some 46 to kind of uh reach. But I think he going on the open. In Anya now, he just doesn't do more in Chigali. Is that now when you preach to them to convert them and you get to a particular stage, a second anka, one na kufunka, you this one. Let us go to this very side. But when you dig it out from the foundation, you will receive your freedom. So these very people ask na haga ask na haga no, and the only men can hear me haga ask na hamaro. It's special like you do to me. Our leader on a, on a prison, who bring you just today, come on, I'm going to go see. No, sorry, sorry for that. Sorry for that. Somebody, I correct, I correct to go. I don't know if I have old video. Okay. I don't okay. find, I don't okay. find it no old video. I thought that it happened because people should be aware of sending in all these things. So somebody send them here. All right, all right. Okay, I'm okay. Yeah. So okay. I'm sorry okay. for, okay. I'm sorry for bringing yeah. old news. Man, I'm being here. Hope you're a mate. God, I'm not going to talk to you. Uh -huh. No, the government. This man no more yet. Jack a laptop no more. If only you could make it to me, you listen, Bona. Under one day, the news of our leader's arrest, it, it will broke out. You know, about the first person condemn our leader when the Nigerian government should apprehend him. We know that's a quiet. He came out to say, "Yeah, what's going to do today? Run a dial me, oh my dear. Oh, let us not just try to. I'm going to talk to you one night. But it's not me. We can watch on the one night. We can watch because I thought I just do." Oye na te ga lo ni fe zero bu oge. Echi te no bu e ze kwa na echi te ni ke ze na se. We shiro o bo de mo onye wa no bu re onye wa de hawa that's all. Let me just go straight and do my prayer because we in India and the other thing again is that na let us begin to search this people behind the meeting. Na ba ha na gada. Na ba na for all this thing we do some gadal ma o ma boss. Let us go and verify o bo no hawa at fura. ก็ห้างเว่ยบริโภคโอบาหะเป็นจอดสุดท้ายเลยเด็กคนนี้ก็ตายเด็กเด็กที่เขาเลี้ยงเด็กมาแล้วยิ่งคนเมลูนี่เ
and though the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea, though it is water, though it is water roll and be troubled, though the mountain shake with its swellings, there is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of Okada, which is Biafra, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High, Kukabiyama. The God is in the midst of her, Shiafran. She shall not be moved. Mother Nandikano can never be moved by the threat or bribery or whatever thing that these people has come up with. Because God shall help her. God shall help him just at the break of his dawn. The nations of Biafra, the nations of Nazifu reached. The kingdom of Fulani were moved. He uttered his words. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob, Martin and the canon, is our refuge. Come, behold, the works of Kukabiyama. Who has made desolations in the earth? He makes war. Cease in the land of Biafra to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spears in two. He burns the chariots of the zoo oligarchy and all the Biafra land politicians into fire. He still and know that I am Tukukabiyama. This is the word of consolidations and motivation from Tukukabiyama. He says, be still and know that our leader is going to come out. That Kukabiyama is with him. He says, he will be assaulted among every nation upon the world when you will be released. And he says, Kukabiyama, the God of hosts, is with Mazen and and Biafrans. The God of Jacob is our refuge. My prayer right now is that every power, every occultic kingdom, every shrine, every coven, unleashing mayhem and plague to the land of Biafrans and Biafra in quotes, including our leader. Bible says that there shall be no peace for the wicked. Therefore, I decree and I declare, let the source of their income collapse by fire. Because you can only get a strong man down by frustrating the source of his income and make him poor. Therefore, every of their businesses, every of their contracts, every of their savings that they have left up for because they have held the truth. They have they are withheld the truth. Therefore, they will never know peace until these generations of Japanese is being restored. And I declare, when they drink water, let that water choke them to death. When they march their foot upon the floor, let the earth open and swallow them. If they move around with the air that's called Kabiyama created, which they are fighting against, let their oxygen cease today. May they be afflicted with incurable disease that has no name. All the sicknesses of Egyptians shall be their portions. And I declare, for you the fool, he hear the word of the Lord. As you are holding our leader, you will never know peace. Every gathering, every gang up in the National Assembly, conspiring and having meeting or committing against Martin and the Colonel to kill him, to jail him. I am telling you that when you speak, if God did not comment, your speak from your words are turned into foolishness. Because God will destroy your gang up, your conspiracy, because it will not stand, neither will it come to pass. And I declare, as long as there is, as long as sun giving their dues at the daytime, the daytime, even moon in night time, the seed time and the harvest of mountain and the canal and restoration of Biafra will never cease. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. And this and more, I pray in your name, Kokabiyama. He said, he said. He well, said, thank you very much. He said, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, let me go to the, this caller. Caller, you have been waiting patiently. 
it is your time. I presume should be Rabbi Charles. Rabbi, am I correct? Yes, correct. Very much. So I for keeping you very long time, I just to take your time for you because I will you. Take you. I don't I will like I take it. I completely understand. In case if I start and this man becomes so bad, it is not the line that I normally talk. Man, I you can. I can go, you can go and hit me with a hand. That is the real line, and they are not uh, uh, you know, back to JT. Okay, if, line cannot, if this line will not work, can you call back with the other line? I will see it and pick. I hope you can pick it. Let me do that. Okay. I call on the line. Caller, can you hear me? I think another call. yeah. caller on the line. Can you hear me? Mazi watching a good note from here. Mazi below, calling from Mozambique. Hmm. Mazi below, get a key, man. 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 Go here to Kenya government. Kenya government, they were well, the Atanaro. I am Torino. Can you on drop Mazin Nandicano? Oh, 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 now, I'm not close. I got to see a family. I got to see No, I want to go. Okay, trick. I want it. I want to die money. I want to die money. Can you go to the show? I'm a John Gideon. My brother, that's a look at most message the guy. Message in the drop now. Go on the problem. Do you go to the home in the air? Now, I'm a young name. But I think one of that now. Oh, 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 I because <laughs> If you have money, you don't have power. You don't have anything. My brother, all is everything. We have we but you don't have any power. We have yeah, brother, 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 no bundi a kakule to regoni le butrasa na Nigerian government e tinya even one kobo. No be perima, e perima ni le no gasi na e perima ni la manda ndi a kaya weta papa wete. No hawa papa tariga. Bui e go move the Kenya government. Kenya government we just wete. The brother man here will go through program. We, I met men from the road, they have to regularly we fix a hospital. They have to regularly at least open one in the Masia Gem on my free. All right, I can walk here to go retirement. I see a general who's free. They have to regularly we make use of money. They have to regularly wait in your money. That's it. The money will not work on a little steady. They have to regularly. So, we have one fire service. Cafe, we will read the name, maybe. 
Thank you very much, Rabbi. Thank you very much. And let's keep it up. Thank you very much. This is Radio Biafra as a service. Sorry, those that have been calling, I could not pick your call. Um, these are some people I just want to, to speak before. Then we'll be start taking your calls. Um, no, the call was many, and I could not pick it because I just want them to help. But the thing is that um I want us to I want you to I want us to I want us to discuss the the the, the scene of our okay. day, okay. and, okay. and why Ibo okay. man okay. Is okay. and what is the consequence of that Ibo man? Come okay. okay. on, okay. your name okay. where you from? Okay, man, good morning. You're welcome, brother. That time the man said we are calling from my location. You're welcome. Right, we ask the question: What is the scene of Marvin and the Kano? Exactly. The only scene of Marvin and the Kano I know is trying to remove or uh, to bring Africa out from the perpetual slavery of colonial masters. The scene of Marvin and the Kano I know is trying to educate Africans that they are not inferior in the hearts of. In the hand of colonial masters, the son of Marvin and the Kano I know is trying to bring the light to the whole world, telling them that brothers are great to be. The son of Marvin and the Kano is trying to bring freedom to our great grandchildren. The son of Marvin and the Kano is to create a job for the people that is hopeless. It's to bring good work for Biafras. It's to make Biafra look like other developed nations. That's the scene of Mazin and the Kano. The scene of Mazin and the Kano is to bring all the indigenous people out from the hand of Fulani Caliphates. 
the seal of Marvin and the corner is to bring sound education to all Biafans and indigenous people in general. No, our people have the ghost. Our evil brothers have the ghost to go and tell them the are out with one billion dollars. Our people have the ghost to sell them the carry out to fill any caliphates with one billion dollars. So they have one billion dollars. I think we were dying in Rome that didn't go to the virus. They have one billion dollars. There's no good news in anything Alambra Road, which you can give you a debate. They have one billion dollars. There's no railway for Potaco or for Lagos in uh, the state. There is no, they have one billion dollars. They have one billion dollars. There's no good hospital. They have one billion dollars. There is no electricity in indigenous villages in Ebola. They have one billion dollars to pay for more women on the Kalu's head. And they can't create a job for the human youth. I'm talking to you now, I've graduated from school for the past 15 years, there's no job. They have one billion dollars that can't do something. They have one billion dollars. They cannot build a standard hospital to give to our people. But let me tell us to that. Let me tell all of us what to do with your friends. Uh, we the Kali stand for generations. We want the Kali stand for futures. We want the Kali stand for our home. There is no going back in this struggle. There is no going back. I want to tell all the affairs all over the world, wherever you are. Please, you go to Elanike. You go to Elanike. This is the high time. We start the journey, we start the movement. And tell them. But indeed, we are black ones. Thank you, Margaret, for the audience. Thank you very much. Thank you, IPA. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you very much. Just as the brother have helped us, these people can contribute one billion. They can contribute one billion dollar and give away. But nothing is working in Igbo land. Call on the line, your name and where you are calling from. What is the scene of Mazin and the Kano? Call on the line. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You have the mic. I can hear you. Good morning. You're welcome. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Thank you. I am Chema calling from uh, Scandinavia. I will not call the country. I'm sorry. You don't need just to give your. We understand. Yeah. <laughs> you are asking the things of Mazin and the Kano. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will start from. Uh, Number one, because I have three things of Mazin and the Gano. Number one is that uh, he's telling the politicians the truth. And you know that the truth is bitter. And India, India no buying. I need Hezioqua. Then you may so go on a waha. Then you may go on a waha. Then you may like you do, you do anyone not in diaspora. On the line, I now know, I am not a fundi, I am not a fundi as a criminal. Maka before, I am not a fundi as a criminal. Maka before, I am not a fundi as a criminal. Maka, okay, 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 this preaching. When I come to line, I this people, I am not a fundi as a criminal. Then I, we started to see me, so cool. Then I will really, now I want to have a number, but they go, no, a guy in the air can be a money, because now all these people, if politicians, and you come back, and then I'm back to the Indian, because I'm back and see you, then all these things. Biko, can I take it in English or in Igbo? Oh, boy, you can't hear the line, and I'm back, 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 so, can they will learn how to fly? Can they buy well? And then, oh, you have another one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yes, I have. You know, I saw you have to talk to you. 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 That one is for no good. No, 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 no,
Men especially in Asia, for you, because you just go ahead. You know, see, see, what he has, me, me, change the amount, you know. He has no open hand, he can't change the amount. But man, 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 you have to go there, you have to go there, you have to go there. The thing is, now, now, you know, you know, you see, now, you have to do, 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 you have Okay, look in the state, you know, unknown gunmen. Not your car, had the car. All of a sudden, before three days, this man at no you turn. See, my bomb, brother, bomb, brother. In the uncle's boss, one say, Hey, now, nah, now, nah, 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 I want to act like I know my enemy. Yeah, I'm going to sit here and know my enemy. I am my enemy. My enemy, I put it very soon. India, I go in the Tanida, I am not, I know, 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 ndiye <laughs>
radio I will deal with Twitter. I will make I will make I make it. I don't know my name, but I don't know guys the radio. What the guys the radio? These people they are not part of the. You know what I'm Okay, not part of the. No, 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 no one be ready. Oh my God, I'm not ready. 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 I'm not Man, yes, I tell you what's going on in the IPOB. Man, do you know? Man, do you know? We we now not abroad. I am not talking about ignore these people. Can you believe these people? These people are who are going to lie. You know, all we have to have a lot of people in the go. I don't know what you mean. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this man is not going to make a phone call. And make a phone call. So many politicians say for another state today. Oh yeah, oh oh, yeah, we are not here. I'm not going to do that. No, no, no. So many politicians, man, oh oh, oh oh, oh oh, oh oh, oh. So many politicians say we are not going to make a phone call. I don't hear from the This man is not going to make a phone call. Well, man, I'm a monster. I'm not one of the good people. All of a sudden, all of them turn to a monster. Oh, this man, man, this man, we have a This man, we have a bad habit. So, you buy any amana? No, I'm a little boy, little man. I want to work for these people. One, they open their eyes. Our leader, the sole man, this man, I like it. Oh, no, you come here already. So, you tell me what these people one by one. Are you a guy seeing this thing? Are you only waking up? Are you what a guy see? Guys, not ready for that. Sometimes, I don't care because I believe in me. I don't say I'm not believe for me because I believe in me. What I call myself, exactly. Yeah, we have to have you enjoy it. So, yeah, we have our sense of our leader. I will need that one this time because now another thing that you will conclude don't go In all things, it will come to our own favor. I think I'm not not even there around, but around. So far, I'm not the kind of chick that will make me be all in their way. I'm going to go full enjoy each half way. Then I will learn the last fight, and the last fight will be even no no never because we we have to. We want the one but that ginger guys, guys hear me here, guys hear me here. I'm not going to go one of my guy, one of my cousin, no 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 China. Or see more anti. Ni ha ne chau, ni ha ne chau. Na our leader. Oh yeah, on IPOB. No, I'm so no me pelo no se kam. Na guys, I just actually, actually, I just say hey, can you taste me here? Na hey, we go. I think I'm not going to be honest. Oh, I'm not from ESL. I'm not going to be honest. Okay, some two, some two of them. Which now na me politician chill like that. We be the main hand there. Now we chop a corner and run. Everything we talk for our own good. I am at last, and we will survive this. Exactly. Yeah. Bye. Thank, thank you very much, my dear sister. Keep it up. Send me those names. Send me those names. Hello, call on the line. Can you hear me? Caller, can you hear me? I don't have time to ask much. If your line is not connecting, caller, can you hear me? I can hear you, my brother. Yeah, this is Ndinani, reach around 50, 60, 70 years. Edge hospital, I can um healthcare. Parasita mo wengine kita hadro dia. Uza hadro mwe bumi bote jana nata. Kasi na boko anya from fire service kwenye. Kamwe ro nothing is working for all kinds of mwe hadro. Manu mwe boba kona taraka. Toko na te go diota. We bunya Kenya. Ke we bo ofanya ida fuzo. May they have been fighting to kind of time. Why buy Mwenda na kwa wa, mwenda na 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 mwen
So, I'm fat, but I'm not to do my bow and look. Mama, you do it, you can't do the one to look. No, 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 and the car a logo. But I will not be my own. Can't you make it? It's too sharp. Because we are a good educator. We are a generation to come. I a this letter ndani <laughs> Not <laughs> Like <laughs> So now, uh, give your only Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mm. Call on the line. Can you hear me? I'm watching. We do the reggae. We do the reggae one name. I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. Mero mwenye aje toko ego kari ego, ego bu ego, webu ye ndi Kenya. Ndi Kenya we jiwe mefe fame. Kwa ifa kaya neba na abasa na ajo, kefe bu mehe ya. Kefe bu, kefe me yibo ki uburo si yi oma. Joe bo kwe non office ya ne wang ove ne kele chi. Ama om chi joe bo kwe neke ne. Joe bo kwe ndi pefa ma pro ni u. Neke ne chi ya. Maka ne ji nina nyuku. Atoko che go ni ina. Uza atero ma. Uza atero ma. Oka atero. Atoro no na ni bo keta e. Na ma amin sa e ji we kompe ya. Na ndi sina ha bo ndi bo. Toko e go we je. Pinyo bo do so. Sike we bo mwa fo ha. Mwa ni msu kwa ke kwa ke wala o hera wwa m. Ke fe bo mehe ya. Ke fe bo mehe lo. E je kwa ya. Ma. 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 Ma.
Afi na ka jinu odo jago ha ko na abu no no. Odo jago ha ko na abu no no no. Abu ba ta ti wo bi ni ha ka ka ra no no. Eh? Ke bi no ke no ka no no. Abi ha eh eti ra eh jida su le kara le kara le ke ti so. Maka ndo ka. Maka ndo ka. Ndo ka ni ko la ni ko ho ko ko baran ke ti. Le ti ba no no. O ko ti ra ha sa ni na ti so ka ti no no. O bo ti me ha ha ka ma ni na ka ni no. Akosha si ke bi ni ho na ya de ka nka. Na ma de ko ni ndo ya. Ke ni ndo ho na yi. O ji e ko. Ke ko ba ko ko. Na ma de se ka ni ho ndo ni ya si ke ru ko. O ni na ni si. O ni si ni si ke ta ni ka ni so ko ni si so. O ya bi ni ho na de ka ni na. O ya ke di ko bi ji ba si ho ba. O ya ta ji ba si si re ji ho ya. Ai ka ro ko ro ti ti ji ba si nda ha ke ta. O ya bi ni ho na de ka ni na. Ni ko ni si ku. Kaiwele nyi anyi, nyiwele nyi nyi akari ana, na nyi kuma ayi bwe kuma nyi hwa 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 ayi Eh na ya ha pore ogogo prince india to historia were se ni ya kaya ma bo kama ogogo ndi ndi ya da wu nero kaya wa kaya wa ku so ndi ndi ba ya ya de ogogo onu ba nyere de ogogo onu ba tra de ogogo a ti ogogo ya de ogogo ni ni na no no me subu kwa na nyi o o de ja ya ku kwa na nyi aka ti no de ka ra ha pua o to ti si ndi uka na ka ndi uka ndi 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 pula ni bo na de hundred ere ere twenty judges ere tora hamizi ba ye jabe ni gwa ha ndo ka o ba ndo ka ba ne bo ha ndo ka ma de hundred ere twenty judges ne to ka tele ha de gbara ha ta tara e jabe ni gwa anya na de bo ma de ayi de je ayi na de de je o kwara mo de bo de so ma de ka ka di kono ka ku ba ni gwa Abu ya kana de kari dire ta de ja dimare ko ya bu mere ene. Be me de so. Na bari ze 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 na ye. O ye na kana to. O ya kita to ze ze ku. O ya kita to ye homa. O ye ku ze ku o ni ni ne. Ti ni ne. O ya ye me to wa mo. Di ko ni de ba ye ni ba ni su ma 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 ni su de ko de ne de ne di. Ti ti su of this way by na ni ni. Ta do ni. Ta do ni. A ha ka ni ka nda na ni ha. Eh? Ubo do kuri ka uka kuri ni ka uka uka bidi de ka uka de ba para na apa ubo do ka na mimi ubo ni nenda na na ba ya ara ayo sa ni ta ho ni na na umo ni ya ni ki ni ubo do na nenda na na apa ni te ni na apa ba ubo ni abi kesh ubi ya ba na ba kata kata eh ubo ni ya ni kuri zozo ubo ni ya ni ka ubo ni ya chini ke ubo para siya ka na eh ni ubo ya ni ubo ya ni ko ni na na de ka de ki le ke kwadere na ki le gwa de ro ke de ma le ni le ro no jo ndo ka na ta te jo ndi so ka na te de ni ku ma no no de 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 ku na re de na re ndi politician te ku ku ni wan wan no no na ba ntete le ki na ta se je de ni ne ba ndi te je de ni ne ni ki na ku mo ku mo ku 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 mo ku ku ni e ki le re ku mo ya ni ndo ndo wa ba ti ntete ni ani ne me me na nigeria ni e me no ko ta kwa nigeria bi ku no ke bi ro ga bare na ye o mu ti na ko mu ti ko ti ta dan na ya se ta di asra na bre na ye na de kala na hondo i ga bi de o se bu ndi bi te na na abu ho di asra o bu o fi de mo di asra ka ngu ni ke de se ko e ku pare mo zo ku ye nya na ta bi ni ro ni ani mi ku ku ye zo ku pese o zo ke ta o se bu ndi bi te na abu ho na abu ho di asra o bu na de kala ma ka na bre na abu ku na de kala ni zo he nya ye di asra aye bu na di ka so mala so ebi o si ebi na ma ka na abu kara no no wa ji master plan ihe ndi ni na ni ku ku da plan de si ere de na bre na di asra ta o ka ka na zo ni ni pe ka na aye ku ta na ta bi ni anu so na ni a de dot wa bu de dot de dot in the circle wa ha bo ke ta ta bi na bo ta ni wa ta ni ti ti bo ta o ni ka ha de o ni ta de o bo ati na bo ni na ebi ni ni ji agwa ni ji pe ra bo e bu se buri ani ya Eh, kitu kwa ni wewe diwe uka, wewe yeye ina ndani ni wewe yeye mwenye, wewe yeye mwenye kuhusu, diko ni kwa ina mwenye kwa dini umani kwa nini la, kwa ukuzo kwa ina kwa mimi kile extra extra ordinary edition. Hello, 
Call are you still there? Hello? Hello, I'm still there. Okay, just round it off. Your line is breaking now. Okay. Now, it will be you committed to extraordinary edition. So, and the people who take it in the return, turn that to the feminist, who are the people who are the people who are the people who are the people who are Mana ada problem belum nanti kalau, hanya mau baca untuk, maka nabi ini yang ini belum nanti kalau, orang kaya ini guna ini untuk cara dia perawat atau dia cuma, jika semua tanah aku mati di situ, dia wong, oh ya, ini cari, aku kum, aku kum baru. Dia wong mahu. Dia wong, thank you very much, my dear brother, and keep it up. Dia wong, Isika, thank you. What is the scene of Mas in Namdekano for good road, hospital, and the three city? Um, uh, seaports, uh, international airports for his people to be free. This is the reason why this thing is happening to this man because he stands for his people, because he continues to speak the truth, because he exposes where they are banking the money, the embezzle. He has been fellow Igbo, Igbo people, Igbo billionaire unite together, oh. get them money. That would have been invested in Igbo land and our economy will boom overnight. Just take this money now, go and re rehabilitate um, Aria Aria Bank, declare the manufacturer shoe only. Just invest this money. No, the money is too much to invest there. Just have 20% of that money. Invest it in Aria Aria Bank. I put my life, I bet my life. In the next two, three years, you recover that money with profits. But Igbo people, ndi Igbo, gather a gun, we're a JJ, go, okay, go, one, never. My brother, you are live on air. I want you to tell me, Mr. Okewam, what is the scene of Mazin Namdikani? Can you hear him? What can I tell you? Can you hear him, my brother? Mazin, go ahead. You're welcome. I will watch you with that, so you can't allow me. Uh, I can meet you on your own, or put it to her. Mereka masih nanda kan mereka, nama masih nanda kan cero. Oh, yang boleh ditan, aku cakap sekolah kan itu nora kan, naro. Mereka masih nanda kan mereka, oh cero ka, oh dirindi bolam ma. Mereka masih nanda kan mereka, masih nanda kan koro, ihwa jo ase, oh ihwa jo yuku ten, ihwa jo ada homa, oh ihwa di boji tu tego, dah hampir ane unisian. Betul betul kita lihat kot kaya biama, ibu mere. Oh, the plan is half plan. That was really half for the Kenya. Okay, we follow the laws. But how is it? How is it that they can only give a Bible because when you show, you show the make a parallel. When you say the two, the two shall set you free. And that the two do you get a make a only say a couple. The way you give me, you go carry a magal on your ear. So even the two now, all of the people from yesterday, the whole of the politicians standing there. You know, my suggestion is. Let's as we ban or harass them, Bibo. Let us ban politician. Let's just say that for today, that is not like politician in the Biafra land, the whole of Biafra land. I'm telling you the truth. Anywhere they come out, they will have that they got their saha. Anywhere they have that, I mean, meet when you not test me, you must have another value. Must have because we all have that kind of meet. Have that and chilling her. They feel that and chilling her. We feel that and chilling her. Anywhere have that, we meet and test her because. As la ufonya la heshiwa ha. The politician cannot cook for million, for almost 80 million of their fans. Can they cook for us? Eh? How can politician have that? How many are they? Ma APC, ma PDP, ma APUGAW. Uko wala, so long as la for ha, political party. How can they see the message in la la ibo? How can they see the message in la la ibo? Because this, this is getting out of hand. Okay, I look at let me let me take a Brazilian case of case of study before they start what they start the the nation and the career of all the politicians. Everybody will even sabotage my IME IPO. All our sabotage they was gone. Let's remove anybody that 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 is a stumbling block for this restoration project because I know people are on that level. TV that level, TV that level. At the end, they lost them. But I will be doing beyond that man. I'm telling you that at the end, I'm telling you, I don't want to be the side of our island because they will not have any people that they have to use against us ourselves. But that continue to be the case yesterday. If the politician has a plan, okay, look at the OBN, 
Thank you very much, my dear brother. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All of us have the story of how Buhari formed the Iswap with the son of the late Muhammad Yusuf uh, Al Bawani. You see how they programmed him. We had their comments when uh, Jonathan was bombing their own, was bombing Boko Haram. Buhari came out and tell us that the attack on these people is attack on them. The same Buhari is in government. Manankanye Potara. Number one is that they supported our proscribed. They said that we are terrorists. And what about any of them? Why the flag now? Pare. What about if any melo? Nothing. Flag a kite now. Pare. And now buy any pieces. All these governors would have said now you are terrorists. The same governor have signed an operation Python dance one two three. These people keep up their power. Back on flag a kite and keep up. And keep up. Back on that attack. To kill our leader completely. To kill him, go up on the end. They have to make the last one. In our scene, I call you also, brother. May for pussy, how you see, I for the way anything. You ever that is in connection with this thing must go down. Oh, yeah, you must go down. You must go down. Call on the line. You are live on air on radio via browser service to your name and where you are calling from. Yeah, I want you to tell me the scene of a man. Brother, you have called before. Don't don't be offended. Let me take this call. This brother has been calling. Hold on. This brother has been calling. That's month you are live on M. When I want to pick your call, another call will come over. I want you to tell me the scene of Mazin Namdekano. This month you are live on M. Thank you very much, Machineke, and good morning from here, my dear brother. Um, Mazi, let me um come on because you are also trying to talk because all the very very important number for that each when I sign email for the him. Hey uh, when you say the word since people will start talking. Sin is for everybody to be free, but here on you know, you see when you see. Somebody say live and let sleep. It's not a sin now. Nah. It's a good thing. So this kind of question is for the affluent. Those people that gather that money, that our leader should be killed. You know, we have to ask them now. Nah. In fact, the point is that we are going to reserve this question for them. Because our leader to us has not committed any sin before heaven, before earth, and before humanity. Are you with me? So, so the point is that the um, Wiki and Co. and the Mekko, so we are going to ask them the scene of our leader. Because they have to tell us. They have to tell us. Or else the issue Hala. Because, um, Emana, anyway, they have already turned us to monsters, but they are waiting to unveil our own. So they should wait for our own action. But having said this, Mas de Machineke, please, what we are doing at the stage we are now, our people must understand that, look, a lot of things are happening. And we must support ESN. It's something that is an obligation. If you are if you are a girl fan anywhere you are in the world, and you have been hearing what is going on, and at this stage, you know the level we are now, 
and you have not done anything, it is your turn now to start supporting PSN. You must make contacts and ask how to support PSN or put up in what you are doing. The protest happening around the world, people must join on that protest. Because by the stage of us has posted something for some hours, saying our leader has made application to the zoo court that he may die in the US dungeon. These are serious issues. These are not issues we just speak and we say, ah, these are very, very serious issues. Because for Paris stage of who who is the only person, or uh, maybe somebody starts to have access to that to saying that this is our leader's submission to the zoo. It that means that our leader self is deteriorated. And when the man is even somebody who committed crime, has the right to be healthy, to answer to the crime, talk to somebody who has done nothing wrong. So let everybody, even British, everybody, and Nigeria be very, very careful. We should unconditionally release our leader. We will be having it. Thank God we have a platform. This is Sergio Biafra. It is very listening to across the whole world. You know, we have been shouting it that an extraordinary rendition, we are not the people that made the law. The law was made by international community, America, British, and the rest of them. They said it's a crime against humanity. And it has been committed against Fatima and the Kano, the leader of the individual people of Biafra. And we have been shouting nobody wants to say anything. Hey, um, this thing that they call black man, they will see the difference here. Because if anything should happen to our leader, well, uh, we are not just, we are only saying that this world will be difficult to see this soon. That is not even only the soup. Because a lot of us are not in this soup. A lot of us are spread around, like I myself now, I'm in Italy. I am calling from Italy. So the world will not have this so It's normal. America should go and tell the world what they saw during the bomb. That one will be a small thing. I'm saying it. Because we are ready for anything. Are we still living? We are not still living. So the point is that anything that happens to Mazin and the Kano <coughs> is going to be doomed to the world. That is that this is the truth. And no, no uh, it's somebody that only wants. Mazin Wachineke, please let me give out our numbers for Biafra literally to support ESM. Because what we are doing is not due. This number is from IPOB National Board, signed by the IPOB National Coordinator. If you are Biafra, you are in Italy. Or you're a well wisher or you're somebody, please do call this number to support ESN. We are not begging anybody because we must spend our land. Is it all we finish right? After all, Barak is there for everybody, but Megal is there for those who went to war. So you have to play your own parts. All the efforts in Italy must stand up. It's very, very important. Now the numbers are plus 39 35100 46055. I repeat, plus 39 Four six zero five five. This number is for the IPOB National Coordinator in Italy. The second number is plus three nine three five one two five five one two seven four. I repeat plus three nine three five one two five five one two seven four. This number is for IPOB National Piarugo in Italy. Call any of them and you support ESM because you'll be directed. Now we are, will be having the first in Italy, we are going to be having our protest, our three months in Lam Bicano protest. On the 26th of this July, the day our leader is appearing in the Zoo Court. And it will be taking place in Rome. Piazza, let me give in British Embassy in Rome. That day, let me pray God should help us that day. I pray God should help us that day. That we might not lose our anger that day. In British Embassy. Because we don't care. We don't care. And yet, the, the address of British Embassy in Rome is Piazzale de Porta Pia. Tracoso di Italia e di Ancona. I repeat, Piazzale di Porta Pia. Tracoso di, di Italia e di Ancona. And the, the time is 9 o'clock in the morning and we finish by 1 p.m. We are calling all the Reverend Fathers, all the Reverend Sisters that are in Italy to join us that day. And um, our Dutra brethren, Amazonia brethren, and where we shall support them and join us that day. Because we are going to send a very clear message to British that day. Because we have been crying, we have been talking, we have been calling on everybody, nobody wants to answer. Are you telling me that Martin and Bikani is a white man? And British who are lying to still be in Nigeria for study by this time? Or in their dungeon, should I use the right word? By this time, it is not possible. UK and other international bodies must call for the immediate release of Martin and Bikani. 
because his health is deteriorating. His health is deteriorating. He has sent the message, he has sent the message to the Zoo court through his barrister by his keeper in Tropo, and the message is circulating. They must release this man immediately to attend to his health. We have been shouting it, we have been saying it, and the whole world is listening. They are supposed to act, not to listen. Because we, we are going to act anywhere we are. It doesn't matter who, because the zoo will be on fire and the world will shoot the heat also. It's normal. It's not the world. This is how they do. Some people to terrorists, and they'll be they'll be there talking nonsense. It's a terrorist. It's this. It's that. But when they are crying, when they are crying, nobody no, nobody listening to them. Even though that the greatest crime against humanity has been committed against us, and nobody is listening. And for the fools, and for the rest of them who plot out their money, we will get your names now. I don't know how to live. 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 Because I mean, you, you, you will be, you will be, you have a, have a, have a, your, your generation will be, have a union land. Have a union land. Thank you very much, Martin. Thank you, 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 Martin. You know where he's coming from, Russia. You're welcome. Thank you for the good work that you are doing. I'm great to have that. The highest man in, in this earth. The sea of our leader now is going to become is that he wants everybody to be equal. Because in the eyes of the Lord, what you have done much in the everybody is equal. We don't want a situation whereby the masses will be suffering. The big men will be enjoying. We don't want the situation run by. They will be killing our people. Every day, anyhow, by finance men, and the big men are not talking. We don't want the situation run by. A poor man will not see food eat, but only the rich men. They went and give uh, Kenyans billions. But I don't think we are up to billions in Biafra land, in the whole Biafra. That's to show the wicked of a woman, all these big men, people that we call big men. But I cannot blame our leader so much because he thinks maybe on a good day they will repent. But you can see, Python and Swan, Python and Sue, there is no repentance in these people. They can never repent. Mostly this guy that they call the... Offer, what's the they call the guy? Make offer. What do you call for? 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 That one, if you are out of that people, you will be down now. No matter the thought of what you are in this world. What do you do with that man? That man has to go to the world from the world. He has to go to the world from the world. He has to go to the world from the world. Can you get all this nonsense? Can you get all this nonsense? All we can do is have our church. We cannot be down there. We are centered in this place. What we need is to support. Let's support. Let's go to the world. This thing is, is, it, it, it has gotten to me. It has gotten too much. Any need to do this support. Because you have to do this support. The, 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 the new generation will not come up. This people must die for us to move forward. Because I don't have 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 and all this food, all this useless food, some of them are Papa campaign, we know the campaign. They mean a great deal for it. It's a real one thousand, a real rice, you know, two days. I go up, go up. Why can't you cost all our and that campaign? Cost one of our two sons of people, but I'm not going to. And I cost all these things. You can have a boy in the area. You don't talk here to my boy, these big men, and I'm not going to talk. 
the next thing, I need the woman to put up on that because it will bring too much. It will bring too much. By grace of God, I'm going to be there. And then you bring one of you all the time. You show me you do that. You go from everybody you get one by one. Or you go to two by two. No, no, for all, no, for all. You know, it's not going to be that. And I go to the convoy. To a bottle, to a whole disciple. Very simple. 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 The sin of Martin Namdekano is what we are analyzing. The crime Martin Namdekano has committed that will prompt his own Igbo people to contribute such a huge amount of money and give to Kenya government to, for, for him to be killed. Already the initial plan was for him to be killed there. But it didn't work in that way. They have to go and bribe the government so that they will somehow extraordinary uh, ordinarily um, uh, rendition in, on him to bring him back to the zoo thinking that telling the world that it is for uh, uh, him to come and face the court judges whereby the original plan was for them to kill him but it did not work out in that way they now took part the plan b of their uh, 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 unlawful rendition these are the things we are discussing because the essence of doing all these things you may think we are just talking is because we are not going to forgive anybody we are saying it live on air let everybody hear it you don't know what that man what stands for us for not hearing his new voice you don't know how we are dying inside for me not to own my radio and i did not hear the voice of Martin Nambekano for one week i did not listen to his broadcast you don't know what is going out of my body Talkless of telling that now he, he somebody is delay, detaining him and who orchestrated it an evil man. We are just analyzing the scene because if you tell us what he did, we are righteous people, we are good people. When you tell me his sin, and if it is true, then we will relent, we will stop. But if it is the wickedness of the evil man, if it is the foolishness of the evil man, I personally will lead the killing of them. Can't you if I hear me next year, go make an attack. Go make an attack. My dear brother, sorry for keeping you. Think is a brother Kungkwa, Matthew Kungkwa. You are live on air. You are accurate. Good morning, sir. You go back there. Ah, because I'm so people. Because some people can't go for it. Because they're mad. The the the. Eh, Matthew. Even I can't wait for one more call. And they have another chance now to have a man able to mark the man of God. And our process for each one, no one, no one in Europe, no in Europe, name here. Yeah, they did. They have a part of it. They did. No one, no one in Europe, no Europe, name here. Yeah, they have a lot of things to pay for. Man, they have no Europe. They don't even know. Name here. Yeah, we have a plan. Now, our process can be used in a good way. You know where? Mazio Kungwa. Mazio Kungwa, you see. Mazio Kungwa. Okay, continue. Yes, I said that no one will know you. 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 I just think if we had if had a man there, he'd be amazing. Ndi ne ma iya abu. Ndi a para afa ha ne ma iya amazing. Aiga makonatan. Ma zabu ne bido hufu kubanda. E wo kuya ne bemo disi. Aiga na woge zoku. E wo roku ma zin na nka nu kurasi na nigeria reka cancer in the body system of nda Africa ni ne. E tu a kando miko mini na cerebro cancer ni na iwa. Ma zo aiga makonatan aka. Kaya pukuru ndi fulani. Abu na ye take him that serious, Mazi. I get your young fool and bad because the fool and I will go our own problem. So why in an abamo? Car people, I wouldn't want to make an egg to be covered and do a kunku. Man, so why in an agada? Mazi, okay, Rugonu, 
Ka ku si ze ni ku ihe ga eme. And am na ndi ESN. Even ndo no government nyere na ya aka. I need re ime ihe re ba ma. Okwa jo igbo kwe na no luka. Na na no no luka ndi mbaso zi na isu zuare. Na na ike na chi deke na ato na ga egbo efi wo ebe ne. Na ejima ze na de ka no. Jo igbo pe ka nkwa ni testimony da eh. Oge na ga furugu. E ba bele na ike ka za ike ga de confession. Ike ga na no ridi. I de tu no chari ne. Ma zi en na go mu yo mu igbo ni ne. A choko yo bla bada anya ka apre ni fura ne. Ka so vo no sobu na en na ngada. Ka e ku onu nwa yo ri ma zi. Ma ne bu zo hu zo before dibo yisi. I ga go I ga go nwa yo ri ma zi. I ga go nwa yo zoku and the end ni no emenu. O fori ni manu kana in between the IPOB members. Ama no nyo bla ni hin ne ku. Ma na mu aga ma ga zo ma zi. Iji we mecho ku I'm not the Afro Nano. It will be Hilna Nisi, I get a Yava Akra Macho body. I'm an easy Biafra. Mother, the top of your side, Chuku was even watching it. The Quag, my dear brother, thank you very much. Let's take this call. I presume should be Pastor Jack, if I'm right. Yes, yes, Mother, you're watching it. Okay, I'm not from here. Ototoma, my dear brother. I'm talking one more if I go, may he, Mazin Nam the Kano. Okay, if a Mazin Nam the Kano member. Umunia, you took ego, 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 ya bo, a buria jetia, and the cannon could not be invested in a yari. So, Sariari could do my canna rock at a thing, eh? Oh, it bought it too much, it's in India, just one no yadica, no, no, you bust ten per cent or twenty per cent. Invest in a yari. In less than two years, a gang up at a double. Gay man, umunia mas in nam the cannon jewel to co a ga, umunia and debo. Where were Jerry Kenya, Siki, Boo Yama? Because I'm going to be a little bit. Kenya yabu <laughs> Let <laughs> Only <laughs> When <laughs> I don't know. 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 I 
Udo Wegliani, in Abu, or Kuwait to Taiwan Debani, Bazo.